It's time to direct the satellite dish towards the high seas and try and tune in to Hamish and Andy and the People's Cruise. Some of them want to cruise you. Some of them want to be cruised by you. You better cruise yourself in the music the moment you want it. You better never let it go. I only got one shot. Do not miss your chance to cruise. The buffet is all included. Anything you want, you got pizza and ice cream and ketchup. Everything's available on board. Sekarang sekarang kita masuk ke sini. You know that I could cruise somebody. Forty-five activities, dancing and ice sculpting. Uh oh, here's Bob. I'll see you soon, Bob. I gotta go down to the bowl making and make some friends. I think I got bingo with Judy. Oh no, Judy's at the buffet. Oh, this boat's so big. What do I do today? Live poolside from Lido Deck 9 of the Carnival Spirit, this is The People's Cruise with Hamish and Andy. Good afternoon, everyone! Hamish and Andy to cruise you home, wherever you be listening around the country, you are cruising through your radios. Yes, we are at the dive-in pool, Ham. We've got about 400 people in front of us uh, ahead of the Red Fog, uh, Frog Rum Bar over that uh, side or the, the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar on the left-hand side. Look, um, but whatever, um, whatever you're doing up here, guys, let's just keep the consumption of these puffer drinks <laughs> to a safe <laughs> and reasonable level, especially you, Andy. I'm a little concerned by how much you've had to drink today already. I want you to stay very professional and remember... We got a radio show to do, so no monkey business, all right, my friend. What you're hearing on now, the what you're hearing, hearing now, Australia, is someone trying to throw mud first. No, no, no. He has all been, I'm saying, he has been by the bar since we arrived on deck. And don't forget, you can keep the cup. That's a little souvenir. <laughs> That's a little souvenir for you guys. Look, the, the first things first. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard this beautiful, beautiful. It's so ship. massive. We're sitting in front of a pool. There's a kid that's like a boss, got a black hat, hat backwards and aviators, just sitting there watching yes looking at you babe yeah there's actually actually quite a lot of kids here i think there's a lot of mummies and daddies have gone to the bar while the and just said to the kids hey just stick here for uh, we have become a child care center yes we see hayden over there one of our winners uh, he's the dvd and cd salesman so he won't have a job for much longer guys so let's celebrate you... let's commiserate the end of his career <laughs> but as he comes out to see with us got, if you're starting a new business you can you can chat to him guys we are currently cruising through the ocean at a speed of zero nautical miles an hour <laughs> as we are still docked but during this show we will sail away mm. out through sydney harbour out through the heads and we'll be on our way to vanuatu this is day one of the people's cruise. And while there's 3,000 people on board, Ham, 110 of them had won their way on through the people's cruise. We addressed them. There they are. We addressed them this <laughs> and, morning before. Th- only two have been locked in their quarters by the captain so far, so we've still got the majority <laughs> with us. We addressed them before we stepped on the boat, and it's after this. Same as Andy. Cruising you home. Hey, Michelle Cruising you home this week. And we're on board the Carnival Cruise Line. Hand. The Carnival Spirit, we're on. We're on our ando. Steepest and fastest water slide. Um, no one's had it. Well, maybe someone's had a crack. I don't know. But at the moment, we've got about 300 people in front of us. We're in at the dive-in cinema. Dive in because there's a massive pool. A lot of people just sitting in it, having a few drinks this and watching. This is terrific. Yep. It's, uh, it's one of many, many pools on board. Uh, the kids are already in. All the people that are here as part of the People's Cruise and others. I feel like we've already spread out and started integrating ourselves into the wider thousands of other cruise people that are on the boat. So we're already making friends, Ando. 3,000 people here, or 3,900 if you include the 900 staff. About 110 of those won their way in through the station ham, and we caught up with them earlier today before boarding. Andy and I were just in a local bar gambling for our ticket, exactly <laughs> like the opening of Titanic. And we got it! We pulled we pulled a king of diamonds on the river. We got the flush. We made it. We're here. We're um, ready to board. I'm seeing some wine shirts. I'm sensing quite a lot of fast and loose. I'm Does sensing... anyone not bring luggage? 
Yeah! <laughs> Fast and yes. loose. Fast yeah. and loose. My wife made me wear two jackets. <laughs> Look at him. He's got, a, he's got a T-shirt, a shirt, a jacket, and then another jacket. <laughs> two pairs of undies, one can of deodorant, a phone charger. What more do you need except a good attitude, your health, and a willingness to have a lot of fun? All right. Fast, no, no, loose, no, 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 don't start. No one's chanting with you. Fast, loose, fast, loose. You'll keep going to your start. Just don't start. Um, nah, no, seriously, has anyone guys. been severely bothered by having lunch luggage? No. <laughs> it's you will be. Bothered. You will be. Look, we're really pumped to get on uh, to cruise together. Um, we obviously have two things to cover off, don't we, Ham? Sure. There's two elements to this this trip. And there's two areas where we might fall into trouble. One, if the party five starts dropping. If somehow we just sense the fire going out, yeah. the fun fire going out. Yeah. Now, we know, I'm looking around, I see a lot of big, thick party logs. Yeah. Like, yeah. But we, like a lot of people who are just coals that yeah. will burn this party for weeks to come. But what if it starts going out? We need an emergency situation. That's why on this show we talked to a very special man. I don't know who he is, but I wonder if we can get Brad. him on. Party starter, Brad. Brad. Brad, Brad, get up Brad, here. Brad, Brad, Brad. Get up here. This man is a self-proclaimed party starter. <laughs> Essentially, you're the captain of the party fire. Yes. Uh, you're already so, drinking. So, already <laughs> <laughs> so, Brad, if the party's lacking, you look to our left. Brad will fix it. Thank you. If there is a lull in fun, where's Steve? Best there friend, Steve. He's already living up to his name. He's already got a shark tooth necklace on and we haven't even left Australia. <laughs> I'm not oh. sure if you heard the show, but I didn't really think Steve deserved to come. <laughs> he said he's the best fun in the world. And hence... And hence, we got hats made. Oh, uh, best fun, Steve. I said I'd make you a hat. I got a little bit excited. I made a spare for myself, Steve. I hope you <laughs> Yes. Best fun, Steve. 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 All right. Oh, so, Steve, if we're lacking Thank party, you. we've got Brad. If we're lacking fun, we've got Steve. I actually don't know what else we need. While we're here, I might just take this opportunity to inform you that whilst there are many wonderful things to see and do on the ship, of course, our first priority is making sure you all have the right T-shirt to take away as a memento of the trip. <laughs> Now, we know that it's essentially a cashless boat, or that's what the powers that be would have you believe. Yeah. But uh, while we're here on land, make sure you visit an ATM. <laughs> make sure you've got a yellow note donation. To, I see a couple of pineapples yes. waving, and um, that pleases me. As it is technically illegal to be selling the T-shirts for cash on the boat, just come and give us the sign. Hang loose. Just one hang loose or a shucker or whatever yeah. you know it as. And, uh, and uh, we the code words you. obviously surfs up. And we can quietly take you to the storeroom and sort you out with a surfs up Andy t-shirt. <laughs> 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 Thank you guys so much for being here. We are pumped uh, to be able to do this. We can't wait, guys. It's going to be a hell of a cruise. That's before we got on. Just as um, we were playing that back for everyone around the country, Best Fun Steve did stand up and there was a chant amongst the boat of Best Fun Steve. It was infectious. It's crazy. <laughs> Let's just see if it happens again. Steve, stand up. See if the magic still works. <laughs> Best Fun Steve! 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 Best fun Steve. Um, it's fair to say that Steve is certainly enjoying the attention. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to a song after this, so Ham. We, we only stepped on this boat four or five hours ago. Yeah. Our first impressions we captured, didn't we? We did, Anna. It's, she's an incredible ship. The mm. vibe is e enormous here. And, mm. But as, as soon as we stepped on, it was... Well, it was up to you and I. We split up. One went forward, one went backwards. Mm. When we met up at uh, one of the outdoor pools to see how, uh, see how we're feeling about our new home for the next week. Same as Andy. Hey, Miss Andy, we're cruising your home... On board the Carnival Spirit, top deck cam, we are at the dive-in pool, uh, there's about three or four hundred people here, now really getting into relax mode. Are we, uh, we've actually... Some of the chairs are a little bit upright for my liking, I mean, uh, I'll be, yeah, he's got the right idea, reclining there, but um, Sorry, Hawaii, you know, Hawaiian shirts are plenty, Ham. I'm just, uh, just looking in the menu of all the stuff that's on, I'm pretty sure we bumped the intern. 
What do you mean? Uh, the movie. I think that was meant to be screening at the dive-in cinema. Oh, right. And, uh, yeah, we bumped him. Cause For anyone who show. has come here to watch The Intern, <laughs> we apologise. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry, there's one, there's one lady that's here for that. Good news, it will be on several times <laughs> uh, throughout the cruise. I've looked at the advanced screening of movies and there's some repeats. So you're yeah, going to be fine. <laughs> Didn't strike me as a demographic, though, the 21-year-old fellow <laughs> over there coming to see The Intern. Hey, um, we've just got on this, this beautiful, beautiful beast. Yeah, she's gorgeous. And uh, around about four hours ago, we thought we'd catch up. Uh, we did it at the Serenity Bar, didn't we? Nice. Um, uh, Look forward to spending a lot more time at the Serenity Bar. Yes. Well, obviously, it's Dad's Club. I mean, there's no... Yeah, there's if there's no... any Dads in the house, we might actually do a lot of our meetings down at the Serenity Bar. Because um, there's... Um... Still, I'm still putting together the schedule or what we do as a Dad's Club, but <laughs> yeah. mostly it's just nothing... <laughs> Yeah, um, because there's no there's no kids allowed down there. No kids allowed. It's a great place for it. Um, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, for all the dads on board, come and talk to me afterwards, and I'll have more schedules organised. Well, I found Hamish. She was already at the bar, and I said we should really capture our first impressions, considering Sorry. we've only been on for 15 minutes, and you seem to have already had a drink. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought you said go and like just have a quick glance around, and I'll see you at the bar. So yeah, I got there about 14 minutes earlier than you, but um, this is when we caught up. Okay, Ham. First impressions. I don't want to be a jerk here, yeah. but tell me the best thing you saw, yeah. and I'll easily trump it. Okay. Let's do the best and the worst. Shall we do that? Start with the worst. Start with the worst. A kid was throwing a tantrum in the elevator and kicked me in the shins. Okay. That's going to happen? It's going to happen. So, but, but if, I, if I'd have packed luggage, I would have bought shin guards. That would have been an obvious, <laughs> that would have been an obvious thought. That's the worst thing. Okay, give me your best. Because um, it's lovely. Can we just throw that at the top? A huge mini golf course uh, at the front of the at the front Great. of the boat on the Great. very top deck. Really good. So I'd prefer us to start the day or even end the day each day. Thirty six holes. Yeah, with thirty six holes. Ando, I'll give you the best. Mm-hmm. Sounds like you had fun. It doesn't sound like you met a celebrity. Who did you meet? Oh, I don't know, mate. Only the most cruised couple in Australia, Mark and Lorraine. Yeah. Look at this, Mark and Lorraine. Yeah. They've even got a card they made up with, card with cruise ships on it. They're <laughs> diamond. They're diamond level. No one in Australia is diamond level except them. I don't even know what diamond level means. Yeah. Got Mark's card. Mm. He's coming on the show. <laughs> I've already booked us a bloody guest. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to have the most <laughs> cruised couple in Australia live on the program. Have they seriously? Coast to coast. Have they seriously? Made up their own business card. They made up their own business card. They were on this ship and they just got off, heard that the ship the, that we were on, yeah. and they're like, oh, we'll just go again. <laughs> they they, they spent more a, time at sea than at land. Did he have a job? Cruising. No, that's not a job, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone, Mark and Lorraine are going to be on the show. Uh, Leanne, is it? Or Lorraine? Le- Leanne, uh, Leanne, sorry. Leanne, Mark Leanne. and Leanne, the most cruised couple in Australia. Wow. And they're coming on our show. I mean, there's no other shows on board, but it's, I'm going to make it sound like it's an exclusive. They will be on our show just after five. It's Hamish and Andy cruising your home. <laughs> Hamish and Andy, delighted to be cruising your home. Yes. We're at the top deck of the Carnival Spirit in front of the pool here, Ham. The sun is setting over the Sydney Harbour Bridge. But it doesn't look like the fun is setting. It feels like gather, no. people are gathering momentum here. Things are firing up, Ando. Um... Hamish, me old mate. How are you going, chump? How are you, mate? And I want you to come to me with any problems you've got on board. Yeah, I want you to know that you've got your ultimate wingman in yeah. a friendship sense on yeah. board. And I'm here for you, whatever you need. Okay. Um, well, earlier on I was looking for you. Yep. We had agreed that we were going to discuss a few things about today's show. Yeah, sure, sure. Yep. And where did I find you? I was at a, uh, I was found myself at a bench yep. with quite a high seat, mm-hmm. and I was able to rest easily on that bench. It was quite a long bench. There was two lovely ladies behind that bench who yep. I was happy to talk to. Yep. They were able to give me refreshments. <laughs> a bar, I suppose you would call it. I suppose other people would call it a bar. But it was just sort of a friendly bench where people come to hang out, like a hangout bench with high stools. Sure, sure. And I suppose it's... It's the, the, the work party balance that I was wanting to chat to you about. In yep. a public forum, and we're in a safe place here. We've got a lot of new friends. We're all best friends on the boat. But I recorded earlier on where I caught up with Hamish, and um, you guys can be the judge whether you think he's getting the work party balance correct. I found the bar on the back of the boat, the uh, Serenity Bar. I got a feeling we'll be doing, doing a lot of just chilling out and thinking here at the Serenity Bar. Hey, Ando! Got him uh, one of the special drinks. 
in the puffer fish. Agnes, what's in the what's in the special drink okay, again? It's a rum, vodka, amaretto, apricot brandy, and a punch all together. And we can keep we we can keep the cup, can't we? Oh yes. <laughs> what a treat. And uh, got you a puffer fish. <laughs> it's it's uh it's the carnival special. <laughs> Always a worry when you can't see the liquid you're taking in though. Well <laughs> don't look, just drink. Yeah, well it's to paint the picture for everybody, it looks like I'm drinking out of a smaller basketball that's just had a straw thrown in it. <laughs> it's a puffer fish. It's a puff. And my shout, mm. I paid extra so we can keep the cup. Oh god, that's heavy, mate. Yeah, I don't um, think it's a virgin puffer fish. <laughs> It's day one, Happy my friend. Puffed and <laughs> look, loose. Look at Dad. No, Dad's gone wild. <laughs> Dad's gone wild already. Dad's on holidays. I'm seeing a lot of people with puffer fish already. How's it going? Yeah. How good are they? Jeez, everyone's walking everyone's around jump straight with a dive. basketball full of alcohol. <laughs> dive straight into the fish. If my wife asks, yeah. we're working hard. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Fishy, we're here. <laughs> Fast and loose. Mate, you're going to be wobbly. You're going to be very loose. <laughs> Fast, loose, and out of control. <laughs> there you go. Um, Thirteen, ten, sixty, wherever you are in Australia. I want to hear of people. Do you know of anyone who didn't get the work party balance right? I Thirteen, think ten, sixty is the number. Call us now. I got a little bit excited. Who else here got excited when they saw the fish? Yeah. I mean, no one. No one was expecting these fish, and you can keep the cup. Yeah, I know. You can keep the cup. But hey, none of these people are working. And uh, I would hardly call this work. <laughs> well, no, I. Chill out, Andy. <laughs> no, guys, it's a wonderful treat. I think really Carnival Cruise Lines to be to be commended on the fact that you got such a great collectible cup. <laughs> Uh, for your cocktail of the day and that you can keep the cup. And I think I'm really just testing out all the ship has to offer. And really, what else are we here to do, guys? Am I right? Am okay, I right? Okay, yeah. sure. Let's see those fish. Yeah, okay. Right. 13, 10, 60, give us a buzz now. Who do you know that failed on the work party balance? <laughs> Asking everybody out there on 13, 10, 60, have you failed the work party balance? I can see this going real south for you, Hamish. I'll tell you what, everyone has fallen in love with the fish and I just heard... The, the, the cruise liner has had to move on to the next novelty cup. There's a koala floating around. <laughs> Look, guys, they're out of fish. We haven't even left dry land and they're out of fish. They should have, they should have regulated the fishing. Yeah. This is what happens. Is a what great happens. lesson for overfishing. Then exactly. you have to start eating koalas. <laughs> uh, Amy joins us. Amy, are you there? Yeah, hi. Hoi, boys. How you going? <laughs> Ahoy, Ahoy to you, Amy. Amy. <laughs> ahoy, Amy, from the yeah, crowd as well. From everyone there, yeah, Amy. Ahoy, ahoy, have, the cruisers. <laughs> have, you, um, have you had someone that maybe couldn't handle the work party balance? Well, it was actually me. It was a Christmas party a couple years ago, mm-hmm. and I ended up flirting a little too much with my boss's son. Oh. Yeah, right. When <laughs> you say flirting, did it amount to anything? I mean, oh, obviously, no. be, bearing in mind we're no. a PG show. Not at all. See, I'm married, so that's what's so unacceptable. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. And was the boss's son married, or was he just really working hard on year 10 or 11 at the time? Or... <laughs> no, he was engaged, but we were just really oh. friendly, and it wasn't until afterwards that my boss actually came to me, like a whole year later, for the next yeah. Christmas party, and she goes, so you're not going to go flirting with anyone, are you? And then no, apparently he got around to the, you know, my work colleagues that, oh, apparently such and such Amy. So there you go, Ham. His, yeah. This is, this is the thing. I, I mean, I haven't, I, catch, I haven't caught you flirting with the boss's son yet. The only thing I've I been flirting with is the next fish, <laughs> the next, the next <laughs> Thanks, magical Amy. cup. Cara on 13.10.60. Ahoy to you, Cara. Ahoy, everyone. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Cara. Have you messed up and or failed on the work party balance? It's happening to me right now. I'm trying to be studying for my final uni exams, but I'm here right. listening to you guys having too much fun. So yeah. virtual partying. You, you, <laughs> you messed up with virtual partying. Yeah. Well, That's it. Tara, I can hear what you're saying, and I think you're asking me to shout Annie and I another round <laughs> of magical fish. <laughs> no. Okay, Cara. I I, 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 we'll do it for you. Okay, thanks, we'll do it for you. Keep studying. We'll keep partying. Uh, Hayley, Hayley joins us. Ahoy, Hayley. Ahoy, guys. How are you going? Yeah, very, very well. Good. Oh, good to hear. <laughs> yes. Ahoy. Uh, talk us through it, Hayley. <laughs> Have you failed on the work party balance? 
Well, I haven't, but my dad has. He was the captain coach of his footy team back in the day, and um, half half time they were up by 100 points. So he said, let's mm. just chuck some alcohol in the water bottles, and they oh, all no. got a bit crazy. <laughs> did they still win? They did. They did. So <laughs> I think they were... <laughs> I don't know how, but... <laughs> It wasn't they really well. a fail. I mean, <laughs> it's not a recommended. <laughs> no. It's not a recommended form of coaching. But if you still won, no harm, no foul. Uh, thanks, Haley. It's Hamish and Andy. Hamish and Andy, we're cruising you home. We've got the blue iguana bar to our left, the red frog bar, the rum bar to our right, and See the only thing no separating us from the bar ham is a ginormous pool atop the beautiful carnival spirit as we're going to cruise you home from somewhere in the South Pacific, satellite pending over the next four days. Hey, you came on this boat. You said you weren't going to bring any luggage. You were true to your word. You did not bring a bag at all. Fast and loose, baby. You were leaving the house like that this morning? All right, I'm just going to paint the picture for everyone here. Um, it's cold. Obviously, I know we're on a cruise ship. We're all drinking puffer fish cocktails, but let's face facts. We're still in Sydney. Yeah. It was, it was some sunshine today, but it's still about 18 degrees. So I've got jeans. I've got one pair of socks. I've got an all-purpose black Vans on. Yeah. Now, they can be worn formal no, or they casual. Can't, they can't, they you can't. dress up Vans. You can dress them down. No. That's the great thing about Vans, <laughs> especially a nice, simple black pair. I've yeah. uh, then got the Hawaiian shirt on. That'll see me through for the Mexican night on Wednesday night. There's cactuses on the shirt. That's just, Mexican enough. That's Mexican. Yeah. I just got a, and there's tacos. I've got a nice little base layer, a little blue T-shirt underneath. Mm. Inside out, over the top. Some days I wear it, some days I won't. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. It's going to be variable. Plus, I've got all the T-shirts I bought on board. The Surf's Up Andy T-shirt, so <laughs> T-shirts aren't my problem. I've got a light yacht-themed windbreaker on top, which I think I got from an op shop, but I bloody love it. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, and then I've got a Best Fun Steve hat, if you're listening earlier in the show. Best Fun Steve! There he is! <laughs> we have a guy on board who is Best Fun Steve. I've got a spare hat made. I bought... As I was leaving the house, so I f- kind of forgot to tell my wife this morning that I was dressing fast and loose, yeah. um, that I wasn't taking any luggage. And as I left, Zoe went, Where's it, we, have you packed? I said, oh, no, I don't need to because I'm just fast and loose on this cruise ship. And she went, what does that mean? That doesn't, that's not a thing. Pack, that's, a, that's, pack I, that's what I keep saying to you. It and actually like, doesn't mean anything. No, honey, this is my thing. I'm just going fast and loose. She was like, what about undies? They said, I'm just going to wing it. I'll get some on board. They've got like 50 shops on board. They're bound to have 50 shops. There's 3,000 people. They don't have 50 shops. They have six. And so then, and then she also went, it's super cold. What is that jacket? Where did you get that from? And I told her the story about maybe the op shop found it in my wardrobe. Yep. She made me wear another jacket. So I do have another jacket on board. Uh, I was probably the only person that rocked up wearing two jackets to and, the cruise. And you stuffed two pairs of undies in that so jacket So then I pocket. put the two pairs of undies in the jacket pocket, got my phone charger, got some deodorant, Feeling pretty confident. The only thing I really you probably to- need... You've got a toothbrush around your neck. The only thing I probably need is boardies and maybe thongs? some socks and thongs would be good. Yep. Because I might go barefoot. Yep. If they've got... If beard they've got, or you're just going to go beardy? No, no, I won't cut my beard. If they have um, Dactarin at the pharmacy, I'll go barefoot. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's either or at so this stage. I gave a lot of our travellers, um, our cruisers, the ones that won their way, I gave them a call... On well Friday, yeah, telling them to them, don't help Hamish out whatsoever. If you help him, he'll never learn. And unfortunately, what's this? A lot of people are going to help him. See, this is already started. Who's this kind sir? Just walking into the crowd now. What a hero! Thanks, man. What's your name? Jimmy. Jimmy. Got thongs, Ando. Yeah. Well, does Jimmy? Jimmy. What's, you... what's ours, Jim? I don't know. They're Max's. They're not mine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks, Max. <laughs> does Max have another pair, Jimmy? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah, Ando. he's nodding. So this is my point. They'll do. Not only is this guy done this, but David, the first person I called and you vowed to not help Hamish, David, you've bought stuff for Hamish. Yeah, I'm uh, currently culling my wardrobe because uh, I have too much stuff and a bit of a hoarder. So yep. I brought two items. Yep. And I think I'll I can help you. you out here. What do you got? The first item, if I can get uh, Chris to give me a hand, is uh, my old basketball uniform. Oh. One season. <laughs> awesome. The slurs. Yes. <laughs> After the Sacramento Spurs. That's so, and is that and shorts? shorts? There yes, we go. I've got shorts. <laughs> yes. And still in the sporting theme, but so, probably something a bit more formal. I wasn't good enough for the footy team in high school, mm. but I was good enough for Tai Chi Club. So oh, give it to me. What do we got? 
It's a, it's not a kimono, but it's whatever those Tai Chi kind of. Oh, it's a it's Tai a Chi classy, dressing gown. It's a, yeah, it's a classy, classy shirt. It's, I a, guess. it's a, it's a classy shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, if you're, yeah, oh, look at all those guys in the park doing Tai Chi with their classy shirts on. If you want to run the uh, morning Tai Chi for the uh, the olds and bolds on the cruise, go for it. I wasn't gonna, but I am now. Hey, um, thank you so much. That's awesome. Hey, David. David, you're a bastard. Thanks so much, man. No worries, mate. No, yeah, thank you so much. Oh, can I, I mean, I'm actually... Re- I, you shook my hand twice, David, but I want the clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I got a fish, so that was all right. Yeah. Thank you. Got one of the last, fish. You got one of the last fish. <laughs> David. This is crazy, Andrew. What are you doing, mate? <laughs> After I've, I've called you, you made an oath, you made a pledge on air, and now you're doing this. Andrew, and where's Adele? Is Adele around? Adele... Uh, uh, she, Adele, she gave a, me three pairs of undies she, before she, we even got she on. She was kind of like a, a had a kind of a motherly approach. She came up and she was worried about Hamish before we even got on and gave him undies. I've got too many clothes. Adele, <laughs> this is great. Adele, you're also a bastard. No, this, this and uh, come on, we're all cruise buddies. Can't thank you enough. Go slurs. Uh, <sighs> this is see what. So what's available on board? Is there a place where I can buy boardies? The problem I have found here is I was pretty much you can buy everything. <laughs> Guys, go get your luggage and throw it overboard. <laughs> We're buying everything. No, no, we've just we've just come from the safety briefing. We're not allowed to throw anything overboard. Yeah, no, I mean only if only if it's an emergency. Okay. <laughs> no, not if it's an emergency. Just don't throw anything overboard. No, right, retracting that luggage thing. You're totally retracting it. <laughs> it's a mission, Andy. We're on board the Carnival Spirit. Spirits are high, Ham. As high as a carnival. As we head 15 minutes away yep. from sailing into the night. Absolutely. And because it's 15 minutes away, it's probably time for farewells. Yeah. 131060 is the number here. If you know anyone on the boat and yep. you'd like to bid them farewell, call up now. Whether it's someone that has won their way on with us, the 100 or so cruise mates we've got on board, or any of the other 2,500 passengers, yes. the lines are open. If you don't know anyone, still ring up Be and nice. do a heart word farewell. It would be really nice to hear from you. Absolutely. 131060, heartfelt farewell messages because, of course... It's dramatic and brave what we're doing, Ham. Yeah. You, we need people to be like the virtual people on the docks waving the white handkerchiefs. <laughs> yes, going, exactly. Going, good luck. It's uncharted waters around Vanuatu. No one's ever been there before. <laughs> You're the bravest sailors the world has ever seen. And we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Hey, Miss Nanny, cruising your home. The People's Cruise kicks off today. We depart in about 10 minutes' time. Hey, it's an emotional scene. Some of us may never return. That's true. If you live in Vanuatu. Yeah, we might be um, uh, dropping you home. Yeah, exactly. But hey, on um, 131060, obviously, the people of the people's show, some of them couldn't be with us today. Yeah. And they've rung up with messages of support and farewell messages, starting with Narel. Narel, ahoy. Narel, um, you're probably overcome oh. with emotion. Are you there? Hi, how are you going? Uh, Hi. Ahoy, Narelle. Ahoy. Narelle, oh, um, if you've got a, you got a farewell message? Fun getting ready to sail off. Right, Narelle, um, who's your message for, sorry? My message is for Tynan and Tanisha Gretsch. Okay. Right, Tynan and Tanisha, they're on this boat? Yes, they are. And I think... I think we've just seen... Is it, is, is it you guys over there? I think we've just seen... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it might be. Um, is, uh, what, what relation are you to those special young Big people? Mom. You're yeah, their mum. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. Oh, lovely, Narelle. Well, thank you for the farewell message. We'll take great care of them, even though we haven't quite been able to identify who exactly oh, they are as we no look doubt. around the crowd. So have fun, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Narelle. Uh, Tiffany, Tiffany, Hi. you had a farewell message for the people Ahoy, of the People's boys. Cruise? Ahoy, Ahoy to you. Um, this is a message for Camilla. For Camilla? A, a message for Camilla to farewell her. I hope she has an amazing time. And who's Camilla? Um, Camilla Ibrahim with her friend Juliana. There she is. Camilla. Camilla. That's your, she's, she's done it. Now, has Camilla told you any secrets about her that she's hoping to sort of achieve on the trip? We're like just, just going to interrupt. She's kissing a boy at the moment, so we're just going to get him off. And I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I think, joking. She's, <laughs> I think she's single. Bella is going to be absolutely <laughs> devo that you took she's, her spot in the line for the call. Just all right. Say that. <laughs> she um, is ready to... Um, we've just heard you're ready to mingle. Is that correct or...? Um, <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. Okay, okay. okay. Tiffany, she's here. Camilla, Have any last words for Tiffany? Time. 
Just wish you were here, really. <laughs> oh, okay, beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Camilla. Thank you, Tiff. Rochelle, a farewell message for anyone on board? Yes, my cousin Lee. It's her 40th birthday, and we would like to wish them a great cruise. Oh, great. there well you done, go. Lee. Lee, are you around? Is that Lee over there, is it? Well done, That's Lee. Lee. Not Lee. Doesn't ever That's end. Lee. That's Lee. Everyone's just getting random shout-outs, but it's go. great fun. Take one. Even if it's not for you, take it. And, Lee, you can confirm that Rochelle is your cousin? All right, you've passed the test, Lee. <laughs> Hello. Okay, yes. okay, Rochelle's still there. Um, Lee, uh, uh, Rochelle, any other messages for Lee? Oh, we just want to wish them a great cruise. We wish we were there and have, a, have the best birthday ever. Oh, we've just realised she doesn't have headphones on. All right, this is complicated. <laughs> this is it. She, well, don't worry, she's in good hands. She's on a. She's on. She's got a puffer fish in her hand. Everything. She's safe. One more, then Zoe on thirteen ten sixty. Have you got a, a message for a, a farewell for the people of the People's Cruise, Zoe? Yeah, this is for my mum and dad, Kerry and Glenn. Have a good cruise, and I'm having a party at home. <laughs> Fantastic! We've just seen uh, we've just seen your parents try and hide yeah. um, in the audience, and for a second, I thought it was my wife Zoe, and I got really nervous. So <laughs> that was a win for everyone. Have a great party, Zoe. <laughs> Zoe, they're not back for a long time. Have a great one. Same with Nanny. Live poolside from Lido Deck Nine of the Carnival Spirit. This is the People's Cruise with Hamish and Andy. Hey, Mr. Andy, cruising your home, everybody. We are moments away, everybody, from leaving the greatest country in the world. We're about to head out to sea, guys. Mm. In a few hours' time, we'll be under international law, mm. and, um, and I'll be leading a small mutiny. But until then, until then, um, we're sailing out. We're about to head out through the heads and into the unknown, off on a voyage. Who knows what will await us? on this cruise as we head to Vanuatu. But one thing's for sure, we know it's going to be incredible fun. The People's Cruise already has exceeded our expectations. But just before we we push out of port and we can hear, I, I can actually, you can feel the engine starting to go now. So we're so close mm. to setting off. But before we before we push out, it's important for us as a, as a group, I think, Anna, to sit there and go, what does this cruise mean to us? Yeah. What do we want to achieve mm -hmm. on this cruise? I mean, whether we're... Fast and loose Hamish, normal guy Andy, best yeah. fun Steve, whoever we are mm. on this cruise, we've all got dreams, we've all got hopes. I'm not sure if everyone heard that at home, but there was a honk. There can, or now, can only be described as a honk now is from that, the bridge. Now is that... I don't, we don't know what really that means. I think it means he's putting it in reverse and then two honks means drive. <laughs> So right now the captain's backing her up a little bit before he sets sail out to uh, out to sea. But are we getting confirmation? Are we underway? Are we ropes away? Not yet. Not no, yet. No, what was that? Just a warning honk. I reckon it's that was a honk. Everyone get ready. That's a get ready. Uh, that was on your. That's marks. on your marks, guys. That's on your marks as far as honks go. Right, well, let's, I, let's... I'm not sure if there's a get set honk, but there will certainly be a takeaway. <laughs> hey, what do you want to achieve? Let's Ando? set the tone. For me, hi, I'm Andy Lee. And for me, I hope over the next five days, my body is submerged in a pool more often than it's submerged in air. May you always be wet, Andy. <laughs> Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Hamish Blake, and I suppose to me, my dreams are simple. I just want every, everyone on board to have the greatest trip they've ever had, and by the end of it, I want 900 souvenir cups. That's all I want. That's all I want. Thank you. Thank you for helping me in my dream. But don't give them to me. I've got to earn them. Um, is, have we got anyone else? David out there, is it? David's come forth. If, you, if anyone else has their come own forth. pledge, Tell David. us your dreams. D say your name and your pledge, sir. Uh, it's Dave. Yep. Dave, what's your dream for this, this cruise? So this is the fastest water slide or highest water slide on Both. a cruise ship. Steepest and fastest. And yeah. wettest. Yep. With your training, Hamish, I'd like to set a record on this water slide. Oh, that is a great It will thing. be done. Yes, a lovely pledge. Thank you, Dave. Bless you. Cruise well. Moving across there. Take it away. What's name, your name, Sam? Name and pledge. Hey, I'm Hayden, guys. Mm -hmm. Of Just course. Just want to uh, ultimate cruise wingman, my best mate Tom here. Oh, Tom. that's a lovely... It shall be done. That is a I mean, I can ask pledge. right now, are there any girls looking for love on the cruise? Yes. Great. He's available, guys. <laughs> He's available. Uh, You're we'll, doing a hell of a job, though, Hayden. Hayden, we'll check back in with you. Hey, Honorary you, wingman. Hayden, hey, you know it's a tough thing. Oh, I helped you so much. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, who's this? Best fun Steve. It's best fun Steve. Best fun Steve. <laughs> Best fun, Steve. Please, please state your name and your ambition for the trip. Well, I'm just going to be best fun, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to do everything. And I've got to hang with Amish. He brought me on this boat. Yes. Mate, we've got to float together. Guys, yeah. I mean, well, look, you wouldn't be here without <laughs> Andy, too. <laughs> hey, Steve. Andy, Steve. thanks for the lifeline. Yeah, hey, Steve, I think I'm going to say hi, I'm Andy. And I hope over the next five days, best fun, Steve and I can... Bury the hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, smoke, and smoke the peace pipe. And, I, <laughs> and extend the olive branch. Yeah. And any other metaphor that stands for you and I getting along. Because, I got, yes, <laughs> I really protested you coming. I got a real... Yes, <laughs> but I like the way you're starting to think. Yeah. Hey, Steve, <laughs> I got a good feeling, best fun, Steve, that you and Andy are going to mend things up tonight yep. at the Dance and Dance Club. Real <laughs> name. <laughs> Didn't make it up. <laughs> Guys, ten, nine, eight... Seven, six, five. Let's get sailing! Let's get sailing! So, take it to sea, Captain. Take, take it to sea. Take it to sea. <laughs> it's Hamish and Andy. <laughs> Hamish and Andy and the People's Cruise is away, everybody. We are slowly drift drifting away from Circular mm. Key here. <laughs> Great honking, Cap. We're out to ocean, even though we've already run through the first batch of collectible cups. Guys, yeah. could you please keep your applause going? Because joining us on stage is Mark and Leanne, who are the wor Australia's most cruised couple. Is that right, guys? Yeah, on, on Carnival. On wow. Carnival. Guys, give them a round of applause. Now, so, Mark, Leanne, we're in the presence of greatness. First of all, your diamond's level, right? What does that mean? How many levels are there until you get to diamond? Uh, there's, uh, what's it go, blue, red, uh, gold, then platinum, and then diamond's the top level. How many diamond members are there in Australia? Uh, as far as I know, I think there's five. Yeah, right. Five diamonds. Yep, five. Okay. How many cruises have you done? 84. 84. Um, We're in the presence of greatness. Um, Mark, <laughs> is it 84 over a great span of years, or do you string them back to back? <laughs> Uh, no, we, most of them we've done over the last 10 years, but... 84 cruises in 10 years almost. But we do 15 a year now, so... You're on 15 cruises a year? Yep. What cruise number is this for this year? Uh, this is our ninth this year. Wow. Mark, Jeez. do you have a job? Yeah, I do, and that's why I keep cruising, because I don't want to go to work, so... <laughs> um, what, do you mind if I ask? You're not one of that, like, when people go, oh, make nine grand a week working from home, you know, no, no effort. Are no, you doing no. that? No, not at all. <laughs> No, I just, I just keep booking cruises. So, a actually, they book themselves now, so... Well, we, couldn't, we couldn't believe that we're it's, it's on the like boat. You got a, it's like you've got a subscription that just keeps auto-renewing and you have to keep coming. It's amazing. Well, that, that's what it is. I mean, every, everyone will find out by the time they get off this cruise, yeah. the first thing you're going to do is go home and book another Carnival cruise. Right. Jeez. Now, And, and you're definitely Happens. not from Carnival. No. Okay. Can I ask yeah. you, Leanne, we've come on board and we've started drinking immediately these puffer fish drinks. Yep. But you've got your... And they're this cocktail in sort of a collectible cup about the size of a mini basketball. <laughs> you've got your own disco ball cup. Yep. Now, is that like a cruise status thing that you bring your own no. cup? <laughs> no, that's just other ones during the cruise that will uh, come out. Oh, so, oh, so that's not your cup? Okay. That's not my cup, no. Yeah, right, OK. <laughs> Leanne, between, so you, between you and Mark and 84 cruises, <laughs> which one of you likes it more? more? Do you feel like Mark's pushing you to cruise more or you're pushing him to cruise more? Or you both just... We both just absolutely love it so much. What about it? Do you yep. love so much? Just doing nothing and having heaps of doing fun. Doing nothing and having now. fun? Yeah, yeah, I can understand how it appeals. She does as she's told. It's easy. I just book the cruises and tell her where we're going. And what, that's what, it. What countries have you seen, Mark, cruising? Uh, we've done a lot in the Caribbean. Yep. Uh, South America. Obviously, all the islands around here we've done a number of sure, times. Sure, Mediterranean, Greek islands. Now... Well, yeah, what, can you give us a tip? You guys have done 84 cruises. Where it's, as a couple, it's our first cruise. It's our first crew. And just here to have fun and yeah. enjoy the lifestyle. What, what tips can you give us? Get involved in everything there is. Yep. Um, Did you see I already made balloon yeah, pops? Yeah, <laughs> and that's it. I mean, wear things like that, you're bound to have a great time. I already did some arts and craft. Yeah, thanks. Yep. But all, all the shows, I mean, a lot of people miss things, but all the shows are absolutely fantastic. Every right. night there's a different show on. Yep. 
Um, Far better than this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, <laughs> you, you, you uh, got off to a shaky start. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Hey, at the end of the day, I mean, you're the two legends, and I mean, every, I'm sure everyone's... Hey, we got 83 cruises to go before uh, you can you use know. the old word, champ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, my, my son Jay said to me, I mean, obviously you, you're great fans of all our kids, mm. and I mean, they're spewing, they're not on this as well, but yep. we, we were on the cruise previous to this, so we've already been on for 11 days. Yep. And then when you found out you guys were coming on, I thought, oh, well, that'll be fun. We might as well stay for another 10. Take a round again. <laughs> well, guys, thank you Mark so much. Mark Gilligan, Australia's most cruise couple. If in doubt. Cruising royalty. Ask them. They know. Same as Shenandy. Cruising Thank you, guys. Can I, can I just say one quick thing? Oh, you can during the song. <laughs> this, yeah, this T-shirt I'm wearing here. Now, uh, Carnival Australia just partnered with uh, Westmead Children's Hospital uh, on the last cruise. And it's a fundraising thing, and it goes 100% of the proceeds go to uh, the Westmead Children's Hospital, oh, that is which is a fantastic cause. Now, I don't know yet, Eli, I'll let you know, the cruise director, possibly the third sea day, they may be trying to uh, look at doing the promotion then, but these T-shirts are $15 a each. A rival T-shirt. Oh, wow, you and know we're selling our own T-shirts <laughs> too. A rival T-shirt. And we've got to, get these, we've got to get these guys. There's, there's got to be at least 500 people on the ship that can buy a shirt and yep. support it. Support a fantastic cause. All right, well, that's two great T-shirts that are available on board, guys. <laughs> Both go to a good cause. We'll see. I think we can get some money coming towards the West Mead too. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hey, Mr. Andy, you're driving your home. The People's Cruise, everyone, and we are slowly making our way out of Sydney Harbour at the moment. About 25 storeys high, Hamish. Yeah. We, we are really high towering. You barely fit under the Sydney Harbour Bridge. I don't think it can. That can? I don't think this can. We, yeah. That's why we docked just shy of the bridge, but we're underway. We're steaming out the heads now, and look, as we sail into the night, we're all about to hit the buffet. I think we're off to the Dance and Dance Club in just a moment. I don't, it's a funny name for the Dance and Dance Club. Is it? Just about to eat the, you know, eat the drink and drink bar yeah, and then yeah. get on down to the Dance and Dance Club before and retiring. Go to the the to sleepy sleep room. Sleep and sleep rooms a little later on. But Ando, I'm looking at the menu essentially for uh, all the activities on board. 45 activities per day, I understand. Is it just and me? Are we rocking? Is the boat rocking? Or have fun. I had too many? Yeah, yeah. No, we're just rocking, just a little bit. I don't think we're rocking that much, mate. I think that the puffer fitches might have been catching no, up with you. Here's but the thing: I've got us. You're in charge of tomorrow's activities. I get to sort out Wednesday's activities. Are you going to present some for me to choose? Or are you just telling me what I'm doing. Well, when does my jurisdiction begin? Can I pick tonight's activities? I think it should be six till six. So it should be great. It should be from the show, obviously, from now until the show starts tomorrow. Well, yes, because I'm looking at ten thirty tonight mm -hmm. in the Versailles room. There's something called the Brad Pitt Show. Yeah. Go on, take us. A lot of girls. Except, except we can't go to that because my favourite event of the next twenty four hours is happening at 10.15, and I think it runs for an hour. Mm. That's Acoustic Jams with Robert. Right. So it's Rob or Brad Pitt? Well, I've picked. We're going to Acoustic Jams with Robert. That's okay. in the atrium. Okay. So we can just have a few drinks and listen to it, and you, you could get up. I'm not getting up. Yeah. All right. We're going to have a think about that. Okay. Then tomorrow... God, where do we start? Okay. I've got us at 7 a.m. Fab abs and morning stretch. <laughs> <laughs> that's a maybe. That's a definitely. That's let's pencil that in. I got us in, in, in the softest do pencil you, available. Do, do you know where that's What's being held? In the nightclub, so we could go the whole way through. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, then after that, we're not doing that. At 10, at 11:30, I've got us. Uh, we're booked in for the trivia morning. Okay, I like that. Okay. Uh, we're doing trivia at uh, trivia at 11:30. Yep. Then, you know, it's, there's a few things on, but I think I'm going to go for... Could we squeeze in bingo? Because mm -hmm. it's at 3.30. Between we could, well, I mean, I we like start the show loose, at, I like how loose this no, 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 whole we schedule the, is. We, like, we start the show at 4. We've got one thing... Oh, sorry, I thought you were talking about. Can <laughs> we squeeze it in between 11.30 and 3.30? Well, we do have something else booked. We start the show at 4. Could we play a few games, then run to do the show at 4? I think that's unprofessional, mate. I think we should probably... I set. would like to play bingo. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll play the first, bingo the, first, the first card of bingo. But here's the other thing that I've booked in, and I jumped on this quick. As soon as I got on board, I saw this, because you've got to get in quick because spots fill up. Am I right, guys? You've got to book in this stuff early. Yeah. You and I, together, mm -hmm. at, I think, just after lunch, so 2 p.m. tomorrow, mm -hmm. we'll be going to the Illusions Photography Studio where I've got us the deluxe package, <laughs> and we can take up to six different black and white romantic portraits to remember our time at sea. 
Thanks, man. No, thank you for being here, babe. This is going to be the best week we've ever had. <laughs> Guys, let's go to the dance and dance floor. <laughs> It's time to direct the satellite dish towards the high seas and try and tune in to Hamish and Andy and the People's Cruise. <laughs> Some of them want to cruise you. Some of them want to be cruised by you. I'm a real big baller and I made a million dollars and I spent it on girls and crews. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Uh, Andy, you haven't changed any words to this song. Yeah, I know, but it still works. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Mama! Solid ground, take me away on your cruise, cruise on, cruise, cruise, and furthermore, let's cruise. Live, live from the middle of the South Pacific Ocean, this is The People's Cruise with Hamish and Andy. Good afternoon, everyone. Hamish and Andy, the cruise, your home yet again, yes. Hey, and we're in the middle of the South Pacific. Antics went down last night. Look, there was a crazy show yesterday. If you listen to the our first show of the People's Cruise, we yeah. were upstairs, we were on deck nine, we were next to a pool, we had a lot of these crazy fish cocktails. Mm. Uh, they are in the commemorative cup. I bought you a couple, Andy. You can keep the cup. Today, Thank a you. lot more, <laughs> a lot more relaxed. And I just yes. say, let's just put a lid on those fish cocktails. I mean, we have one next to us. It's the, it, but it's the <laughs> cocktail of the day. Does taste a lot like the cocktail of yesterday, but just I think one is fine. Yeah, as just a way to relax because here we are on deck three, looking out at a, the sun setting yeah. on the beautiful South Pacific Ocean. Day two of the People's Cruise. We went to the Dancing Dance Club last night before we um, toddled off to a sleeping sleep bed. Um, way later than we thought. Something came up at the Dancing Dance Club, and I mean, let's take it all back to. You know, there's a lot of winners on this yeah. trip with us. People that uh, won their way in by if they were snoozing, they were cruising. Yeah. They had to answer the phone as if they we'd woken them up. And um, there was only one person that was a bit of a line ball. His name was Steve. Hello. <gasps> Steve. Uh, yeah. No, no, oh, Stephen. No, Steve. Our first line ball. Our oh, first you person. Were- <laughs> I'm afraid under the rules, the strict rules and terms and conditions of you snooze, you cruise, unfortunately. It felt like a pretty chipper <laughs> hello. <laughs> yes. My heart's racing. Steve, guess what? What? You're not coming. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what we'll do... Oh, you pair of a tease. <laughs> We're a tease? No, we gave you the opportunity. <laughs> hey, we can't. We can't. There's so many people. You know the rules. Okay, look- Andy, <laughs> if this is like the voice, do I get one vote to save? Hey, but you're going to use your vote I'm to save. To save. You're only allowed one for I'm the vote, week. I know. I'm voting to save. I'm going to vote to save. I think he wakes up happy. <laughs> I, I, I need it. I need it. Well, Steve, I mean, I've put my neck on the line here. Um, <laughs> would you? I hope you can really represent on the boat and have the best cruise of your life. Man, I'm the best fun person I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Hammond, I maintain that um, I didn't think you were sleepy enough. It was tough. And, look, it was a, it was a tense moment in the studio, probably the tensest moment we've ever had on air. Yeah. But in the end, yes, uh, I voted to save Steve. Best and fun, Steve. He came on board, and as he proclaimed himself, he said, guys, you've made the right decision, I'm the best fun. That's why he was wearing the best fun Steve hat. Yep. And, geez, did the best fun <laughs> Steve virus catch yesterday. How old do you reckon? On a ship, they do, and they do say the worst thing that can happen on a ship is it gets a virus because yeah. it's a contained ecosystem, yeah. and everyone's got the best fun Steve virus. Yeah, even him. I even had the guy in the gift shop this morning going, oh, who's this best fun Steve? Because I've got the best fun Steve hat. <laughs> I've got the other hat. And he saw the hat, and he went, oh, man, I heard, oh, I met another best fun Steve. And I said, well, he's the real one. And yeah. he goes, oh, he was good fun. You're just a fan. And, that's, and that's, just, that's just Steve in the gift shop. So he's not even in his natural element. I reckon Steve's about 55. Yeah. Um, the thing is, everyone knows that I'm the one that didn't want him on the boat, yeah. and hence the fact that Best Fun Steve's going well means that most people are looking at me yeah. 
And you judge me, me. And it certainly came to a head last night at the club. This is the weirdest place in the world. <laughs> this is loose. <laughs> It's uh, just gone 8 o'clock. Yeah. Instead of fast and loose, it got loose fast. I might have inspired everyone to be too fast and too loose. It's possible. <laughs> well, but that's what happens when you head out to the open ocean, Ando. We're in international waters. Anything can happen out here. I've got a bit of a nemesis out there, Ham. Who is it? His name's Best Fun Steve. You can't be against Best Fun Steve. He, no. Everyone's eating out of his hands. He's the I, highlight of the boat. He could be, he's probably above the captain. He's certainly above me. At our own party. Just put it behind you. You were to know who he could become when you voted to reject him from this boat. Mate, I've had 15 people come up and go, egg on your face now, Lee, <laughs> as they watch Best Fun Steve rip it up. You're like a really, really, really bad talent coach. Luckily, I saw something in the youngster and I knew we had to get him on the team. <laughs> um, his wife won't speak to us. <laughs> Man. She's hiding from him. I think she's probably a little bit more on my side. <laughs> Something tells me that's fun Steve might go a little bit supernova. I think he might shine very bright tonight and then be a black hole by Thursday. <laughs> because at the moment, I see a 56-year-old man on a light-up dance floor surrounded by people 30 years his junior screaming best fun Steve. It's a stamina and a speed that is impossible to maintain. I just... Let's just see where Best Fun Steve goes. <laughs> he's beating me. Out for popularity, he's smashing me out of the park. Best Fun Steve! Best Fun Steve! Go for me! Best Fun Steve! Best Fun Steve! Best Fun Steve! God, he's really... That is awesome. He's up to it, hasn't he? He's on the ball, mate. He's on the ball. <laughs> he's unbelievable. I'm a fan. <laughs> I just switched the whole world could see Steve because he's a special animal. He is. And Andy <laughs> almost says no to him. You, really, you save the day. You save the day. Your words, Ben. Oh, man. Just a few of the <laughs> few of our cruise mates here just saying to me, "Hey, thanks, maintain- Ham. Great instinct. You saved the day." I maintain you're still in the honeymoon period, everybody. You're in the glow I feel like of getting Steve on board. Steve will crash and burn. I think Steve will crash and burn. So I'm not going to retract my call yet. If BFS can keep what he's been doing yep. up to the level he's been doing yep. it on Friday's show, we got a big show. We're trying to book the main theatre here yep. on the, the Pharaoh's on, Theatre <laughs> on the cruise ship to do our Friday show. Yeah. I think some sort of public apology to Steve. Yeah, if he deserves it, I'll give him one for sure. Oh, so generous. <laughs> hey, Mr. Andy. Cruising your home. We're aboard the Carnival Cruise Land uh, line. Um, anchors down, Ham. Fun's up. <laughs> There's been a, a hell of a lot of fun over the last 24 hours for us. You just said it's sort of just figurative anchors down at the moment. Yeah, yeah. We're going quite quick. We're going yeah. at about... We're driving faster than you go in a school zone. <laughs> yep. Yep, All the way yep. to Vanuatu it's, it's, at about <laughs> school zone pace. But it's pretty, it's quite impressive to see the sea rushing by outside the window here. In the middle we, of the South Pacific. We do it, uh, we're doing our show from deck three today, everybody. Mm. If you're, uh, if you're on the boat and you want to stop and say hi, please feel free to. <laughs> but Ando, speaking of cruising around the boat, last night on, if you're listening to the end of yesterday's show, yep. we were looking at the activities list for that night. And you got to pick them. I mean, I get to pick tonight. There was tomorrow. a lot, lot going on. There's a lot going on every day on the ship, but we looked down and I said, oh, look, 10.30, there's a thing called the Brad Pitt Show, which is still a bit of a mystery. Yes. We don't really know what it was. But we, I was like, look, can't go to the Brad Pitt Show because I thought the show with the best name yeah. of any show on board yeah. was happening at 10.15, which is music with Acoustic Robert. Yep. Now, Acoustic <laughs> Robert is a guy is a guy called Robert, yep. and he plays an acoustic, acoustic guitar. guitar yeah. And now you often wonder, like, how do musicians... Which was what I expected. How you, me too, in the end. <laughs> um, but how you, how do you know, musos get their cool names? Yeah, exactly. Um, and with Acoustic Robert, you yeah, could really yeah. tell when you saw him. <laughs> how, acoustic, how he got his name. Acoustic Robert had got his cool name. Um, fair to say, this is the start of his gig, light on people. We were the only ones there. Well, except for? Oh, well... Uh, just going to paint a bit of a picture here. Yeah. Can't stress enough uh, how much the gentleman we're about to mention was not one of our cruise mates. No. We've been hanging out with our cruise mates. I believe we just come from the casino. Yep. Uh, we've been playing a little bit of three-card poker with yeah. a bunch of people that had uh, <laughs> yep. made it on board the cruise. Then up, uh, sort of, Anne and I were having a chat. We were saying, "Look, we've got about five minutes to Acoustic Robert. Let's make, let's get to the atrium." Yeah. We didn't know how many people would be there. This guy sort of sided up to us. We made small talk with him. Yep. He was playing a pretty hard tag. Yep. He said, oh, look, that's all right, mate. Sorry, we got to go. Yep. We're going to go and see Acoustic Robert. I didn't actually think we said that. We just said, look, got to go. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Then uh, on your side of things, Ando, yeah. upside all day, our, our old friend. Now, we only mention him because... Um, He's annoying. You know, 
<laughs> and Andy was copying the full full force of it. But anyway, you will hear him reference because we thought we should record a little bit to um you know to capture the vibe at, at Acoustic Robert's gig. Oh, what a night it's been, Andy. I mean, we've been rocking out at the at the nightclub. Yeah. Then we went and had our t-shirt selling expedition. Yeah, that was intense. Then we couldn't pick up the stack of couldn't pick up the stack of five dollar notes at the cash crane. Yeah. Now we're sitting here in the atrium bar, waiting for acoustic Robert. It's just jam packed. And I tell you what, I can't believe we got such good seats for acoustic Robert. <laughs> yeah, this is. Taking nothing away from Acoustic Robert because we haven't heard because we haven't heard him yet. When we were fast and Acoustic Courtney was playing before, Acoustic Courtney had this place heaving. Yeah. So once Acoustic Robert really starts strumming, we know there'll be you know the atrium will fill up. Yeah. But uh, at the moment it's just you and me. And this who's this guy? I'm trying to ignore him. I'm actually. <laughs> I thought you were facing me at a rather full-on angle. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Not, the thing is, he's, we've got to make this clear, he's, he's not one of ours. Uh, like Our cruise mates are terrific, yeah. and you can't, you know, you're not going to get two and a half thousand perfect travelling companions. I mean, we've got 110 who we love, yeah. who won their way on. Yeah, yeah. And then it's probably, you know, it's a yeah. lucky dip with the rest. Yeah. And well, yeah. with a lucky dip, yeah. you're going to get a pair of socks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not always going to get gold class tickets, no. and we've unfortunately not got gold class tickets yeah. with this guy. Yeah, no, I hope to never see him again. <laughs> I mean, we've been talking about how big a ship it is, but suddenly it just doesn't feel big enough. <laughs> Here we go, acoustic Rob's back playing. What's he starting with? Here we go, acoustic Rob. Go for it, Robbie. I think acoustic Rob wants. Oh, he's playing Johnny Cash. Uh, I think he wants more people to turn up there because it kind of feels like he's singing a love song to you, me, and the, this guy. <laughs> I was going to call him the dud. That's, that's a bit rough. <laughs> it's actually pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I where was a late night? <laughs> oh, hey, we came on board with 110 friends. How many friends do you need? <laughs> hey, Mission Andy, cruising your home. We are on board the Carnival Spirit Cruise Line, everybody. Somewhere in the South Pacific, in on top of the deep blue sea. Yeah. We really are, Endo. A couple of metres on top of it, but with a lot of boat on top of us because we're on deck three oh. of a possible ten. Yes. At the moment, and Look, just sitting here watching the sunset mm. on deck three as we sit here in the cabin in, of the captain, yeah. the captain's private cabin. <laughs> uh, he's given it to us for the afternoon. We're sitting here mm. just in his private library yeah. looking out at the ocean. It's wonderful. Hey, I mean, this whole boat's a little bit of a mystery to us, isn't it? I'm positive there's 85% of the boat I haven't seen yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, and last night, I think after we went to the Dance and Dance Club, mm. you and I were like, let's go and explore. Mm. Got a bit waylaid at the casino. Yes. Then, um... Then went, went home after yeah. that. <laughs> sure, yeah, we caught Acoustic Robert. Caught Acoustic home. Robert. <laughs> and um, then we sort of went back home. So there's still a lot to yeah. see. Hey, m- there was a mystery in my room last night. Who was it? No, not a person. Okay. Um, I, was the only have- one, I was the only one in there. Yep. And uh, throughout the night, as the boat began to rock a lot more last night, did you notice that? Yep. Um, and that wasn't just us with uh, with too many puffer fish drinks. Um, it was genuine ocean rocking caused by gravity, which means a lot of things move in your cabin. They do. That's that's life at sea, though, mate. Yep. And coming from the cupboard slash drawer area, there was a real mystery. A rickety and noise. Ma- and I managed to capture it. Have a listen. Time is three in the morning, and there is a tapping sound. I. Uh, with rock of the boat that I cannot work out where it's coming from. It seems to be a draw. There it is. Did you hear that? It's like a draw is coming out and coming back in, but I've wrapped every single drawer in my clothes. And it goes so sporadically that I can't identify it. There it is. Look at the draw now. There it is again. It seems like it's coming from this cupboard, but I've completely wrapped the cupboard door in in clothes. I'm looking at it. It's as if it's Morse code for ha, 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 try and sleep. Pillow over the head time, I think. (laughs) 
it's did tough. You, did you have something like that? Yeah, I, I, I did. I did four. I got up twice because there's something at, m- at my door, out to the hallway, yeah. that sounds like two polite knocks. <laughs> there must be something that moves like a bit of the. Not just you it ordering just says, 24 hour ice cream and pizza. That's four polite knocks, <laughs> and uh, Carlos knows now to come straight in. <laughs> but it honestly just sounds like this. And I go, I went, oh, who's the, who is this? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm full. And then I opened the door and I thought I was being nick knocked. It might be the same as my, I worked out what mine was. I, I was going to say, did you see, did you look on the back of the TV? There's a little, there's a loose <laughs> thing on the back of the TV. That would, that would be a good suggestion. Mine was the safe. You know how you have a safe? Ah. Uh, there was a that, door inside a door. The door, the safe was inside the cupboard. They and do the, jiggle and the a safe bit. wasn't, no, it wasn't locked. So it was just opening and closing. Pop your coat in. Yeah. How, how, what time was that? Three o'clock? Three o'clock. Yeah. I wonder, is this an upset Andy? Well, no. <laughs> it feels a bit like an upset Andy because it is something that upset you. Yeah. You are, I mean, a tapping noise. I know a tapping noise can be annoying to everyone. Well, I, I mean, Do you know what? I, I, noticed I, I, another, I noticed another upset Andy yes, and This might be grounds. Yeah. This, uh, that's a line ball because a lot of people get upset yeah, by the get, tapping it, noise. That's regular, yeah. But this one... If if this upsets you, yeah. we'll do the segment. For people that know the segment, they'll be itching. They'll be standing by their phones to call 13 10 60. Mm-hmm. So yesterday, when we left Sydney, uh, when we leave Circular Quay, because you're leaving the country, you have to fill out customs. Yeah. And I noticed on that customs form, because it has specific blocks for every letter, yeah. you don't like writing across uh, the blocks. And I think I saw you look at mine... <laughs> And uh, I just, I write the word. I don't care where the lines are. Mate, the, because the what line, am I? The lines are there for a reason. What am I? <laughs> to help the person identify the word. What am I? An idiot. <laughs> what kind of idiot? Fast and loose. A fast and loose idiot. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, I just squeeze anything in there. I don't care. Everyone can read block letters. Is that upset you that I just wrote across yeah. the lines? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, great. 13, 10, 60. Upset Andy. See if the satellite works. Please call us here on the boat. Do you have something that violates the way that Andy likes things to be just, just a little bit and efficient a little bit of order? Thank and you. a little bit ordered. Let's see if we can upset him after this. It is time for. Everything is neat and practical Cause that's the way he likes it But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy! And Hey, we are going to uh, try this through the phones from somewhere in the South Pacific well, This is amazing, Andy People yeah. are broadcasting on their phones from the mainland Here, yeah. we, here we are Hundreds of Ks out to sea, but I think with the magic of technology It should bounce down to it And we say, ahoy, Isaac! Uh, hi, boys. Uh, sorry to upset you, Andy, but um, when you do the washing up and you leave it all facing up so it doesn't dry properly or catches at the bottom of the cups and bowls. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. that's, 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 well done, uh, Isaac. That's Thank you. You've launched a torpedo <laughs> right at Andy and you've <laughs> sunk him. <laughs> absolutely a 10, Isaac. Why, why would you? No, no. Like, to move, in, move on to the next thing, fast and loose. I know, but then it's going to keep you, take you more time at the other end. Fast, loose and wet. Okay. Tom, you've got something for um, upset Andy. I don't know why I'm... Ahoy, yeah. Tom. Ahoy, Tom. <laughs> Ahoy, boys. Um, when I uh, take my headphones out and they're tangled up, I just put them in. I don't bother untangling them. <laughs> Tom, yeah. another huge, another hit and destroy, I think. <laughs> I can see um, Andy yeah. just well, really fuming there. That's right. I, I know what you're saying, Tommy. Like, if you don't need to be too far away from the music source, keep yeah. tangoed. You're going to um, not get the appropriate length that you need, Tom. Doesn't matter. And, uh, it doesn't crinkle the music. <laughs> like, it still gets to your ears. It, it also might squash the cord, Tom, and uh, and make that ineffective or perish early. Yeah, just, <laughs> just buy another one later. That's all right. I mean, how are you? Get headphones all the time. They're all always right. floating around. Everyone's Thank got you. pairs these days. I'm fine. Uh, well done, Tom. Uh, ahoy, Millie. Ahoy, Millie. Ahoy, boys. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say I'm going to upset the nation, not just Andy. I will use anyone's toothbrush in the bathroom, even if it's not mine. Yeah, that's just everybody. That's, that's just upsetting everybody. I don't know. If in an emergency situation, I'll use those toothbrush all the time. She's yeah, not she, happy about she it. Told yeah. <laughs> I know, um, but you're, but a, in, you're the, in marriage. Yeah. Um, you know, marriage is the ultimate arena for fast and loose sometimes. You know, you just, <laughs> you're just moving from one thing to the next yeah. all the time. You're very, very busy. It's also known as selfishness. <laughs> no, it's not selfish. I mean, if I don't have one at the time or yeah. we've lost mine somehow. <laughs> we've lost it. So collective loss. Do you know she has lost mine before? Because when we go so away, she's w- in charge of my. 
<laughs> well, because it just saves. We just pack one toiletries bag because sure. I have a toothbrush and a thing of deodorant, yeah. and then she's got all the rest. So yeah. she is technically in charge of cosmetics <laughs> and uh, toiletries, and it has happened. And in that instance, yeah, I mean, I, I'm happy to give her a kiss. So why not uh, chat the bristles in the mouth? Not crazy. Not crazy. <laughs> Jack's giving me a big thumbs up, fast and loose. Probably does it with his wife. <laughs> The People's Cruise, we are on 3,000 people on a 300-metre cruise liner somewhere in the South Pacific Ham as we look out, a few storm clouds around, and a guy with a hoodie just Pretty walking nice. past. <laughs> <laughs> just a dude cruising down. Yeah, Maybe cool. thinking about heading up and playing a bit of Dusk Mini Golf on level 10. <laughs> Hey, we've had so much uh, to, to jam pack in yeah. that we've skipped a few things <laughs> that we've planned for. Skipped a couple of things, but we've hit but a lot of other stuff. That's part of it, you know. Oh, and, by um, the way, uh, our, we, one thing we did hit last night is our black market T-shirt operation. Yes. We're just um, clearing uh, the final bits of audio through legal. Yeah. We'll have it just after five. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you did a great job as party planner last night. It's my go. Um, so tonight... Yep. I've got us booked in at 9.30. Oh, my God. Please say it's Miss Houdini's it is. illusion show. <laughs> yes. Yes. I've got us tickets. Yes. I know well, that you're... free. I yes. <laughs> I know that you're... It is free, isn't it? I, you still have to book because it's a popular show. Great. Um, you are fond of illusions slash Great. magic. I've really booked this for you. I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves, but I'm hoping that we can build up some sort of rapport with Miss Houdini and her mm. team and mm. maybe have her on the show on Friday when we do our extravaganza live from the ballroom. <laughs> yeah, right, and have a live illusion. It'd be nice. Okay, so we're booked in for that. I feel like that's a non-negotiable. We I'd, have to go there. I'd we like go to there. go to that yep. one. Tomorrow, I've booked in a lion. That's nice. <laughs> I feel like... That's, off, that's not on the menu. <laughs> I've gone uh, off the menu, great, and I've booked in a little lion for the two of us. That's really yeah, nice. Yeah, I'd like it. to do both those things. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have anything for a while. Here's the two things I want to throw at you again. We can have a, a play. This after we went with the the illusion show, which yep. is definitely in your camp. The golf chip off. Is yeah. there a chip challenge? Yeah, there's a chipping challenge. Chip at, the champ. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, which I wouldn't mind catching, and that's at eleven o'clock. Oh, so, so you watch someone chip? I uh, don't know. I think we can just go and have a chip. Definitely in. So we go there for eleven, and then ice carving. Let's see how we go. <laughs> we don't want to burn ourselves out, and I think I get the gist of ice carving. <laughs> sure. I mean, this sure. just sounds like one of those things where we're going to go home and like where are we get a giant ice block from. I, I just felt we could have a game of Pictionary or something where with someone, the ice carving. There was someone it's, sitting there. Oh, it's a long game of Pictionary. But All you... right, maybe ice carving, but <laughs> I, I got know, something better. What if we? What if we get the two professionals that they both have a piece of ice each? Depends on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you a soft, warm. I'll give you a lukewarm, maybe. No, you're, on not, that. you're giving me an ice, ice cold. I'm giving no, you, I'm giving you a freezing cold. No, on the ice. Okay, all right. That's right. If if you think it's I better think, than I got this, my lion across the road. If you think it's better than this, mm-hmm. Hamish Blake's. This is off the menu, by the way. This is only available to you. <laughs> like my lion. No other. No other guest is able to do this. This okay. is a closed event. Yeah. Hamish Blake's real life virtual Titanic experience. <laughs> it doesn't involve any sinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. All right. We stay. It's more of a scientific ex- expedition. Okay. You want in? Well, what's it involved? You have to say yes or no. No, I don't. Well, I'll say Off no. the name. The name's amazing. <laughs> well, All right, listen. How's okay. this? So, you know that first scene of Titanic when it's present day yeah. and the scientists are all, you know, with the mini yes. subs and they're going down under the ocean. So, this idea came to me last night mm. or maybe early this morning mm. when I noticed, as you said, we've got safes in our room like a yes. lot of people do. In Titanic, they're driving that robot down with the yeah. arms and Robotic it's, submarine, yeah. it's trying to find Stuff. the safe because yeah. that's where they think the jewel is yeah. and it turns out that's where that um, beautiful naked picture of the woman, the yeah. young lady, is yeah. with Kate Winslet. Yeah. So in that, that, in that movie, I was thinking, oh, my God, we're on a giant boat. Mm. We are on a huge ship. Mm. We can recreate that scene. Here's how it works. Mm-hmm. You become the mini sub, mm-hmm. okay? I gaffer tape your whole body up, mm. except you've just got pincers. Okay. Like your arms are like pincers, yeah. like the robot in the movie. I blindfold you. Yeah. I put a GoPro on your head, yeah. and I put two torches on your head. I'm sitting in the hallway outside my room yeah. with the on the iPhone. I can see what the GoPro I'm can, in, can see. In, and I guide you through my room yeah. just using left and right, yeah. and you have to open my safe and get the picture out. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. We'll recreate the yeah, scene from the Titanic. Certainly. Let's put the... Let's piss off the ice carving. Yeah, I sorry, ice carving. <laughs> Anything would be amazing. It'll be just like the movie. Yeah, stick around, everybody. We're cruising your home somewhere from the South Pacific. And up next, 
our black market T-shirt operation. We haven't been caught yet. We have been operating illegally at sea. In the dead of night. Which I guess makes us pirates. On a cold deck. <laughs> yeah, we had some customers. <laughs> Hamish and Andy, cruising your home. Um, <laughs> Ham, the... <laughs> Relaxation has been one part, but getting our business going has yeah. been has required a little bit more steadfast organisation. Look, a couple of weeks ago, as a joke, um, I during a photo shoot to you know highlight and promote this upcoming trip, I stood on you like a surfboard. <laughs> I made you lie on the ground. It's yeah. a bit of a stitch up, but I stood on you like a surfboard. And we had a bit of a laugh with that. And we went, actually, that's a wonderful photo, <laughs> me surfing you like a surfboard. We put it on a we put it on a, on the background of like a mm. a, a wave, yep. and we went. That looks great. Mm. That looks really really good. That belongs on a t shirt. So we made a mm. lot of t shirts that says that say Andy says surfs up. Correct. Okay, and we went. You know what? We got to bring these on board. People will want to buy these. Now we were wearing huge overheads. I can't stress the overheads enough. Yes. Which which is why we um had to sell them for fifty bucks <laughs> in in a cashless uh, in a cashless boat. That meant. That we had to, you know, organise a bit of a surreptitious meeting point late at night on the uh, on the deck at Muster Point B. Exactly. And um, hey, we we're nervous. You and I met in the storeroom. We didn't want to get caught because we know we'd get in trouble. Yep. We pick up the action there. All right, here we are in uh, one of the storerooms on the ship, just next to uh, I think the art gallery um, storeroom. This is where I freighted on board all our t-shirts. And uh, talk us through what's happening right now. Well, there's been an absolute run on. People coming up to us, giving us the uh, hang loose little symbol with surfs up, Andy says, which means they want. They want t shirts. They want the black market shirt. They want, they're giving us the shuckers. The Trump Hill Tribes gives 50 bucks in the club. We've had to leave Duck Club. Now, I know it's only 8 30. But to us, that's super late because the club has been going for a few hours now. Here's the thing, though. So I said, all right, everyone knows what there's these muster points for emergencies. Yes. Rather than bringing people up to the storeroom, giving them the T-shirt, taking them the 50... Also, we don't want to lead anyone to our storeroom because, A, they know where the loot is. They'll smash the door down. B, we're running an illegal operation. We can't have yeah. anyone meet us. The number one rule of selling illegal merch is don't let anyone know where your safe house is. <laughs> so this is our safe house here. It's also more of like a pop-up shop that we're running. So we're going to run this pop-up shop at Emergency Muster Point D. How many are you thinking you're taking? I'm going to take four of every size. I just think we need more. No, man. I have told a lot of people. I don't, I don't care. But the club's going to empty out. If we get caught, we lose all the merch. We can't carry with too much around. Take ten of each size. No, mate. Ten of each size. You haven't told 60 people. You don't know what I was doing in there. While you were just being bullied by Best Fun Steve, I was getting the word out about our tees. Because I think we gotta get, the more people wearing them, the better ad- advertising it is for the business. It's very... Five of each size. <laughs> Five of each size. Okay. I'll get my bum bag. I'll do the cash. Give you the merch. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. If any cops come, just jump overboard. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Me neither. <No>. Good plan. <laughs> So we made our way to Muster Point D, and at fifty dollars a T-shirt, I was pretty confident we wouldn't really get anyone. But I was wrong. Oh, here we go. We're alive. We're alive. Oh, we are. Oh, we are. We're on. What brings you guys to uh, the left back side of the third deck? We came here for surf up. Yeah, okay, we hear you. We hear you. And uh, can I just say, these, these T-shirts at black market, illegal T-shirts, walking around with an armful of them. <laughs> you get a bag or something. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's just do this quickly. Get your money. Get your money. Yeah. What do you want? Mediums, smalls? Smalls, smalls, please. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Can we get more tomorrow? Yeah, that's right. Just have a taste. You'll get you'll get hooked, I promise. You'll love them. Oh, you'll love so them. Good. It's so good. Yeah, super soft cotton, really high quality oh. print. Is he surfing you like a surfboard? <laughs> I don't know about these. No. Okay, guys, get out of here. 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 Tomorrow, bring more money. We'll be here. I really feel like I should have bought a bag now. I mean, I feel so exposed. Like, this I, is this is like almost a $1,000 street value just strewn across the deck. Yeah, I know. I know. Come on, man. Get your head in the game. I'm sorry, man. What if the captain walks past? What will we say to him? <laughs> oh, don't mind us, man. We're just making more money than you will ever make in your whole career selling t shirts on your boat. Think. I don't know. I think the captain... high stakes, high rewards, high risk. Yeah, no, I, I don't think the captain gets. Paid. I don't think the captain gets paid quite well. I don't think we're making more than. <laughs> uh, sorry, shirt. It's pretty good. I actually want to get one. <laughs> so you're the only one that wants shirts. <laughs> I'm chasing. I'm selling. I'm chasing. I'm selling. I'm chasing. <laughs> 
How's it going? What are you guys doing out here? I've just came out here. Doing the drill. Evacuation drill. Yeah, it's always good. It's good to know where Muster Point D is. Muster Point D, yeah. Pretty fierce win. I'd say about 50 knots. Yeah. I'm just... 50 notes? I mean... Anyone got any 50... Pineapples flying around, maybe a couple... What are, can I cut a deal with you? I'm packing a Bradman. Oh, she's packing what do you a want? green what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> I want three for a Bradman. You got it. <laughs> now, if anyone asks, you don't know where you got them from. You got them, you got them when we're on land, all right? Got them from General Pants. Where Pants. am I right now? I don't even know. How There's the medium. There's the medium. There's the medium. Yeah, tuck it up your top. Oh, my God. Keep me out, Shane. Get the f*** out of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Aim. I mean, it got off to a fly. I mean, we the adrenaline but, was pretty high, but we couldn't believe the sale we were about to make, and it caused a feud between you and I. Yep. And can I just say, no more discounting. I won't do that again. Okay. That was silly for me to do three for the price was, of was, two. So so soon into the beast, we got 150 of these guys to sell. <laughs> hey, we we've we just left the action. If you just tuned in, yeah. The backstory is this: you got t-shirts made up of you riding me like a surfboard. Yep. It says, Andy says, surf's up. And it cool turns out... Really cool t-shirt. It's actually a really cool t-shirt, yeah. yeah. Um, and we were, the excitement was, oh, we'll sell these on board. And we were told explicitly by the cruise line that we weren't allowed to do that. It's cashless on board. Mm. A lot of reasons they said, oh, you know, everyone's got a card. That's how you pay for everything. It's your swipe and pay card. And also, you know, there's shops on board that... Mm you know, pay to be on board. And, but what, uh, what I heard was a lot of red tape. But what because happens, we're not Tim? selling them, you know, we're not, it's not like we're inside running a shop. No. We're out on the deck with an armful of black market merchandise. Well, we have to be. Selling the shirts Good. at a very, I think, very fair $50 a pop you know, for one gold note donation. Yep. People could have their very own T-shirt, limited edition. Hmm. Uh, you know, the overhead's in it. Pretty much 40 bucks on each T-shirt, so we're barely getting anything for our trouble here, Ando. Right. And everyone's getting a limited edition tea. And if you don't want one, don't buy one. Uh, exactly right. Um, there's a demand for them, though, and when there's a demand for illegal products, it goes underground. We pick up the action where we couldn't believe mm. how much the fee- it hit fever pitch, the want for these T-shirts. We'd been out on the deck selling our gear for about an hour when Carly informed me she needed to go to the ATM because she wanted 10 shirts. I'm coming back for another hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. a little bit more. It's a little bit more. We got you, Ned. We got you, Ned. 10 T-shirts. You want 10? You want 10? Time. Go, go. Meanwhile, I was still worried we were going to get caught and locked up by the captain. Definitely not the fast and loose motto of our pop-up shop. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. She's coming back for 10 shirts. What? She's gone to the ATM. No, that's not responsible serving, man. I don't want to be a part of this. Man, it's a big order. I know, but I'm just saying, we get that too much on the street. <laughs> we're ruining communities. At the moment, we're just having fun. No, 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 this is fun. <laughs> this is good. This is what I get into. You think, well, you think I need to move one shirt here, one shirt there? There's nothing. <laughs> Small beans. I give this for big beans. Zucchinis. <laughs> and I got a zucchini sale coming up. And it's about to f***ing rain out here, all right? So stand there. Keep your nerve. Count those shirts out and see if we've got at least ten. Okay. I hate my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> then Carolee returned from the ATM with a pocket full of pineapple donations. Oh my god, this is a huge sale. Hey, you're not going to start your own t-shirt store, are you? <laughs> you hold on to that money, I can't, be, we can't do this purchase here. Andy, oh, okay. Andy. I need the purchase. I know you're addicted. I need the... Just give it... Just give it to me. <laughs> Andy, we're, we're a shop. We're a t-shirt you know shop. Don't even ask Andy. Get Andy from the is now. so slow and tired. It's what's, ridiculous. What, 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 what size do you want? I want every size. Just give me every size. I want a bit of everything. Fast and loose. I really like it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've got twelve. So you know what? I didn't even bring any t-shirts for this trip. Because I knew, I knew I'd get what I needed here. You don't need 12. <laughs> I need 12. But just as I was rejoicing in our biggest deal to date, Andy the neat freak nearly ruined things by insisting all the T-shirts had to be folded. What is he doing? He's unfolding every T-shirt. I just want the T-shirt on my body. And he keeps unfolding everything. Andy, he's, Andy, he's Andy he's is a, this man? Well, that's why I get hey, him to do this story. What do, you, what do you do with this man? Because he's really neat. So oh, oh, no. Like when you come to our illegal t shirt. I just need store. it. I just need it now. I just want it. Look, but quality like, and customer uh, service is also one of the hallmarks of our pop up store. I tell you what, I think I'm over my addiction. I've waited so long. Hey, I think I'm ready for the She doesn't care about the folding. Just give me all your t shirts. Just give it to me. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> it was a hell of a hell of a purchase, wasn't it? And uh, you yeah. got to admit, I mean, that's what we came for. Yeah, we came. We said we. I mean, we've we've freighted express from China yeah. boxes of these t-shirts on, and when yeah. we get a ten-shirt sale, you can't lose. You know. And we saw Carolee today at the She's Japanese happy. restaurant. She's, She's, She's wearing one. She couldn't be happier. She ah. loves the quality. The screen printing's great. So uh, we've got another spot for tonight, haven't we? And uh, people have been coming to us, giving us the hang loose symbol and saying surf's up. So we know that demand's still out there. We'll be meeting them. We'll be meeting people. Can't disclose now because we know the captain probably listens to the show. But yeah, yeah there'll be a point yep. on one of the outer decks in the dead of night where we'll start uh, shifting some more teas. Hey, um, we'll cover that off tomorrow. Stick around, everybody, as we broadcast live from a cruise ship in the middle of the South Pacific. Two of our winners, two of the people that have come here. Yeah, they've come here with, uh, with great stakes, yes, haven't they? Yes, they've come here and there's, there's probably a little bit of a black shadow that's following them around, a little bit of a dark cloud that sits above them because it's weighing on their minds. We'll explain why after this. <laughs> hey, um, uh, we're on board. Uh, we're live from a cruise ship. We had 120 winners come with us, and there were two fellows. Jordo was the winner. Yep. Poli- pizza um, delivery fellow. Yeah. He brought his mate, who also worked at the same pizza shop, and they both won on Friday. They both told their boss that they were going. Their boss didn't really give them the that's fine, <laughs> but said, they geez, have bought it. <laughs> that's soon. And they said, yeah, but it's a cruise. Yeah. And how often do you win a cruise? <laughs> so we're going on the cruise. And the yeah. boss said again, but gee, that's you that's, know that's that, two days away, and they said, yeah, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. <laughs> so last night, having a beer with the guys, yep. we said, you know, you're loving it on board because one of the great things about being on board mm. uh, the Carnival Spirit is is 24 hour pizza. Yeah, and we said, guys, are you just going nuts, getting as many pizzas as you want because finally you know, people deliver to you, you don't have to it, deliver to them. It's so nice evening up, evening up pizza karma, and they're like, yeah, it's good, but. We, you know, we're sort of now that the buzz reminds us. They're like, you know, (laughs) now that we've bought it and we we're having a lot of fun, but we um we're almost definitely getting fired. Yeah. Because we didn't really talk it through with our boss, and we just decided it would be easier not to have Mm. the conflict because who loves conflict? Mm. Um, and it'd just be easy to sort of get on the ship and sail off to sea and be uncontactable. And while they're staring down the barrel of a lot of wonderful cocktails in the shape of fish uh, cups... Keep the cup. They're also staring down the barrel of a firing. And They, know, tough, that there's, they know that something <laughs> something not so pleasant awaits them as they as they hop <laughs> off the ship. 131060, are you like this pair? Yeah. Are you currently looking at a firing? Yeah. <laughs> are you staring down the barrel of getting fired? You just know you're about to be canned. <laughs> Because 10, 60, give it, us a buzz. Even though you're not physically here, are you literally, or oh, sorry, metaphorically in the same boat? Yes. Are you in the same boat as Jordan and his mate? <laughs> John, ahoy to you. Ahoy, gentlemen. How are you? Uh, oh, we are great, good, mate. John. Sorry, there's a bit of a delay because obviously we're out at sea and you, we presume, are on the mainland. <laughs> yeah. um, are you looking down the barrel, barrel of a firing? Yes, I am. Talk us through it. Okay, guys, so my boss has just got his brand new Mustang that he's been waiting for about two years with. Um, he mm-hmm. told me to take it for a drive to go fill it up, and he said, if you get a scratch on it or anything, you will be fired. And I was like, okay, no problem. Um, next thing, walk, drive out of the business, um, a truck hits the front of it and wipe it out. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. You've wiped you've it out. Wiped off. Oh, you've oh, oh, sorry, yeah, John. We thought you were going for a scratch. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, yeah you've wiped no, off no. his uh, brand new Mustang. Yep. Uh, John, it's very difficult because there is a delay, but uh, we can only safely assume that you need a new job, and uh, thanks very much for calling. <laughs> and look, you know, may we recommend um, working on a Carnival Cruise Line? It's a wonderful <laughs> yeah. atmosphere. You're always looking to hire new people. Yeah. Hey, you sound like, I mean, obviously, we wouldn't have you drive the boat. You sound like a clumsy driver. <laughs> but, uh, you know, certainly behind a bar or running a dance class or something would be terrific. Tim, we're going to use a system of uh, finishing our sentences by saying over because we're on a delay as you broadcast or call us live to a cruise ship. Tim, ahoy there, over. Ahoy there, Hamish and Andy. Over. Uh, now, Timmy, thanks so much for giving us a buzz from the mainland. We hope everything is well back there. Certainly, everything's ship shape out here. Well, it's at obviously sea. not well for him because he's looking oh, yeah, at the barrel. But, of- <laughs> sorry, but on the yeah, on the more grim side of things, you are about to get fired. And why is that? Over. Um, well, me and my friend have uh, booked a two-month holiday for in October, and we still haven't told our bosses yet. Over. 
Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is over yeah. for you, Tim. <laughs> yeah. uh, that, yes. was, that was quite apt. So uh, good luck with that. I suggest not telling him and just doing a Houdini. And just... I did. I have used <laughs> the... <I've> used... <laughs> yeah, Hamish did this at a call centre he used to work I used to, When I went to the call centre, um, <laughs> uh, me and Andy and a few of the guys, and we were about 20 at the time, mm. we were going to Byron for mm. two weeks. I said I was volunteering at a camp <laughs> for disadvantaged youth. <laughs> now, in fairness, yeah. we had actually been to the camp. You and I had done some work at the camp. Yeah. Just wasn't that two weeks. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> And uh, they said, oh, look, well, you, we can't give you the time off. And yeah. I said, well, you know, these, uh, this these camp kid, needs everything. They need me. me. Yeah. And, uh, and I made a, did a big walkout and made it look like um, it looked like they didn't care about the kids. Yeah. And, and we had a great time in Byron. <laughs> <laughs> I thoroughly <laughs> recommend it, Tim. Over and out. It's Hamish and Andy. Hamish and Andy, driving you home. Well, cruising you home, I should say, as we're on board hand, the carnival spirit, live in the South Pacific at the moment, broadcasting back to you in day... Look, it was an important step for you and I. It was beautiful, Ando. Mm. We're sport for choice here on the Carnival Spirit. I mean, there's so many activities every day. I mean, we've got then we've got sleeping, eating, yep. you know, all the vitals to do around those activities. But I was able to get us booked early because this book's out. Mm. I was able to book us a deluxe glamour photography session, mm. which is really, when you look at all the things that are on board, you get the feeling that it's the most romantic and special thing you can do for mm. your special someone on the boat. Yep is to kind of capture the mood between you with a professional photographer yeah. and a professional backdrop yeah. of the boat that you're on. <laughs> yeah, it was incredible. I mean, um, obviously, you put a lot of thought and time into it and you and really money. wanted it and money. And so, obviously, as a... You know, I, I respected that. Oh, and uh, what did I buy us beforehand? A friendship bracelet. Yep, went to the gift shop and bought us <laughs> matching friendship bracelets, <laughs> which we will wear for the whole... Duration the whole time we're on the boat till Friday. Exactly, at Can least four or five all the way till Friday. <laughs> anyway, um, hey, and we pick up the action as we arrived at um, the Illusions yeah. photo, sh- photo Studio, ready for our. Well, was it was it couples that you particularly? It was a couples glamour shoot. Yeah, you were nervous, but you didn't need to be because we're in the hands of a professional. Oh, lovely backdrop. It's got the uh, the cruise ship in the backdrop. Hi there, I'm Andy. Noor. No, yeah, you're going to call it Yoo-hoo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Was your name Yoo-hoo? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hello. We're in your hands, sir. <laughs> um, are you ready, the photographer? Yeah. Yes. Great. Here we go, and I thought we'd start things off with a... Uh, like both a, eating, drinking out of well, the one banana split. Two straws, one banana split. Okay. Eating. You might notice I got him to put a little bit of rum in it. Yeah, I also <laughs> noticed that I've got a much smaller straw than you. Well, will suck harder. <laughs> Trying to capture romance between two friends is tough. Some people call it bromance. I think Anna and I have something a little bit more than that. But when Noor started suggesting positions, it felt so natural to me and so romantic. It's, it's crazy. It was like, Andy, he's suggesting the stuff we just do normally when we're hanging out. You want huggy huggy? <laughs> Yeah, you do. Just, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna, you just put our hands where you think they'll yeah, be most just, romantic. Just like At this point, Hamish is kind of half cuddling me from the left, and Nu is asking me to put my left hand on Hamish's left cheek, which involved probably the dislocation of my left elbow to get there, but he said it was romantic, so we tried it. Okay, and. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's not, that was romantic. <laughs> no, 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 can I shock you? No, just one thing. I don't think anyone's ever done this pose. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> I'm, this is I'm good. holding Hamish's <laughs> left cheek when, with my left hand for no when, reason. When my wife does this to me, my, I, 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 grab, I grab her arm and stick it to my face so, because I'm like, don't stop. Yeah. Don't you ever stop. Next pose was the Titanic at the front of the ship. I remember it in the movie being a a lot more dainty. It just looked like I was kind of a cross and Hamish was nailed to me. I don't know, from where I was standing, the Titanic pose felt really, really, really natural. Uh, I'd be surprised if you could tell the difference between the movie and what we were doing. You just move it wherever you want it, Nerd. Yeah. Does that look like Titanic? (laughs) Does it? Yes, you come forward, a little bit come forward. Yes, very good. And you. Always good to work with a photographer that has a catchphrase, and I think, woohoo, is a really good catchphrase, and it certainly helped to turn me on in the sense that I was ready to, you know, bring my best romance to the shot. Oh, one, one more, one more, one yeah, more. Yeah, one more. Like what this, what one you, more. He's got sit it, down, he's feeling something. Sit, sit, uh, this one. Yeah. One more. Romantic, yeah, you want romantic. Yeah, very right? romantic. Yeah. The last one I was asked to lay down flat, um, as if I've probably just been punched to the ground. Hamish was asked to come forward over the top of me 
And then using my right hand, I was holding his face essentially. <laughs> It's a bit forward. Yes. Look at this other. Okay. More closer, more closer, more closer. <laughs> what movie is this from? <laughs> Very nice. Cool. <laughs> <You're> like... <laughs> and then it's so romantic. I always kissed him. <laughs> You're a master. You're a master. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Great work. Really lovely working with you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <you're> <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> Go to hamishandandy.com. The video is there of our little champion who was taking the photo. You won't believe the poses he was trying to put us in. Like, it's... <laughs> it's and, I, and he was doing them seriously. It's not that... I think that no, was no, a regular no. This thing. is the thing, Andrew. When you work with a professional like this, when you yeah. work with a photographer of that he level... He challenges you. He's going to do things that might seem a little weird in the moment, I'm but I think when it. you see the photos, you go, yep. Romance. <laughs> Nailed it. And people will see that if they go to hamishjourney.com. Be sure to go to the website now. Choose any of our social pipes to tell you. We can catch you up. Our Snapchat at Hamish and Andy, Instagram, Facebook, as well as Twitter. We'll try and get photos up there because it's a little tough to get anything else back, Ham, considering we're in the middle of nowhere we at are the in moment. The middle of the ocean, but God, we've got a jam packed 24 hours. Do not miss being there tomorrow for day three of the People's Cruise. So much to come, Ando. Mm. Bingo. I mean, maybe eye sculpting, time permitting. <laughs> we've got to go see Miss Houdini. We've got to go see stuff to do. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. <laughs> It's time to direct the satellite dish towards the high seas and try and tune in to Hamish and Andy and the People's Cruise. Some of them want to cruise you. Some of them want to be cruised by you. I'm a real big baller and I made a million dollars and I spent it on girls and crews. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Uh, Andy, you haven't changed any words to this song. Yeah, I know, but it still works. Sail away, sail away, sail away. of the South Pacific Ocean, this is The People's Cruise with Hamish and Andy. Good afternoon, everyone. Hamish and Andy, the cruise, your home yet again. Yes, Hamish, we're in the middle of the South Pacific. Antics went down last night. Look, there was a crazy show yesterday. If you listen to the our first show of The People's Cruise, we yeah. were upstairs, we were on deck nine, we were next to a ball, we had a lot of these crazy fish cocktails. Mm. Uh, they are in the commemorative cup. I bought you a couple, Andy. You can keep the cup. Today, Thank a you. lot more, <laughs> a lot more relaxed. And I just yes. say, let's just put a lid on those fish cocktails. I mean, we have one next to us. It's the, it, but it's the cocktail of the day. It does taste a lot like the cocktail of yesterday. But just, I think one is fine. Yeah, as just a way to relax. Because here we are on deck three, looking out at a, the sun setting yeah. on the beautiful South Pacific Ocean. We are in the middle of the South Pacific. We probably are closer to the middle now. Do you know okay, what I I've, I've, I've kept saying the middle over the last few days, but looking out, Ham, over your shoulder, the seas or the ocean, and it just keeps going. And we've it, seen it, this it, for a few days now. The sea's not angry today, Anna, but it's grungry. Yes. Uh, I'd say it's yeah. a little bit hangry yeah. um, because it's not a ferocious out there. It's certainly a little bit choppy mm. as we Fought steam. A few Steam towards Vanuatu. I was actually just uh, up on the bridge before having a look at the GPS, and we are pretty much smack bang in the middle of uh, of the journey. Um, hey, we uh, thank you for letting that lie go. Hey. I was not on the bridge Re- looking at the GPS. Research industry. <laughs> thank you for making it sound like I duck into the cockpit from time to time to make sure all the telemetrics are working. Yeah, I just said to the captain, "Trim her one degree to port." But apart from that, steady as she goes, Captain. Uh, I like what you're doing. We uh, we weren't actually on the bridge, Sam, but uh, we're with people that were playing bridge traditionally. We we're with some oldies, some. F- Look, and some youngies. Yeah, look, but, bingo. But, but I would say more on the old side of things. Um, we went to play bingo. Yes, we went to play bingo. They hold it in the biggest theatre that the boat has. And it's not big enough. 
<laughs> because so many people go. We, we didn't realise there was actually a whole other level above us that was playing. It's insane. Half the boat is at Bingo Ando. Mm. We had never played before. My only experience with Bingo is knowing of the, of the farmer that had a dog. Yes. Um, and Bingo was his name. But yes. it's got nothing to do with the game. No. We were nervous going in. We knew we needed to find a buddy. We sat next to Denise and she definitely helped us out. All right, we're coming into the bingo hall. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, this is where everyone is. This is where everyone is. This is going to be a tough one to win, mate. There's a lot of people. How's it going? Hi. What's your name? Denise. Hello, Denise. How are you? What's your name, mate? I, I, G'day, Ian. How are you? I did not anticipate having a photo taken with you because I thought I'd send it to New Idea as my someone with a star and get oh, 50 oh. bucks. Denise, if you can kiss Andy, you can get $100. Mm-hmm. Well, not a bad scandal, as long as Ian's all right with it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, hey, Denise, um, how do we play? Do we just listen for the numbers and mark them up? Listen to the numbers, and you follow their instructions. And when have you got a dobber? Got a dobber. Yeah. So when your number comes, you dob your number. Yeah, right. And people here, when I was on the quiz last time, some people went eight hundred bucks. Jeez, have you ever bingoed? I've bingoed, but I haven't won eight hundred bucks. So today, I mean, there's so many people here. The chances of us bingoing are pretty remote. Yeah, pretty remote. Yeah. Right, particularly because we've only got half an hour here before the show starts. I mean, this is a speed round. How, 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 well, I'm how not long coming up to your show because the bingo is more important to me. Yeah, I'm terribly sorry. No, Denise, what did company. you buy in the shop? I saw you in the shop this morning. What do you think of this? This t shirt? Not bad. Yeah, not as good as the one I bought. What did you get? I bought one that had the actual boat on it. Ah. Uh, navy blue and covered the fat arms. Hey, went the cheap one. Mine just says. Sun, <laughs> you sun, haven't got arms. You've got fat arms like me. You buy one with arms down here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, this is my let's bingo. bingo. This is my bingo top without arms so I can move quickly with my dobbing. <laughs> All right, let's bingo, guys. Now, I've practised with my dobber on the sheet. No, don't do that. No, definitely not. You've got to wait till they call the number and then mark the number off. Don't mark any numbers off. Okay. We're sitting in around yeah, 200 people to play this game. And it appears that they take it very seriously. You know I want to call bingo, even if I don't have it. <laughs> Are you going to do it? They'll kill me. Are they'll you going to do me, it? They'll tear me a lot. Are you going to do it? Tear me apart. Yeah. Right when there's enough numbers, so you can only do it five or six numbers in. Yeah, we'll pay attention. We'll yes, pay attention. <laughs> thank you. Different lines, see? Yes. So you've got to... Yes, we'll pay attention. Um, gee, they're onto us. I know. What's a believable amount? I mean... You can get it in five goes. Yeah, I'm going to get one, like, in five. Yeah, I'll get a golden bingo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, beauty. Now that I've said it in jest, don't mess with bingo. I mean, people are saying it. I've actually never been so nervous in my life. I saw the reaction when I dobbed a blank square. There's the reaction calling a fake bingo. <laughs> Can't wait for you to call a fake bingo. <laughs> this is the most excited I've been on this trip so far. <laughs> Tell you what, if you call a fake bingo, puffer fishes on me for the rest of the day. Now I'm ready. <laughs> now I want it. <laughs> We've never been so nervous. I was nervous for you. Stick around, everybody, because the game starts and a fake bingo call definitely is, is made. The reaction oh. is what you're going to worry about. I was sweating bullets. <laughs> if you've just joined us... Welcome, and welcome to the South Pacific. We are live on board the boat at the moment, but we're in the middle of some high tension because you and I were played bingo before coming to today's show. Yep. Uh, there's about 200 to 300 uh, people crammed into one of the bigger theatres here on the uh, on the cruise ship. Serious Wait. bingo players. God, professionals. I they love bingo. And I'd said to Andy, yeah. as a little bit of a joke, oh, I should call a fake bingo. Mm. After having made that joke, then thinking about the reality of it, it was like if we're on the International Space Station, and I was like, I'm just going to open the door for a second and close it again. (laughs) And everyone's like, yeah, do it, do it, do it. Then as your hand's on the door, you're like, oh, is this dumb? Is this a really dumb (laughs) idea? Because everybody was just hair down and beautifully done hair, hair down, dobbers on, paying attention to the bingo call. You just... You don't mess with it. It's just a huge, huge vibe in the air that you don't mess with it. But I'd made the the statement, and God, we, we need a bit of a rush. Yeah, we were about to mess with it. It's bingo time! Bingo! Hello everybody, my name is Hannah and welcome to your first game on board Carnival Spirits Bingo. You are going to be looking for any line. You're going to be playing on those blue cards. Blue card, any line. When you are one away from bingo, when you only need one more number, I want you to stand up so everybody in the room can judge you. 
<laughs> Next, if you get bingo, you are going to yell, bingo, just like... Bingo! Just like that. We're going to go ahead and get started. 82. 82 is your first form. Question for you, are you going to at least fake a, a number of dobs along the line? So when they oh, see your card, it appears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is at 49. When do you think you're going to go? Do you reckon when someone stands up? Yeah. Let's yeah. just let's go the full experience. Next ball. Number 71. So as soon as one you person stands up, one. are you going to stand up and follow them in? No, I might be first up. Because we're going to go. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous because it's only day two. And I'm about to do something that's going to get the pure wrath of 10%. The baby ball of bingo. Ten the whole cruise. Of the whole cruise. Yeah. But I think we're all in agreement that, you know, I'm here for an experience. And this is like running of the bulls. I'm basically doing the running of the silver-haired furious mob. <laughs> yeah. And um, look, you're going to get a head start. <laughs> and all I need is two metres and I'm co- I'll be comfortable. Yeah. actually feels more dangerous than streaking at a large, <laughs> at a large sporting event, doesn't it? I don't know why, but I'm... 51. God, I'm really... Wow, it's going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> so... Hey, bingo is not possible. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm standing. Oh, no, I'll stand. I'll stand on the next one. Yeah, Nick, one more ball and then stand. Next ball. 55. I'm standing. Stand, mate. That's right, guys. Hey, just a bit of cheeky beginner's luck. All right, see how we go. People have noticed Focus maybe standing. On. Focus on the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sh- we're all friends, no matter what. Oh, nearly. Oh, close, Ab. What number do you need? Secret secrets. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. It's in the middle line. Yes, it's in the middle line. Stop trying to check on him. He's got it right. Are you ready, old mate? Yeah. We've been through some sticky situations Next in our ball. life. Number 19. Bingo! Yeah! <laughs> yes! You did not get in there. Woo! I promise this was not right. Yes! This is the nerve-wracking time. We are at the front of the auditorium. We've got 200 people looking at us right now. She's typing in the digits. Let's just pay me out move on to game three. I'm so sorry. Um, on the plus side, we have to go do our radio show, so there's three free tickets on up there near our seats. Please don't hate us. We love you all. Bye. Run. 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 Don't boo us out of here. They're booing us and booing us and Gosh, it felt... I mean, I've never felt so alive. The... the oh, that's better than bingo. That was that's better than bingo. <laughs> Some people are chasing us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listening back, I still got goosebumps, Sam. Some of the crowd loved it, but some of... <laughs> you heard at the end there, some of the aficionados were like, you're wasting our time, kids. Yeah. You didn't get bingo. Now get your antics out of here. This is this is not how we play bingo. Stick around. The show continues live from the cruise ship. It's Amy Shady. We're cruising you home. Real bing no-no. We're out on the in the South Pacific ham we aboard. Are. Deep uh, aboard the cruise liner, um, the Carnival. Uh, what is it? The Carnival Spirit. Carnival Spirit. It? Andos and our ship. Cheers! It's Wednesday, and that's yeah. that's the thing. It's we've hit a bit of a lull today. Yep. Um, first couple of days at sea, everyone's been going very hard, yep. very early, yep. and that's that was encouraged by us. That was expected by us. Mm. We mm. were absolutely in that boat. Yeah, but. Um, Today, everyone's just taken stock. I think we all know that the week is still young, really, and yeah. we've got two kilometres of sea underneath us. I haven't seen us. anyone today. I mean, um, you and I are up early, but we haven't seen anyone. Few people have been laid low. We've got some choppy oceans outside. Yep. Um, look, we're all... There's absolutely... Just have a quick squeeze out the window. Look, no pirates or anything around, but um, <laughs> seasickness has been an enemy of a few people yeah. today. And, I mean, you and I, we're, we're getting into a rhythm. We're getting into a rhythm. We, we like to hit Bonsai, the Japanese restaurant, for lunch. We didn't make the ice carving. 
We gave the ice carving a little bit of a miss. We went, we made it to bingo. Yeah. We do keep getting sucked in by this thing called Cash Crane, yeah. um, which is essentially a skill tester that has shrink-wrapped blocks of $500 notes yeah. in it. I mean, that's our routine. Mm. Um, sorry, $5, five, five notes, $100 uh, five dollar notes. Yeah. And they're, they're very, very difficult to pick up with, obviously, a very uh, flimsy claw. Let's get to that tomorrow, Ham, because one thing we did do today is we went to Fashion Boulevard on the boat. Oh, what a strip. It's uh, six stores. Yeah, yeah. Rodeo Drive. Yes. Um, and your big shopping strips all around Australia. Yeah. You know, you got your Pitt Street malls. You Chapel got your Street. Chapel Street in Melbourne. In Melbourne yeah. And you got Fashion Boulevard, Boulevard. Yep. here on the boat. Yep. It stretches out for what must be 12 metres yes. of pure non-stop <laughs> shop. Shop. <laughs> yeah. One shop. Uh, one shop on the left, one shop on the right. We went to the shop on the right today. Yes. Because we wanted to pick up hats. Mm. We wanted to pick up hats because we wanted to give them to people as the prize because we are about to play, even though we're at sea. Yeah. Let's see if we can crank up the phone system, get the satellites working from the mainland to the ship here in the middle of the ocean. Can we play Tell Us Someone We Haven't Thought About in a while? 131060 is the number. The way this game works, you call up and just tell us someone that we haven't thought about for a while. We're saying a while is... If we haven't thought about them this year, we've got to justify the fact that we have thought about them, tell you, recount the moment we did come up with them or yep. had them in conversation. Hey, people always play for hats. Normally the hats have been sent in, um, but of course we are out at sea, so we went and bought the hats today. Run everyone through the hats. Uh, and uh, up first, we've got a visor. One of our first ever visors. Yes. Um, we have had visors before, but none of this level of quality. Yep. This is your standard performance extreme fit visor. Mm -hmm. Very good for sport. Dress it up, dress it down. Uh, you could wear this for a brunch. You could wear it all the way up to an early dinner or drinks <laughs> with the gals. Uh, uh, it's, the, it's got the carnival logo on the front. Yep. It is, of course, a carnival hat. It would have a men's hat. head or a woman's head, you'd say. It's got an adjustable Velcro strap at the end, and it looks like some sort of loop to be able to pop it on a keychain. Mm. Uh, coming up next, we've got the Iguana Tequila Bar hat. Yep. This is a fabric hat. My least favourite fastener on the back. Yes, a buckle, a, a buckle fastener. A fabric buckle fastener, but gentlemen over the age of 40 do enjoy them. Yep. Uh, it's the blue, agua, it's blue for your Iguana player. tequila bar. Of mm. course, on the side there, there. Uh, who's this? The old Carnival, carnival logo. Definitely getting their branding carnival in there. Ando, that, yes. Can I throw one more hat in? Of course. Um, of course, this segment is to promote businesses. Yep. Um, usually, we just get companies sending us in their hats. There's someone I think needs a bit of promotion. Hmm. I'll put my best fun Steve hat. Best oh, fun no. Steve. Wow. There's only two of these that. hats. I wasn't going to suggest it if you felt the pressure. There's only two of these hats in existence. One sits on best fun Steve's hat. He he's, a, he, he's a listener that's come. He won his way in. He's about 55, and he is, in fact, the best fun so far on this trip. And he tried to keep him off the boat. I voted to save him. Yep. As a sign of uh, solidarity with Steve, I got two of these hats made. I've been wearing one myself, yep. and best fun Steve's been wearing his one now. You have refused to apologise to Steve as yet because you, you're hoping that he might burn out by the end of the week. He's been very good so far. Um, I've, I've, and everyone's around him. They love him. And I, you know think I had someone come up to me today and yeah. go, you know what we're doing today? And I said, what are you doing? What activity are you doing? And they said, mate, we're just doing nothing. And I said, that's pretty good. And you go, you know who inspired us to do it? I said, who? And I went, best fun Steve. Oh. And I said, you know what best fun Steve does when he first thing he wakes up? So he tears up a schedule. He hates schedules. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, how good is he? How good's Best Fun Steve? Anyway, they're the so three now, hats. You can win a Best Fun Steve hat. 131060 is the number. <laughs> Hamish, we're going to try and hopefully, if the satellites permit, cross back for one of our favourite segments, Sam. It's got an opener. It does, Ando. Let's fire it off. It's been a while since I've thought about Brook Shields. Yeah. yeah. And it's been a while since I've seen them. Who else? Would I have won him? Would Quick I, question. Would I have won with... Brooke Shields married to Andre Agassi? Yes. Uh, I, was, I was looking at the cover of his tell-all book, yeah, and yeah. I was like, I wonder if he talks about his wife, who I didn't think about Brooke Shields by name, but I remember her being the famous wife of Andre Agassi. Oh. Gosh. I'm going to have to say no hat. <laughs> <laughs> you gosh, that, that yeah. would have been... I mean, I hope there's something not as contentious as that, but um, that's the way the game works. Have we thought about someone this you, year? You think about a lot of people. Yes. That's how it happens. Um, and we're going to go back to dry land now. Leanne waits. Leanne, ahoy. Ahoy there, boys. Leanne, sorry, there's obviously a bit of a delay because we're, uh, we're, we're hundreds of nautical miles out to sea, but uh, Leanne, tell us someone... We haven't thought about in a while. Over. Tamsin Sursock. 
Tamman Surf Socks uh, event, and I actually have, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tamman, yeah, um, I have thought about Tamman Surf Socks. We actually went to uh, do Days of Our Lives. Yep, I, I think over in the states, and yeah, um, I know you've and has followed her quite and, quite closely no, because, in his locker at the radio <laughs> station. He's still got a few posters up. <laughs> no, Ham, because the reason why I did think of her is because you and I went to the set. Yes, many uh, years at ago. At CBS, and I drove past that recently in April, and I went, it reminded me of the time we went to the Days of Our Lives set where Tevin oh, like was. Jeez, that's a that's, that's, a, that's unlucky, but that's, that's how it works. That's okay. how it works. Caitlin, um, tell us someone we haven't thought about for a while. Over. Oh, ahoy. I wanted to know if you were thinking about Wes Carr. Have we thought about Wes, Wes Carr? Carr for a while? He was a, uh, an Australian Idol he singer. He was oh, the sort of, that, yeah, yeah, the rocker. Woolly head kind of looked at a little bit, a little bit sort of, you know, had a beard and kind of like yeah. f- fluffy hair yeah. like a yeah. lion. Yeah, I haven't thought about it. I don't think I've thought about Wes Carr. You've got it. You've yes! really got it. Yes! Well Woo! done. Now, what hat would you like, Caitlin? You've got the choice of the best, uh, best fun Steve hat. As previously worn, a pre-loved rel- by me. relentlessly by Hamish over the last three days, the blue iguana tequila rum bar um, uh, hat. It's blue. It's got probably an elderly statements type buckle at the back. Yeah, you, you, it's, a, it's an old man buckle, but some people like those. Or you've got the performance extreme fit uh, Carnival Cruise Lines visor. What do you feel like, Caitlin? I think I'm going to go best fun Steve. <laughs> You'd, oh, be wow. Wow. You'd be mad. You'd be mad not to. And that is coming to you. I'll wear it. I'll keep it nice and safe for you for the rest of the trip. <laughs> and you. as soon as we get to Vanuatu, I'll post it back. You should have it in nine weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, well done. Hey, my sense is a slight bit of disappointment that you're losing your best nah, it's fun. Gone to the, it's, it's gone, gone to a right better home. place. And this, it, the whole point of getting the hat on the show is to promote your business. And my business is best fun, Stephen. <laughs> I want everyone to know what a, what a great fun guy he is. Jemima now joins us. Tell us someone we haven't thought of for a while. Ahoy. Jemima, over. Ahoy, boys. Um, I don't think you've thought of Casey Chambers in a while. Casey Chambers? No, uh, we think of Casey Chambers. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. Mean, didn't she do, did she do something with Troy Cassadaly uh, yeah. recently? Are they married? Um, I just I gr- just searching around the room. What is you and shaking. I, saw I thought a, I saw them do a concert together. Yeah, there was some kind of concert recently. But yeah, sorry, unfortunately. I just feel like I, yeah. you know, I, I, I know, I, I know we owe you a, a larger burden of proof than that, but yeah. um, I just got to tell you that I have. Yeah. Um, I think about her a lot. I think she's a great artist. Want to hear more of her stuff? Yeah. Might Shannon, go back to my cabin after this and see if I can uh, grab like some of her gear on Spotify. <laughs> Shannon, wrap this up for us. Tell us someone we haven't thought about for a while. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Um, Ahoy. Mike Whitney. Mike, Mike Whitney. Whitney. Now we've thought about him. I think we've had him in this segment. Um, um, I think he's, he's, he's one of those guys that's sorry, mate. Yeah, he's just below a Steve Urkel or a uh, Mickey Webster, but he's one of those people guys, that yeah. fits into the category of uh, isn't this guy funny. And um, um, we talked about him more recently, Ham, because you and I were talking about gladiators. Yes, uh, which we actually, I mean, you, you, there's no way you could have known this, uh, Shan, but we, we talk about the... First incarnation of Gladiators, quite a lot, almost on a weekly basis. Yes. So if you, if for future games, if you think you're doing anyone from that Vulcan Hammer, yeah, uh, any of those guys, <laughs> d- danger, danger. We do think about those guys <laughs> a lot, specifically their Overlord and Grandmaster, Mike Whitney. Uh, it was like their trainer, if you want to use a Pokemon reference. I think he, I think he was the ref. <laughs> Yeah, no, he owned them, and uh, he'd like release them from the cage to battle everyone, and he'd round yeah. them up at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah. like Oliver Reed in Gladiators. I think yeah. Yeah, that character. exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Okay. Uh, so again, Shannon, really bad luck. I was still, we the hat went off. The best fun Steve hat has gone off. Uh, and speaking though, speaking of homemade uh, clothing, and uh, mm. got an update again from last night's shenanigans as we tried to sell. Uh, as we tried to sell black market T-shirts, you left me in the lurch, and um, I did not. But it will be for everybody <laughs> to judge. After uh, this. strenuously <laughs> defend my position. The people's cruise, everyone. <laughs> Hamish and Annie, I'm on the people's cruise, and uh, Hamish, as we're broadcasting from deck three, yeah, of a ten-tier cruise liner, yeah. Most of the business, shall we say, yep, has been going down on deck four. Uh, it has, it has. Look, um, night is setting here on the boat. Already mm. the outside lighting's come on. We look out so we can see the deck. You can just see the inky blackness of the never-ending ocean outside, just past the railing and just mm. outside the window here. And when I see the deck and when I see night time, it makes me think one thing. Yes. Business time. Mm. Because that is, under the cover of darkness, we have been selling the T-shirts that we got shipped on board illegally. It's a cashless boat. We're not allowed, no one's allowed to have... Any business on board that uses uh, actual money, but yep. we have 150 T-shirts on board that say 
Andy says surfs up, and there's a very cool photo of me riding you like a surfboard, yep. surfing down a wave. Mm. We've used CGI. We've spent a lot of money on the graphics, yep. a lot of money on the screen printing, really good quality T-shirt as well. That's why they're 50 bucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but just for a gold note donation, yep. people can have one of these T-shirts, now, and they are and hot, and hot to trot. You and I have an agreement that we meet at Muster Point D, yep. 8.30 till 8.45 at night. Mm-hmm. It's a 15-minute black market window. We bring a bag of the shirts. We, I mean, we got, now, you know. I'm in charge of the store, storeroom, yeah. and you're in charge of money. It got I'm to sort of front of house. Just, I'm more the hustle. I'm the hype man. No, you're the salesperson. Hustle, bustle. That's what you are. You're and the I'm sales cash person. I did, I did cash handling at Video Easy. I am qualified. <laughs> As a 16-year-old, I was actually put in charge some nights. Mm. If um, if Mark had to go, if he went to get us with Lucky, yep. I was totally in charge of the store. So I have the responsibility <laughs> and I have the history. Hence, but last my shock night, and horror, look, when at yeah, 8.30, false. I'm here on the dot. <laughs> this is not false. Crazy. 8.30, I'm false here on the dot. Yep. You said to me at dinner, yeah. you said, you wait. We were at a three-course dinner. We hadn't got dessert yet. Yeah. Now, look, you chose to forego dessert. I don't know why. Maybe because you're on I a had secret to health and kick. Get the stock I don't ready. know. But you left. And I had you to get said, the stock ready. Who? I was like, you said, I'll go. You have your dessert, mate. I'll go and get the stock ready. I've got a few things to do. I said, all right. So I waited for my cheesecake. And I knew I was going to be cutting it fine. No. Then on my way from the cheesecake to come to the muster point, I thought, look, we haven't really told enough people we about the sales tonight. Waiting. I stopped in the bar and had a few words to people to go, hey, listen, if you're Idiot. interested in a T-shirt. I'm, I'm here. Because I'm worried guy, about It's only meant to be in the warehouse. Getting enough Enough customers. I'm meant to be in the I'm warehouse. Doing, Suddenly, I'm, I'm meant to be. I'm up on the front desk. Head of marketing. I'm so not, sue me. I don't think Apple ever gets angry at its head no, of marketing for telling don't people put about a guy the that's iPhone. Flipping burgers on the cash. No, I don't worry. I won't again because it was a bloody <laughs> debacle. Because when I got down here and I saw you Wait. surrounded by angry customers, yeah. I went, "What have I done?" He doesn't know what anyway. he's doing. He spends all his time folding t-shirts and he can't talk to the common man. We rec- we recorded it and this is where it went down. Time is eight thirty-three. I don't know where Hamish is. I'm outside the muster point and there's people waiting and I don't know where Hamish is but maybe I'll just go without him. I mean, I'm coming on out. I think he's waiting for a cheesecake. All right, guys, come down here. I mean, the normal deal is not here. I think he's waited for a cheesecake. Dude, I've got the sneaky... Yeah, you've got the... You've got the you, you say so. I'm not normally the guy that takes the money. I'm not normally in charge of such things, but... You've um, got a group. We're all here. We're all waiting. All right. I mean, I hope I don't get in trouble for doing this, but what do you want? Uh, medium. Medium. I can do a medium. medium. Yeah, I can do a medium. <laughs> all right. I got this a medium for you. Get, get the medium. hell out of here. <laughs> Looking for a small surf side. Oh, yeah, I can do a small. <laughs> sure. I mean, this is exactly how Breaking Bad happens and you cut the other guy out, isn't <laughs> exactly. it? Exactly. I mean, he, exactly. Doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't know what He's I'm doing. He's not here. He's exactly. not his problem. <laughs> Fantastic. Now get the, get the f*** out of here. <laughs> you, ma'am. Large, please. Large. But can I also have a custom autograph? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Where the f*** have you back up? I was trying to get more customers. I didn't think anyone show. All right, back, back, back. Money first, money first. No money, no t shirt. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What are you chasing? We got medium, small, large. We got a medium, we got a medium. Get a medium! <laughs> I swung past the atrium bar to get a few customers because I, I didn't feel like we'd spread the word. <laughs> we all know 8.30 here. What are you at? Small, set us up. Set us up. Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up. Can I get the t shirt? You didn't get it from us. How many for how much for six? How much for six? How much for six? Uh, six, uh, six is three hundred. Did you say six? Six. Kiwi accent. Kiwi, yeah. Kiwi accent. Sorry. We don't discriminate yeah. here. Oh, on the I, mean, I just thought you'd come to the wrong muster point. <laughs> <laughs> the price is actually the Damn same. It, that was muster point C. <laughs> it's one of those weird coincidences. It's three hundred bucks for six or six. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's I mean, for two hundred, you can do it. Uh, you, you drive it a hot bucket in front of the crowd. <laughs> No way! <laughs> yeah, we'll take it, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go. All right. What do you need? What do you need? Well, large. yeah, hit me out with a large, I think. Two large? Okay, yeah. hey, no, two larges, two larges. Large. Yeah. Stop folding them, just sell them. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys, thanks, guys. Fast or loose, fast or loose. Tell no one, you didn't get it from us. We were just out here inspecting the deck glue. Oh, boy. Whoa. Oh. I'm walking around the bar going, hey guys, just you know, checkpoint D, checkpoint D. I'm there with people coming at me and I'm not the sales guy, you're the sales guy. You know what happened? We were too effective last night. Do we have enough t-shirts to keep up with the men? Oh, I've just seen the pile. Yeah, we do. You know, you know what happened. 
You wanted a cheesecake. I got a few bites. And then I went and did some marketing. It wasn't all just cheesecake. It was all just cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hame, don't let me down tonight. Why? Because we're friends? Yes. All right. Yeah. Now you say that. Now I know we've got to go to a song here, but yeah. as well as you know, you trying to now me just hearing you trying to cut me out of the t-shirt business, the business I invented. I'm a little bit flipped off with you, mate. I'm a little bit peeved off with you. Yeah. Where's your friendship bracelet? <laughs> oh no, I took it off. I bought a you a friendship bracelet yesterday, <laughs> and you swore to keep it on. So while you're not- running your mouth talking about how I'm letting you down on the business front, you betrayed a man in the greatest way a man can betray another man, and you took off the mini dream catcher I bought you. We're on a break until oh. after the news. <laughs> it's like Mission Eddie. <laughs> hey, Mission Eddie. Cruising your home, everybody. We have hustled from our conference room all the way to the back of the ship, Ham, to your room. I won't say what room number it is. We're on level four. Yeah. So we're, uh, yeah, we've are yeah, we had to run up a level, run down to the back, because I want to create or recreate mm. that scene in the Titanic where it's modern day and the scientists are sending the robot down yeah. to, like, fly through that little submarine with arms on it and some torches on it to, yeah. like, look through the Titanic and they're looking for that vault that had the treasure in it. Great choice of scene to recreate from that one. I'm glad you didn't go with another. I couldn't scene. think of. I just couldn't think of any other scenes from the Titanic that would recreate. This is the most exciting scene. So you are going to be the robot. Yep. I'm currently. I've got a jumper uh, pulled over my body, but not my arms put in. So I've got. I suppose little claws now. Yep. I've gaffer taped to your arms to your sides. So you've yep. only really got flexibility from your elbows. Yep. Yep. I've taped your hands up so they're nippers. Because if you look at the film, yes, he's, it's just got a claw. Like no, there's just two claws. It is closely, but yeah. Well, I mean, I watched it this morning, so <laughs> this is, I can guarantee this is exactly a recreation um, of the film. There's for over 45 activities per day on this ship, but if and, you, it, and you've chosen one off the menu. <laughs> and, can I say? I don't, think is, any, I don't think anyone's angry at it. <laughs> no, I'm the most excited as well. If this, is, if, this, if this hits, we'll get everyone doing the real-life Titanic experience. So here's how it's going to work. I'll be driving you... As a submarine, yeah. As a little submarine... Through this walkie-talkie. So yeah. submarine, go forward, stop. Yep. Scan, etc. Yep. I'll also put, I'm going to put a GoPro on your head. Now the GoPro mm. is transmitting out here to the hallway to an iPhone so I can see what's going on inside. So Clever. you're my eyes in there. Yep. All right? You're blindfolded. Mm. You've got some torches on your head. It's pitch black in there. We're going for the safe, just like they were in the film. <laughs> okay. We want to see if there's a jewel in there. Who knows what's in the safe? <laughs> um, do I need your card to get in the safe? No, it's open. Okay, I great. think the safe's open. All right. Slight it's... variation of the film from the film buffs. We'll be opening the safe. <laughs> Here in the room. Okay, you ready to do this? Yeah. I mean, are, are you sure that you're going to be able to see everything fine? It's well, look, dark look, how, look how powerful these torches are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hamish is now putting on a GoPro strap. Okay, I'm going to blindfold you up, boy. Yeah. Okay. You're now my submarine. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Putting the camera and lighting array on your head. Ando, this is unbelievable. It looks so much like the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm feeling very vulnerable. Try it. Are you ready? Yes. We're on a. It's a the swell's up a bit today. We're it's on a quite ship. wobbly today, and, and that's a that's a shame. And now I've gone blindfolded. Okay. Well, I can't see a single thing. So I well, mean, actually, should, should we go to a song? We better. <laughs> can you just pre- I'll go to a song. Can you just prep me in in this song so I know exactly what? All right, I'm going to open the door, but I can't come in with you from there. Mm-hmm. All you'll be able to hear is my commands through the walkie-talkie as we look for that magical safe. So it's after this, so everybody, Hamish and Eddie, check check. Broadcasting live from the back of our massive ship at the moment, Ham. We're on level four. Yeah, I'm just laughing <laughs> because I mean. And you wanted to try and recreate the scene from Titanic where, in the, you know, it's in present day where they're using a robotic submarine to go down on the Titanic and try and pick out things. Try and find that vault. Remember, I, they're looking for that special jewel that the old woman of Kate Winslet was yeah. wearing. I am your submarine. I'm blindfolded. <laughs> This You've is gaffer taped my arms down. <laughs> You've gaffer taped my hands together so I've only got nippy claws. Yep. I have You've got a walkie talkie taped to your chest. So you can direct me. I have a GoPro on my head uh, that's filming yep. and that's sending it back to you so you can watch everything off an iPhone. That's right. I mean, two I'm torches. It's completely dark in there. Yep. But that's exactly how it was mm. in the film, okay? okay? Yep. 
You can't see this, but occasionally people do walk past us here in the hallway, uh, other members of and the crew. And what would, uh, how would you best describe their facial expressions? Like, what are these? Why are these two grown men acting like seven-year-olds, making up their own fun? It's only day three, yeah. guys. There are plenty of activities to do. No, this is the best activity on board. That, that is Hamish Blake's real-life virtual Titanic 3D underwater exploration simulation experience and adventure. Yeah, we're working on a shorter title. <laughs> okay. Which one submarine ready? Yeah, submarine. I'm opening the door. I, from here on in, mm. you're on your own. Okay. All right, here we go. Turn to your right and start walking. Enter the room. Good drone. Good. Walk forward three paces. Keep walking slowly. This is it, boys. This is Hamish's room. This is the room the safe oh, set. That's three paces. Drone, stop. Remember, I can't actually hear you out here. I've got the walkie-talkie. Okay. Well, Drone, walk forward two more paces. This is actually stop. very nerve-wracking. Um, a, because I don't trust him whatsoever. Drone. And B, scan to your right. I think I might spew. <laughs> really, really Drone, specific. scan to your right. Scan around the room. Give me a look at everything. Good. Walk forward. Mind yourself on the left there. There's a bit of a bench. Yep. Walk forward five paces. I don't believe it. We're inside his room. This is it. This is where the safe lives. Oh, I've hit my knee. I've just hit my knee. Uh, drone, sorry about that. What, did you hit something? Yes. Drone, just kind of shuffle your way past there. Watch out. There's a coffee table on your left and there's a there's a bar on your right. Walk forward three more paces. It's drone. Oh. Oh. I'm losing you. I'm losing you. I can't hear anything. It's gone all fuzzy. You're losing your robot. Hang on, now I'm opening the door. Drone, scan back to your left. Well, now I'm just hearing you. Yeah, well, you have. Well, the walkies aren't working, so you just do what I say, drone. Oh, okay, it's sh experience then. I mean, I think part of drone, all... shut up. Go back to your left. Stop. Walk ahead. Again, it doesn't feel as robotic now because now you're just. Well, you're man, you're... I'm not in charge of how good the walkie-talkies work in this boat. All right, you're getting this experience for free. Keep walking ahead. I feel like Friggin the fun's drone. for you, no, not for me. As far as experiences go, anyway, I'm walking. Walking. Yes, I've, that's it. I've, I've hit a wall, Ham. Keep walking three steps ahead. Stop. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is where the safe is. Pins forward with your right pincer. Yes, that's a cupboard. Use your left pincer if you need to. There should be a there should be a knob on the front of that cupboard. Keep pincing. Yes. Pince open that cupboard. Yes, boys. It's payday. Open that safe. Oh, the safe. We found the safe. There's no jewel. What's this? It's just some artwork. Bring that picture back to me. Oh, you have to direct me. Okay, move to your right. Scan right. Yeah, walk forward there. That's great. Just walk forward until you just gently hit the curtain. Yeah, ah, that's a difficult. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, coffee table. Just sort of use your legs to feel your way around the coffee table and go straight ahead. Come back to Papa. Come back to Papa. Coming back to Papa. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. Come back to Papa. Come back to Papa. And drone's home. Drone's home. He's out. He's out. You did it, Ando. Oh. You did it. Well done. Well done. What did we get find? <laughs> well, we found the safe. Yep. Now we get to see what treasures were in there. Am I allowed to take my phone off? Yeah. Yes, I think you are. Okay. You did a good job. Here we go. What have we got? No jewels, but what's this? Some sort of art? <laughs> <laughs> it's not what, bad, actually. What is this? I, I, I think you've tried to draw a, a, a nude picture of me, have you? Like, Lounging on a couch with a big jewel around like your neck. Leo did like Leo did of Kate. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio must have drawn it of you when you were wearing <laughs> the necklace. <laughs> He's drawn you like one of his French boys. <laughs> what a beautiful it does act, picture. When I saw it, I thought, that is me. <laughs> Quite seriously. He's thought, done it again. Leonardo DiCaprio has done it again. It's a terrible... Here's somebody in the hallway. Let's, do you mind if we ask you a question? What's your name? Jan. Jan, can you, on a scale... <laughs> on a scale of one to art, like, where's that? Is that beautiful? Oh, it's probably a nine. That's a nine, nine. Ando. That's yeah. just below art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I guess, I mean, there's a gallery here. I guess we go and sell it, do we Unless, have? Uh, you could try auction. Unless you'd like Unless it. we have a first bid. Oh, of course. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what, 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 what would you buy it for, Jan? Oh, maybe a beer. Okay, I'll yeah, take right. it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a bit, even though, like, that's obviously... 
you know, that's. We a, might have to fuzz this bit out. Let's fuzz that bit out. Yeah. I think so too. It's a bit in your face. Thank you, Sir Andy. Oh, thanks, Jan. <laughs> Middle of the South Pacific Ocean, this is The People's Cruise with Hamish and Andy. Yes, and we are back from deck four, back from Hamish's room. If you uh, missed the Titanic experience that Hamish set up for me where I was submarine blindfolded, directed only by him via walkie-talkie. If you remember the opening scene of Titanic, basically exactly <laughs> that, exploring the wreck of Titanic, except my room was the scene of the exploring, and you made it all the way to the safe, and what did you find in the safe? I found a picture that, um, you know, was meant to replicate Titanic, where yep. I think um, Jack, or Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Paints a nude picture of right. Kate Winslet. Yeah, like uh, one of his French girls. Yes. And what did you find? A beautiful pen drawing on Carnival Cruise Line uh, yeah, complimentary yeah. paper of you. Your best attempt at me nude. nude. <laughs> um, as one of my French boys. And, <laughs> and oh, it's amazing. Look, we're going to try and get that up at uh, even Instagram, though, apparently, but I don't think it's worth it. You know what? Free, free, free the, free the, uh, uh, probably Instagram will take it down if mm. I put up that, even though it's art. Mm. Free the peen. But um, I've pixelated it. Yeah. I have pixelated it to apply and abide by their rules. Are you happy with that pixelation, Ando? <laughs> and uh, I'm working on pixelating it now as we speak, and we will get it up there uh, momentarily for everybody. The video later on of exactly what Hamish was seeing as he guided me through as a submarine in around about half an People hour's time. It. If you love the, that scene in Titanic, it looks exactly like The it. internet's obviously very slow <laughs> because we're in the middle of nowhere uh, in the ocean. Um, Ham, rules... Exist on these boats, don't they? We ran into one today, Andrew, that we and didn't even hard, know was a rule. If you're not a seasoned cruiser, it's hard to know all the rules. Mm. One such rule is if you're going to have a spa on one of the five different spas on board, as in spa bath, yep. as in poolside Jacuzzi. spas, Jacuzzi. you're going to have a spa... It has to be 10, ten minutes. There's 2,500 people on board. We went, didn't really look at the sign. We're sitting in one of the Whirlpool Spa on the Serenity Deck, mm. uh, having a lovely time, chatting chatting away, you know, having a chat to Jace, where are you from, first time on a cruise ship, yeah. no, it's my second, oh, yeah, which one have you done before? You and know, then standard cruise chat, suddenly. Then, where shadow was cast on the spa. And there's about yeah. six people in the spa, so it was a full house. Yeah. We look up. And there is a quite a stunning figure, backlit by the sun. Mm. Uh, we're on the second to top deck. She's got her arms on her hips. Yep. And in no uncertain terms, told us to get out. Yep. To me now, she's the Kraken. Uh, she's the person I fear more, but most she's at our, sea. Our uh, ocean, if, oceanic if anyone's enemy. seen Pirates of the Caribbean. And the Kraken came down in this hard ham, and we were ordered to get out of the spa. We captured the mood straight well, after We couldn't it. believe it. She was like, come on, out, out, everyone out. Yeah. You've been in there for too long. We didn't know what was happening. And then as we were walking out, we realised it's Lorraine. Yeah. We talked to Lorraine last week before we left. Mm. You might have heard her on the radio show. She rips off young men's shirts mm. uh, at nightclubs. Couldn't believe it. She said, I've already talked to you on the show. I'm Lorraine. Now get out. Yeah, get out. We climbed out of the pool, just a bit dazed, and I managed to grab my phone and capture a bit of the aftermath as all her mates, her like lady gang, yeah. were yelling at us and laughing. And she also threw a can and hit me in the back. Oh, yep, yep, that happened. <laughs> well, guys, I don't think anyone will believe us. Um, can you just describe what just happened in the spa? You got shamed by a nana. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've all just met Lorraine, and um, oh, she's lovely. However, she has rules. a problem with rules, yeah. and it's ten minutes, or you're going to get sick. Yeah, and I, then I got a beer can to the side of the body. <laughs> well, there was there was uh, five guys and one girl in the spa. Can you describe in your own words who's in the spa, who's just bullied us out of the spa, and who's in there now? Miss Australia, 1942. <laughs> Are you enjoying it, Lorraine? <laughs> I got a clock on you! <laughs> right. Yes. How long do you reckon we were in the spa for? I'd say 14 and a half minutes till I got you out. Yeah. I hope you enjoy your spa, all right? We, we had fun in there. Good, good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Sorry we took so long. Sorry. It's okay, just watch it. Just remember for next time. There you go. There was no, there was, there was not really a. It's there was okay. no sorry for throwing a beer can at no. you. Um, that's what you get, apparently. I mean, it was my beer can, and I probably shouldn't have left it next to the spa, but I was I was hustled out of the spa so quickly, we just didn't know what was going on. 13, 10, 60. It's still in the laughter of all the women yeah. as we, we just yeah. shuffled off the deck. We were soaking cold. We were freezing. Yeah. They were just cackling, yelling, good on you, Lorraine, you got him. 13, 10, 60. 
Have you been told off as an adult? Yeah. Have you been told off as if you were a kid, but you were an adult? 13, 10, 60. What were you doing? Because out of the blue, we broke the rules, and she came down so hard on us. Have you been Lorraine? Have you been Lorraine? 13, 10, 60. It's- uh, do we have Will? Can you hear us? Over. Ahoy, boys. Uh, yeah, no, I, I got told off. Oh, good, Will. Good. Uh, Will, um, tell us the story and then say over when you've finished the sentence. Over. Uh, yes, no, boys. Um, I was at a restaurant with my girlfriend at the time having uh, a lovely dinner and, and dinner had, had finished um, and, and, you know, having a few beers and that sort of stuff. And I was, you know, having, having a pretty good time swinging on my chair. A, uh, an old lady, mm. as she was leaving, I, I you know, sort of stopped swinging and, and moved in and excused myself and... Uh, she had a go at me for, for swinging on the chair and, and told me that, um, like the teachers do, there's four legs on a chair and all four should be used. Over. <laughs> oh, that's like nothing better. Nothing yeah. better than getting one of the classic <laughs> grade two tell-offs, which is, I'm surprised she didn't tell you the old, I knew a boy that swung too far back in his chair and he broke his back. Yes. So just watch what you're doing. Will. Thank you, Will. Lauren on 131060, have you been told off as an adult? Lauren, over. Yes, I did. I got taught off by my daughter's school teacher for her being five minutes late to school. And that night in her school bag, I received a letter and it was typed up and I had to fill in a reason and justify why she was late by five minutes. Oh, wow. Well, that's yeah, probably the bit where you get your mum to write a letter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You would, yep, have, so. you were just one step short there of having to do lines. That's what I thought she was, you were going to say yeah, there. What's, we, we, got, we got a 30-year-old in detention this week, guys. Um, Lauren <laughs> just couldn't get it together, and that's why she has to stay behind on Friday. Jeez, <laughs> that's rough. I mean, Lauren, yeah, if, you, if you're ever in a cruise ship, don't stay in the spa too long because same same thing happens there, but at least yeah. the teacher at your daughter's school didn't throw a beer can at your head. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around, everybody. It is elegant evening tonight. It is formal wear. We've seen people all over the ship dressed in formal attire. It presents a real problem for my chum here, Hamish. I've got no suit. He didn't bring any luggage whatsoever. And, uh, and Haim? But I bought my charm, Andy, and yes. that's why listener Chris, mm. uh, before we left, he said, no worries, mate. I'll bring another. I'll bring a spare suit for you. Since he was bringing luggage anyway. Yeah. After this, we get to meet uh, get to meet my suit for the first time and see what I'll be wearing to the captain's elegant dinner. It's Hamish and Andy, the People's Cruise. <laughs> it's elegant formal night tonight. You have bought nothing on this journey whatsoever. You walked on just as is. Going pretty well though, aren't I, Ando? Yeah. New board shorts, new deck shoes. Yes. Got a new singlet on. Mm-hmm. A little little uh, fast Hang- and loose symbol. But Ando, tonight. We have been told, everyone on board has been told very, very firmly, it's mm. uh, elegant, elegant, sexy, sexy, formal. Mm. Um, and that's, uh, that's tonight. But um, as part of elegant, sexy, formal, you've got to have a suit. Absolutely. And um, look, Chris, Hamish called you out of the blue before we even got on this journey. How's your trip been so welcome, far, by the way? Welcome, Chris, mate, Chris. Yeah, cheers, boys. Uh, yeah, um, trip's been good so far. Yep. Really had a lot of fun. Hold, yep. let's, give, let's go just a couple of quick highlights. What's, uh, what's grabbed you the most about the cruise? Uh, dance, dance. Dance, dance. Yeah, <laughs> dance, dance, yeah, dance, dance that, dancing, dance club. That really certainly. wrecked a lot of people. Yes, a lot of people <laughs> still recovering There's been that. a bit of chat today. I mean, you're here with your partner, Sarah. Yeah. Um, been a bit of chat today about... It, it feels like a bit of a rest day. I mean, uh, yeah, we only uh, got up at one uh, thirty for <laughs> breakfast slash lunch. <laughs> I just feel like a few people have laid low. You did bring a spare suit for Hamish for elegant night. I uh, I managed to find one out in the uh, the wardrobe. Chris, uh, so you, grateful. You're Thank you, significantly mate. more muscly than Hamish. <laughs> I mean, is it going to be? Have, is, there'll is be there'll space be in the arms. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's better than the other way round. Yeah, no, this is great. This mm. is fine. What do you What do you bench? Uh, well, a uh, little bit. <laughs> yeah, you don't <laughs> have to At least 20 kilos off. <laughs> yep, I've yep, worked yep. out. I mean, I, didn't, I don't know what's a great answer. But anyway, I feel like I'll be able to sit within your body shape. Hamish um, can fit in one of the arms of your suit, just your got, body. We've got your, we've got the suit in the, in the room over here. You guys get out of here. We'll play a song, Chris. Come and, if you don't mind, would mm. you be able to dress me in case there's any tricks to the suit? I wouldn't want it any other way, okay. Hamish. We'll, we'll go in this side room here, and then Ando, after this. Yep. I'll present myself, and if you think I've got what it takes to be your date, to yep. be Captain's Elegant Dinner tonight, then I'll pass. All right, Chris, Chris no one, pressure, mate. One but I question you a before you go suit. in there. Have you gone with a traditional suit? Uh, traditional to a sense, yes. To a sense is God, what I excites hope it's me a, about. I hope it's a Taekwondo gi. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Andy, the People's Cruise. We are cruising your home. We are live in the middle of the South Pacific, heading for the Vanuatu's on board a cruise ship. And thankfully, the satellite's still working, and you can hear us now. 
Is it working enough for me to hear Hamish in the other room? Because I got you, boy. All right. And you're in there with listener Chris, one of the winners who yeah. make his way onto this boat with us. Ham, you vowed that you'd take no luggage. A vow I have kept, Anjo. You said I, you'd live fast and loose. And I was um, in trouble, though. I was, only, I was in trouble for one night only, yeah. which is tonight. The captain's elegant, fancy, formal night. Yep. Ship-wide. No one's exempt. Mm. Everyone has to wear a suit to go to dinner. Now, I'm in the convention room at the moment. You've just ducked next door to, what is it? The I'm in the staff hallway. I don't know. There's a lot of photocopies of, um, of cocktails out here and how to make them. So, okay. I mean, <laughs> some sort of... I'm in a backstage area <laughs> right. of the boat here. Chris, I mean, you've, put this, you've bought a spare suit for Hamish. I would say Hamish has you for height. Chris probably is a little muscular, a little more muscular than me. Um, a lot more, mate. The, uh, the suit, not, not a little, mate. <laughs> the, suit, a lot. the suit is a little large three across and a half the shoulders. Times the size of you with regards to muscles. Suit's, uh, suit's large, all right? Okay. So I'm not, it's, which is great for dinner because I'm going to have six or seven courses and it's not going to be too tight. I'm okay. in the suit. Do you, you want, the suit to, do you want me to come in? Um, let's set the tone now, Hamish. Before I come in, yes. Ando, I want to say a heartfelt thank you to Chris. <laughs> Okay. Because you didn't have to bring this on board. I know how much of a hassle luggage is. Mm. That's why I avoided it at all costs. You're saying a thank I'll, you. I'll I'd like to say um, a heartfelt F you because uh, <laughs> I really wanted Hamish to go floundering today. <laughs> mate. Ford, you're not going to say that when you see how good I look because <laughs> okay. you just scored yourself the hottest date to the prom tonight okay. as we dazzle the dining room. Girls in ball gowns. Hamish, the door's opening now. Boys in dresses. Oh, wow! <laughs> it's the Dumb and Dumber orange suit. <laughs> and Chris has got the blue one. I've got the blue one to go with oh, your ladder, boys. <laughs> you look fantastic. I know. I've never felt so good. I've, now I feel like I'm going to be the one left out. You guys are going blue and orange together. We're the best. New we did it home. We did it home. It's fast and loose. Fast and loose. Fast and loose. Fast and Hey, Chris, Chris, hang on. You're not fast and loose. Yeah, you, but he bought Dumb and Dumber suits, so that is fast and loose. That's still fast and loose. <laughs> he bought two. I'm still getting schooled in it. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll post a picture up, hamishdaddy.com. We'll pick your social pipes. We'll go to the elegant ball. We'll see what the captain thinks of this hand because, look, it's not elegant. I'll be driving think. the boat by midnight, Ando. <laughs> so that's a promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, not one I can keep. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, everybody, on board the People's Cruise live. I mean, getting close to a land ahoy. We will I be. I still think we're two days away from seeing any sight of land. But thank you for being with us. It's time to direct the satellite dish towards the high seas. And try and tune in to Hamish and Andy and the People's Cruise. <laughs> Some of them want to cruise you. I'm a real big baller and I made a million dollars and I spent it on girls and cruise. Sailor, wait, sailor, wait, sailor, wait. Uh, Andy, you haven't changed any words to this song. Yeah, I know, but it still works. <laughs> Solid ground, take me away on your cruise, cruise on, cruise, cruise, and furthermore, let's cruise. Live, live from the middle of the South Pacific Ocean, this is The Beatles Cruise with Hamish and Andy. Good afternoon, everyone. Hamish and Andy, we're cruising your home. Yes, we are day away. From Landham. We're getting close to Mystery Island as we are on board the Carnival Cruise Liner. You and I are still a bit wet. Fresh up, off. Bottom, bottom down. Yep. Fresh off going down the fastest, steepest water slide at sea. Green Thunder, Ando, yep. or the Green Monster. One of those. One of the two. It is actually... All right, I'll say this. It's not not scary. Yep. Well, because half the water slide goes out over the side of the boat, mm. and you go, well, it takes a few, few nuts and bolts to go, and um, it's a bit of splashdown for you. Then the other side of it is it's like... It's super, super steep. Uh, as you get in, you essentially get, get in. in a ca- well, you get into a capsule. Well, get into a coffin. You get into a capsule. It closes over, over you, and, and a trapdoor goes, and a trapdoor goes, and then you're then you're down. And then you and you essentially shoot down as fast as you can. You are vertical for like a good four or five meters. Mm, mm. Then it kind of bends around, uh, bends around a corner, and you shoot down. Now. It's pretty cold still. Like, it's not like we're suddenly magically in the Northern Hemisphere. So there's a bunch of kids around this massive water slide. But for kids, they're just not... 
They're not not going on the water slide. No. Like, it's like if you went on a golf holiday or whatever to, you know, St. Yeah. Martin's or some sort of famous golf course. Yes. If it rained a little bit, you're still playing. Of course. And for kids, there's a water slide here. Yeah. Like, it's kind Doesn't of... It was cold. It was kind of half drizzling and they were still in the water slide going, I'm having the best time of my life. And with kids, they, they can snap in half and they still mend. For guys like you and I, hey, we're a little bit older. Yeah. And well, you know the injury I did. I can't even talk about it on air. <laughs> I clenched hey, so Hamish, hard, Hamish I cramped clen- somewhere. Hamish clenched so hard. Because I was scared I was going to hurt my body going down the water slide. <laughs> so you cross your legs over and I clenched my whole body so hard. I got a cramp that only about half the population can get. And it was a very weird cramp to get. It reali- it made us realise, Ham, that you and I are probably better off as indoor cruisers. Yeah. And there's been a specific area that we've spent a lot of our time indoors doing, a specific thing. Oh. It's costing us a lot of money. I, I, I do the whole show on this. I, we- I would talk about this the whole show because it's <laughs> honestly taken up 10 hours of our day. And it's cost us a lot of anger. Yep. And we've got it for you after this. <coughs> Look, there's a big boat. You get lost in it. And if I can't find you, I think I know where you're going to be. You'll find me a cash crane, my friend. <laughs> and you'll find me there as well. We've played. Have we played almost all our games together? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I don't think I've ever played a single game without uh, you. I have. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I got done this morning on the way back from breakfast. Yes. Let us explain cash crane for you guys. Everyone's familiar with skill testers. Mm-hmm. Um, a glass case full of tantalising soft toys and a very, very weak claw yes. guided by the user yep. and deployed with the press of a single button. Yep. Cash crane, very similar, mm-hmm. except there's no toys in there because this ain't a game. There are shrink-wrapped blocks of 100 times $5 notes. Yes, Uh, $500 bricks. Little bricks, little $500 bricks. Now, you look at the claw, you look at the bricks, you think, this can't be that bad. Even though it's $1.50 a shot, so Mm. 10 goes at 15 bucks, you think, look... Even if I even if I spend thirty dollars doing this, I'm still four hundred and seventy dollars up. It just makes sense. Yes, I would say that Andy and I have invested. Who knows what the dollar amount is? But yeah. hours, hours, hours out the side, cash crane, and a big crowd builds up mm. because everyone looks at cash crane and goes, "Yep, it's got to be done. It's got to be so easy." It's unfortunate that the claw is so weak, but that is what skill tests have. I mean, there's probably a two week old baby that can class something harder than this sure. claw. Sunny, the moment Sunny was born. He held my finger, mm. and I thought, that's stronger than the school tester. <laughs> <laughs> and exactly. I started testing with him, too, because we had a few toys around that we were going to give him anyway, yeah. and I was dangling him down. He's picking him up. He's like, hey, he's got it. He's, he's got one it. minute old. Hey, it's a tough thing, but you and I have spent way too long there. Everyone has. Everyone we speak to, you go, you how's your day? You're like, ah, oh, gosh. Cash, cash the, the claw picked up the brick of, of, mm. of money for just a second. Oh, it moved it. Oh, I think I figured it out now. Yeah, exactly. I'm heading back there. Oh, oh they've restacked the cash yeah, crane. Oh, they've put it back up in a big thing. Oh, Leisha got it. Yeah. <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> okay. So. Haven't, I haven't seen one of the blocks. You hear rumours of people that have got it. Mm. I haven't seen one outside of the natural habitat. We're about to play a little bit of audio mm. before you hear. I mean, if we played you every minute that we'd been at cash crane, this yeah. would be a uh, four or five day special yes. uh, radio event. But... We'll, we're just going to play you a little bit of what happened today because, Ando, you were driving. And we had our best chance, didn't we? You did really well. I had to quickly fumble around in my pocket, quickly grab a mic and try and capture the crowd's excitement at what they saw. Because what had happened, Ham, is a brick had been picked up. Yeah. And it was on its way yeah. to the bin. And it dropped. To, 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 let it, to let it out, right? And it wriggled free. And it wriggled free and hit the side of the opening that would have allowed us that $500. Yeah. Have a listen. The cash crane. Uh, guys, you just saw it. Tell us what happened. It was there. He had two claws on it and it just went, knocked it and it went, it just went. Now, is this a driver error or just a weak claw? A weak claw. <laughs> uh, I mean, I thought the driver was amazing. What's your name? Lenata. Oh, Lenata. You're also on the scene. What yes, that's a, it's, I've had this feeling that it's going to be dropped yes. down. Yeah. We, we thought it, we were going to win, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, close to win. Yes. You were. And it would have been us, you and yes, I. We of course. Gone and yes, of course. Yes, of course. Lenata, have you played Cash Crane yet? No, no. Are you looking forward to it? No, no. <laughs> just seems like the claws a bit. <laughs> Maybe has osteoporosis or something. It's quite a weak claw. Yeah, weak. Weak hands, yeah. This, this sounds like I'm addicted, but let's get back to the game. Yes, quick. You've got six more guys. Come on, Andy. Here we go. Oh! oh. Another arthritis. Another one, Ando. Nearly made. You're driving really well. Thank you very much. I love you, Andy. Use your mind power. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you think about that special message from Lynetta? really like it. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get a bit of a chant, Andy. Andy, 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 Andy. 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 Andy
She's a harsh mistress, the old cash grade ham, and I'll visit her again today, probably. Just hearing that cheer yeah. made me wonder if uh, maybe we play a song and duck out and have a quick claw. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, though, you know, every, every time we're at it, we have a different strategy. Yep. Our latest one today, because mm. we're in choppy seas at the moment, there's a couple of metres swell, so the boat's rocking from side to side a little bit. Now... If you, if you are thinking of the physics of it, as that claw's dropping down, the claw itself is swinging. Yes. So today we were trying to utilise the swing of the claw yeah. to grasp onto the notes. Still, we haven't got 13, any 10, of those 60 before Hamish and I head back there tonight and play until tomorrow morning. Are you a skill tester professional? What do we need to know? Have you played the cash crane or a, a, a close cousin of it? Yeah. Give us some advice. 13, 10, 60 right now. We're going to need it. Got to be a trick. Tam, 25 activities a day. You and I ticked off probably two of them. One was the water slide. You did the water slide, The, the second it? was cash crane. Uh, cash crane's an unofficial activity. <laughs> Look, cash crane is on the casino floor. It's a skill tester. Mm. We'll put up a picture of it and you, and like go, to, uh, we'll check it on Instagram or Twitter or something because you, you look at it and you go, so gettable. Yes. It's a, it's shrink-wrapped blocks of $5 notes. There's yes. $105 notes in the block, $500 in each brick. And you just go, look, for $1.50 you go, this, surely someone's getting this. It makes for a good return. Um, we're going to head back tonight. We've spent a lot, a lot of time there. It's been, uh, so, much been chat, fruitless. so much chat as we attack uh, Cash Crane too, because like a lot of people with skill testers, uh, if I'm driving it, you're on the side or yeah. vice versa. There's a lot of talk about claw alignment, um, ship rock, yeah. uh, the the correct corner to be picking up the bricks. Exactly. Do you, do you pick pinch, up ones near the hole? Do you pinch from the middle or do you pinch from the side? Do you want it to be an elevated brick? Do you want it to be a brick lying flat on its ground? When does the claw sense it's hit the bottom and go back up? There's a lot of science to it. Raph, uh, sorry, Ellie joins us, I think, uh, on 13.10.60. Ellie, ahoy from the boat, over. Ahoy, boys. Uh, so... I have won the Crash Crane before on Carnival Legends. And what you have to do is you have to wait until they stack them back up. Security comes around, they stack it all back up, and then you have to go in straight in then and pick them up from there. Yep. We we had a go at that today. Is it the very top one we're going for, Ellie? Is that the only one available? Over. Yeah, the top one is probably the best one to go for. That's when we got it. Um, sometimes mm. after it's fallen over a bit, there's like a little stack to the side and the highest one there is usually the best one to go for. Okay, Ellie. Now, can I just ask a quick question here? Is, are you grabbing the, uh, brick of $5 notes around the guts of it? Like, are you lifting up so the brick is flat or is the claw pincing it so it's dangling down vertically and it's holding onto the top? How did you get it? Over. Uh, we got it around the guts. So you've really got to keep it flat and get all of those corners. Mm. So it's a nice tight grip. On there, over. Okay, good, thank good, you. Good thank guy. you, Ellie, well for your done. time. Well really done. good stuff. So this amazing. Is Maddie joins us. Maddie, um, you've got some thoughts uh, on to how we can beat the cash crane over. Ahoy, boys. Um, we Ahoy. do. My husband won $1,000 on the Carnival Legends earlier this year. Oh, boy. Well, that's, that's the this second is... person that's won on the Carnival <laughs> Legend and no one winning on Carnival Spirit. Spirit. I'm beginning to think we're on the cruise ship that's got the rigged machines. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I refuse to believe that, and mm. I will continue to play Cash Crane for, till the last he's, minute he's that I'm twice. on the ship. He's won it twice. So, Maddie, what was his move? Over. Um, well, he managed to only put in $3 and win $500 to start with. Um, he waited until they were all flat and just went straight in the guts, and he got it all. So now we're saying, because I mean, for people, people just joining us, was getting stacked. we are talking about uh, Cash Crane, which is a skill tester that's got bricks of money in it mm. uh, here on the Carnival Spirit cruise ship. They, each day they do stack it back up into a pyramid, but as people try and grab the money with the claw, it does get flatter and flatter. We've had more success with the flat ones, I would say. I mean, no six, well, ultimate success, but uh, more uh, close you, calls. So far, I mean, one person's had success one way, one person's had success the other. I don't Raph, think we've got any, t- any tips. Raf, ahoy to you. Eddie, do you have any tips for the cash crane? No, I'm dying. 
Oh, Diane, Diane. Sorry, take Diane, Diane. Yeah, yeah, take okay. Diane any day of the week over Raf. Yeah. I, I didn't really want to speak to Raf to be honest. I, Diane, sorry, I think a little bit of me feels like because um, we're on obviously a delay here because we're uh, talking to you via satellite from the ship, hmm. and right. the last thing the ship powers want us to do is to find out the tips of the cash crane machine. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if the carnival spirit's scrambling these calls. So thank you for making it onto the show, Diane. What's your tip? Over. My tip, my, my, my tip to you, Andy, would be spend a lot of money. Oh, no oh, worries. A hundred percent already there, Diane. Um, uh, so just, when uh, it's when you get points. your bill at the end, when you get your bill at the end, you're going to have all these little things that say 750, 750, 750. That is every time you've attempted to use the machine. Yeah, yeah. they're going to need a lot of paper in the receipt department when they're um, uh, checking us out, I can tell you that. Not so much a tip had, there from Diane, more of a statement. Pages. But, um, fa- <laughs> you All right, and I Diane. might have to go to some kind of counselling group, I think, uh, Diane. Hamish will be there as we're gonna, well. But, we're going um, uh, to see if we can beat Diane's record of five pages. Thank you very much for the call, Diane. <laughs> hey, obviously, we're on sea time. Yeah. Which means... You just pretty much do what you want. You don't care about the time. You do, Ando. Um, so we don't know when 10pm is, but uh, you yeah. guys do. Yeah. So um, use it and use it to your advantage. And I thought I might give you um, my top four things from today okay. that are making okay. me happy. Um, sure. I mean, four real highlights yep. from today. And there's been highlights every day, hmm. but these are just personal highlights. Yep. And I'm going to kick it off with a little compliment to you. Okay. You got your friendship bracelet back on. <laughs> that's number one. And that's nice yeah, to no, see. I felt, I felt, uh, felt bad yesterday. Well, we went on a break. We, um, had, a, we had a little break <laughs> because you took your friendship bracelet off that I bought for us on Fashion Boulevard. Yes. And I, I've seen you found, you've, you found it. Yeah. You put it back on and I actually went back to the shop to check there were no doubles of that one. Yes. Because I thought you might have tried to buy a replacement if you uh, lost it. Yes, I didn't have to have found it, but certainly I had that in the back of my mind if I hadn't found it. Okay, second thing that I'm loving at the moment is, you know, being at sea, mm. this is a bit of a weird thing to love, but because the boat rocks so much, yeah. do you have this in your bedroom? The door to the bathroom, mm. it just opens by itself and it swings open and yeah. you feel like you're in a haunted house all the time <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. so often you're in your bedroom and a door will just open and you know no one's there, yeah. but it's sort of like quite good training for if you ever are in a haunted house. <laughs> yes. And now I feel like if I'm ever in a haunted house, people will be looking to me with a lot of respect because I don't freak you're, out. You're not spooked. I don't freak out at an opening door because I've been there. I've done, I've done it. I've trained for it on the sea. Yeah, a lot of the people that went back into that house for paranormal activity, should have fif- come on a cruise. 15 or whatever it was, um, yeah, should definitely have gone come on a cruise. Come on a cruise. Plan. Don't lock your cupboards. Don't lock your bathroom yeah. door. <laughs> yeah. See what happens. Yeah. You'll get so trained for it. Number three mm-hmm. of the four things I'm loving today. As you walk around the ship, they have little shops set up, not just on Fashion Boulevard where the main shopping strip is, yes. but there's like a little booth for the, you know, you, that's where we got our portrait yep. done. And there's one for... Elegant photos. There's elegant photos. Mm. And near elegant photos, there's a little stand that you might have seen that sells a couple of underwater cameras, mm. and there's a little GoPro stand. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a, a, One of the guys, I think, is trained to sell GoPros. Now... Fair to say that this boat is full of people who are slightly baffled by technology. Yes. The amount of times we've been taking photos with some of the regular cruisers on board, mm, not our mm. hundred people that we've bought, you know, and there's a lot of, how do I work this blast thing? And like, yep. oh, no, I've got it on video. Oh, you've actually got it on time-lapse there, Reg. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. There's quite a lot of that going on board. So there's one bloke I've seen at the GoPro stand. He's about 60. He's got a great kind of slick, but mostly used to be black. But he's now a salesman, like, is he? No, he's a guy that's been mesmerized by GoPros. Right, he's thinking about he's it. He's watching the video that mm. shows what you can do with a GoPro. So there's someone surfing, there's someone like mountain biking and stuff. <laughs> and he's ta- I've seen the same guy talking to the sales guy of three separate days going, oh, right, you know, gee, that's good. And it's it's very, they're very robust. Yeah, yeah, very mm. robust. And you can take it underwater, you can take it underwater. And he's really been weighing up this purchase. Yes. And today, I saw him buy it. <laughs> so GoPro has finally cracked this guy after three sales, yeah. three days, going away, thinking about it, talking about it over dinner. Yep. You know, they've got these little cameras now. That if he has one anything. day not playing the cash crane, he can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That kind of thing. My fourth thing that I want to mm. share with you is, I'm not sure how many people do this on a cruise, but I reckon lots. I've been doing something every morning mm. that I'm going to just call nude decking. 
That's what I was going to tell you about. Have you been nude decking? Every morning. You just go out in the morning completely nude. You're looking out to the ocean. No one can see you. Free willy. I reckon if you <laughs> <That's> <laughs> if you took... That's what the film is. If you took a drone shot round yeah. this boat, I reckon half the decks would have nude people on it's, them. It's the first thing I do every morning. I've been loving it. Yeah. I didn't know you were nude decking. Yeah, I'm nude decking. It feels decking. wonderful. Decking. I'm definitely saying decking. That's with an E. I've been sitting down out there. I've been making myself a cup of tea. <laughs> it's, it's, it, I reckon it's like a, this is a gateway drug to being a nudist. Ma- mainly for me, it's hands on hips. Yeah. yeah. I like putting hands on rails too. <laughs> yeah. But I like having a mug of tea because you're sort of looking out, at the, <laughs> looking out at the horizon. It's almost like you're just having a little nod with God. <laughs> like, look at what you made. <laughs> and he's going, and I'm wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I wanted. Live from the South Pacific. We're in the middle of the South Pacific. Bear with us if the satellite is playing up at all. But, yes, we the further we get away from Australia, the less confidence we have <laughs> in the fact that anyone at all is hearing what we're saying right now. <laughs> it's, we've only seen sea or ocean for the last three days straight. Yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, 100 years from now, they might just find this show, like, trapped in a bubble <laughs> yeah, yeah, on the yeah. sea floor. <laughs> <laughs> How cute. They tried to do a radio show. And, uh, no one ever heard from those guys ever again. Hey, one thing we have, um, look, been risking um, is the wrath of the authorities on yeah. this boat. You yeah. can buy, make purchases, but only in authorised shops of on course. this on this boat, this big facility that we're on. And no cash because we all have a card and that card is linked to a credit card. You and I have um, laughed in the face of that. We've yeah. bought on T-shirts, T-shirts that you got made up. Yep. Um, Cracking look, shirts. Look, they are, they are very good. They've been a hit, haven't they? They've been an absolute hit, and they are very good. I mean, at first, just a photo of you riding me like a surfboard board was, you know, a little bit humiliating for me, but uh, the want for them Andy, has certainly turned me around. Mate, you're now part of a classic T-shirt design. You're like the musical <laughs> note coming out of the dog's ass on the mambo top. <laughs> <laughs> and that without the note, it's just a dog. Yeah, um, which makes you the dog's ass. <laughs> it makes me the dog who's farting you out. <laughs> um, but hey, we realised that um, sure we we hold eight thirty at night. Um, you know, by yeah. the da- by darkness. We, we hold 8.30 yeah. at night. Sacred. Uh, sacred. Well, because um, we, we're trying Meeting to... points to sell these shirts. We've got too many. We've got a lot. And the thing is, we, when we're selling them so quickly and surreptitiously on the decks in the black market, it's not like we can have a shop that operates all day. So, obviously, we're not going to get through 150. We bought 150 on board. Mm. We realised that we're going to have to go a bit public with the selling and we're probably going to try and do it tomorrow tomorrow we've got a big live well, show it's our last the, day really yeah, so we thought who cares we can, if we get caught yeah, exactly. we're, going, we're going in the main theater tomorrow mm. but since we're going to set up a trestle table at our last show and go very overt black market we're like we need to get the message out to the people of the ship and there's no better way to get the message out than by gate crashing the local tv show they broadcast on the intra television channel here on channel 13 it's a must watch because it's the only thing you can watch yes the morning show ham is hosted by a guy called eli he's new zealand fellow it was his birthday today yeah and we went there we were hoping to subtly drop the fact that yes we are selling t-shirts still got t's available without getting in trouble shirt sales are going well but um, we've probably still got about 80 or 90 to move yeah um, there's only one real point to advertise, and it's the morning TV show. Look, no offence to um, no offence to Eli or anyone involved in putting together the TV show, but if other f- channels were available, yeah, I don't think it would go up against a Sunrise or a Today Show. I as far think, as content, too much of a threat. No, but here you get a captive audience, so yeah. everybody watches it, which is um, which is why we got to get on there and we got to show off my tees. Yeah, Hames wearing a tee. We're going to try and subtly put it in. Um, to as much conversation uh, as possible, but uh, I think we got. I think we got a point to t- Friday's show. Okay. We're going to have to take a few risks here, and we're going to sell them publicly <laughs> on Friday. Oh, we're going to set up a table. But it's illegal. Like what? You don't get coming. Yeah, yeah, but this is just. This you is, don't see drug dealers going on TV going, "Hey, meet me here on Friday." You might. You might. They might. They might do it in code, and we just don't know the street code. Okay. So we're we going in code. Yeah, loose code. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yay. Welcome to the morning show. Good morning, live studio audience. Yay. Yay. It's Eli's birthday. Three, two, one. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. 
thank you. Happy oh birthday God. to you. We've just come in Happy to uh, the TV show or the bar where it's being fit. And the, the guy that has the TV show, the cruise director, it's his birthday. Um, but it also seems to be... It's a huge t-shirt, t-shirt heavy show. Yes, they're doing a huge push for a different charity t-shirt, it seems like. <laughs> um, which I'm sure is a great cause. We say different charity t-shirt, but um, just different t-shirt. <laughs> but uh, look, I mean, this is our last day. We can really crash it to, to push we'll people. We'll pick the worst day. We'll, we'll pick the, the day where it's all about a different t-shirt. Yep. So... Yeah, we're jumping into the lion's den, but that's uh, that's okay. I can see that all. Oh, you guys are great. Uh, now I know we've got some other gentlemen that have joined us uh, in the room, and they want to come and say hello. I thought they wanted. Oh, yeah. let's get them on. Yeah. We love you, Hamish hey, Andy, yeah. and your cool T-shirts. Available on Friday. That's pretty <laughs> terrific. <laughs> we're obviously going to be doing the show from the main room. Uh, this is true. On yes. Friday, everybody's welcome to the come Fierro's on down. Palace. Yeah. I see a lot of people are cycling through the same clothes they've been wearing yes. uh, for a lot of the trip. There might be something Is there available. There's an alternative for them. Yeah. There might be something available at the show. There might not. Wink, wink. Um, bring a, <laughs> bring a, bring you some of those yellow hankies that have fifties written on. Yeah, uh, if you're in the area. Right. Right. <laughs> it's shameless. And no, I appreciate so what that. Are you no, talking we're about? About? It's, we're just talking in code. No, 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 um, no, no, the code's but, working but, perfectly. Look, we've been having a we've been having a terrific time, so mm. we'd love everyone to come past on Friday and you know broadcast the show back to the mainland. Yes, mm. absolutely. Um, Australia's mainland, not um, yeah. Mystery Island's mainland. And, and <laughs> <laughs> they have they have a TV on Mystery Island. Do they? No. Okay. Uh, uh, well, we, we, we just wanted to wish you happy t-shirt, happy birthday, oh. happy birthday. Good grief, him. And Thank and you, mate. May you live for another fifty dollars. I mean, fifty years. Fifty t-shirts. Thank, 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Hey, guys, Thank you, mate. Famous and Andy, everybody. You know you haven't had a birthday on board until you've had a shameless t-shirt plug from Hamish and Andy. Oh eh? my goodness. I picked up on it. I don't think it was that shameless, Eli. <laughs> I can't believe he picked up on it. It's, we've gone for subtlety, and um, look, he's smarter than I thought, Ham. He managed to pick up on the, the underlying tones. Hey, we got the message out, Ando, and I'm expecting <laughs> big old sales tomorrow during the live show. Yeah. I might actually have a small silent auction as well during the show tomorrow. What for? Just bought a lot of stuff at the gift shop I haven't got around to using so much. <laughs> Try and get it a little bit back, like those walkie-talkies. Yeah. I haven't used the kids' ones. Well, did I bought some shot glasses. Yeah, and I'm um, regretting that purchase. So <laughs> could be a silent auction. Dude. We might open it up to people if you want to bid on Facebook. It's the People's Cruise. Hey, Mish and Andy, we're cruising your home. We're in the middle of the South Pacific, and it's our first celebrity guest. Not taking anything away from that older couple you met, Hamish, that are the most cruised people in oh, Australia. Oh, sorry, Mark and Lorraine. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. we had them on uh, Monday's yeah. show. No one's as, as big as this man. Beaming back from the mainland. Yes. Um, there is probably about a three or four second delay, but it is our <laughs> it is our huge, huge honour to say a big cruise ship welcome and ahoy to Ty Burrell. Can you hear us? Over. I can. I uh, I'm a I'm 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 a longtime fan of Martin and Lorraine, the old couple. <laughs> they I I mainly love their early stuff, but just a big big fan. Yep, their early cruises were <laughs> some of the yeah. finest. Yeah, look, yeah. it is a, it's a pleasure to uh, to have you here, Ty. And you you do star, of course, in the upcoming film. Uh, they film out now, Finding mm. Dory. It's marine themed. I mean, we're driving <laughs> over an ocean. It's set a lot of the time, sometimes in an ocean. Yeah. So we thought that was a good enough link. Yes. <laughs> um, Ty, you, you play Bailey, uh, a white beluga whale, um, and it's sometimes in the film you have to speak like a whale. There's a lot of oohs and ahs, but yes. actual words. Surely you didn't get that right the first time. Over. <laughs> I like the over. Uh, no, I did not get that right the first time. I, I, pr- I My sounds were um, echolocation, which uh, beluga whales have echolocation, which is essentially sonar. Mm. And I was uh, practicing that in my car, and uh, <laughs> I would pull up next to people with their windows down, and it was essentially... Like, I think people were confused because it was like a clinically depressed uh, ambulance was <laughs> arriving somewhere <laughs> nearby. Obviously, I mean, having kids, is that is that a motivation to do uh, an animated film? Because, you know, it, the, 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 to, to have your dad in an animated film is really, I mean, that's that's got to be the goal of every child on And Earth. do you have special screening rights? I mean, do you get a chance to show them first and their friends y- first over? Yes, Uh I, we did actually get to go to an early screening. I barely got to watch, you know, five minutes of the movie because my kids were 
busy throughout the whole thing talking to me as if I wrote and created the entire thing. <laughs> they they would basically every time Bailey they're they're four and they're six. They're four and they're six. So basically to them I was making all of these decisions out of free will. <laughs> and every time ba- Bailey would do something wonderful, I got a lot of credit. They would actually, you know, give me a thumbs up and then when when uh, when he would uh, like you know messed up and and destiny ran into a wall, my my oldest daughter l- literally turned to me in the screening and was like, "Come on, <laughs> <laughs> just God, dad, learn how to drive a yeah, wild once yeah. in your life." <laughs> yeah, it's not that hard. <laughs> We're talking to Ty Burrow, of course, uh, star of Model Modern Family, Phil Dunphy. He's also plays Bailey, the white beluga whale, in Finding Dory. It's in cinemas now. Ellen is, of course, Dory. She, on her show, has been, for the last 11 years, complaining that they haven't made a sequel to Finding Nemo. Could you tell how excited she was on the days that you were recording with her? I have had conversations with Ellen about this whole process before, and uh, if she didn't have a talk show, we we may we may not be talking right now because she <laughs> her campaign was so long and so effective, um, and I'm also just glad that she did obviously for the employment, but uh, but for for getting to hear her do Dory again. I think you know in addition to just being such a funny funny woman and and so cool she's she's actually a great voice actor that you know there's a lot of the stuff um in the movie that's really you know really touching she's she's a she's a great actor well she certainly is uh ty barrel thanks very much for joining us from our sydney studio this is hamish and Eddie cruising your home live from the south pacific thanks guys <laughs> we uh Looking out at the ocean, we've just seen sea. That's all we've been able to see yeah. for the last three days. We will see land. Big tomorrow. ocean. Big we, ocean. We saw a bird, though, yesterday, didn't we? And we all thought, isn't that mean that we're close to land? I think I yelled out quite <laughs> confidently, we must be close, boys. Birds only <laughs> stick to the shore, and uh, that bird will be hunting, which means we'll be in 20 k's of an island. Yeah. Probably not. I don't think so, because we've still been travelling <laughs> for a while. Then long, someone long was like, well, hang on, how do they migrate yeah. if they never leave, if they never go yeah. over the open ocean? So I think what we decided was that birds, um, they do do long haul. <laughs> and yeah. we might have seen a bird on long haul. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, like a um, maximum amount of fun. Last night, it definitely pe- it felt like people were having a rest day. Yeah. They, people have just gone perhaps too hard on day one and two mm. and thought that they'd plug themselves in and recharge for days, for Thursday and Friday nights. Yeah, last night was a real PowerPoint night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the first two nights, though, mm. of the 120 or so people that have won their way onto this cruise with us, the people's cruises, We've heard of a confirmed two and possible third yes. over the first two nights who had so much fun hmm. um, and got themselves into such a frivolous state yes. that they um, sometimes couldn't find their way back to their cabin because, yes. you know, you knew on the ship, you don't quite know where your cabin is. And, you, and a lot of the, 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 the levels look the same. They do look the same. Hmm. The decor is wonderful but repetitive. <laughs> and I think... <laughs> What can happen is sometimes you get so confused, your brain gets super tired super yep. quickly and you fall asleep. Yes. It, be it in a hallway or on a couch. And, and you can what's just being so a confused. sailor without rum? Yep, and, and that's it. And you might have been out, you might have been out enjoying a couple of drinks, meeting some new people. Now mm. you're trying to find your room and you're just one of these people that when they get really confused, they fall, fall asleep. asleep. And then, therefore, those people have had to be sort of escorted back to their cabins. The staff, very, very good. Yes. Um, here you go. I can, fi- I can find out where you live. Yep. I'll take you back. If you're in a wheelchair, that just makes it easier for me. I just wheel you home or whatever. I'll walk you back. Mm. But then the next day, um, then this is the bit that we heard about today that did make us giggle a bit. <laughs> um, they were asked to write just a little one-paragraph letter to the captain <laughs> of the boat, which I think is what's de rigueur at sea, and this happens yes. on cruise ships all over the world. What's de rigueur mean? Well, it just means it's standard. Okay, uh, there you go. So you... you Could ru- use that word. Yeah, standard. <laughs> standard operating procedures. Yeah. But yeah. you write a letter mm. to the captain, yep. and you say, I'm normally a really good person who doesn't yep. get... usually get so confused they fall asleep. <laughs> I don't normally have that much fun. Yep. Give me a chance to have... 
Not that much fun. Give us but, another but, chance, Cap. <laughs> but a but, but proportionate yeah. amount of fun. And the captain <laughs> reads it and he says, yeah, I, I understand that, that probably having that much fun for this person isn't de rigueur. Um, <laughs> captains use that kind of language too. And he says, yep, you know, sail on as you were. Thanks for the letter. <laughs> we, 30, do like, we do love that area, though, of the apology letter. 131060, call us now. Link up with our boat in the South Pacific. Were you forced to write an apology letter? Yeah. What was it for? I've had to write a few in my time. <laughs> yeah. we had but, to, we had, I had to write one to an old lady um, mm. when I was on Year 5 camp because mm. we're throwing stones uh, and they're landing on her roof. I was mm. doing it to impress uh, a woman. Yep. A girl. <laughs> <laughs> 35 year old stunner on camp with us. Uh, I was doing it to impress a girl. And I said, I was show, really showing off because it'd been a pretty heavy cricket season. Yeah. And I was confident with my throw. Yeah. And I threw a rock and it landed on a corrugated uh, um, iron roof, roof yeah. out in the country. And uh, I was doing it a few times. The lady obviously reported it because mm. now that I'm thinking about it, of course, if kids are throwing rocks at your roof, yep. and I had to, uh, you had to write her a, uh, an apology, apology letter, and I explained I was doing it to impress her, a <laughs> <Okay>. woman. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen ten sixty is the number. Were you forced to write an apology letter? It's the People's Cruise. We are on board a Carnival Cruise line, Ham. Having yeah. so much fun. And look, we found out that after Monday night, we went to the Dancing Dance Club. So we'll continue on through the night and had too much fun. Too much fun. They, um, and sometimes fun, when you have so much fun, it can really interfere with just remembering where you live <laughs> on a ship, especially if you've only just found out where you live uh, yeah. that day. So and you can fun- get confused and you just you can decide to sleep um, because you're chock full of fun and you decide to sleep yeah. somewhere else. Your brain else. can shut down because <laughs> yeah, exactly. of the fun overload. Yeah, and then you decide to sleep somewhere else, which isn't your room. And a lot of the time your, your body is just telling your brain, like, let's have a quick nap. And maybe the, where we live will come to us in a dream. Some of the fun will wear off. And that's how I'll remember <laughs> where my cabin is. <laughs> and quite often it works. Quite often people wake up after 10 minutes and go, that's, that's right, right, 3181. <laughs> like, that's where I live. And it came to me in a dream. The system worked. But sometimes when you have one of these sleeps, yeah. um, you don't wake up for yeah. a while. And maybe one of the staff on the boat takes you back to your room. And they say, look, you had a bit of a fun overload. But it just, just, just to, just to reassure the captain. Yep. Have a couple of waters. Get the fun out of your system. <laughs> and and uh, we'd like you to, you know, you, unfortunately the rules are you do have to write a bit of a letter to, to the say captain. to the captain. Um, yep. I love fun. You love fun. <laughs> I'm going to do a different kind of fun from now on. <laughs> Thirteen ten sixty is the number. Were you forced to write an apology letter, Jen? Ahoy! Ahoy, Welcome Jen. Welcome to the People's Cruise. Over. Hi, yeah, hi boys. Um, yeah, I was an exchange student in uh, Europe and um, on the, one of the first nights I had a little too much fun at a youth hostel and um, mm-hmm. my fun <clears throat> ended up inconveniencing the youth hostel by requiring them to purchase a new mattress. So um, my tour operator <laughs> asked that I write, <laughs> write an apology letter and um, they asked that I also include my contact details. So I wrote a very sincere apology letter explaining that the youth hostel was just Really, really fun, and everyone there was fun. And um, so, but I didn't, I didn't leave legitimate contact details though. But I did write a very sincere, heartfelt letter of apology. No, yeah, that's fair it. enough, and Jen. Yeah, you don't have them following up for the price of a mattress or no. something. But and you yeah. it's a small inconvenience, but it's their fault for providing so much fun. I think that's fair. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Megan, were you forced to write an apology letter? Ahoy, sailors. Ahoy, <laughs> Megan, and welcome uh, to somewhere in the South Pacific. Uh, did you have to write an <laughs> apology letter? Over. Yes. Um, in grade 11 at school, I was asked to leave the classroom for talking. So I um, sent to the office and just made sure my best friend talked as well so we could go together. And um, had to write an apology letter and hand it to the teacher myself. And whilst handing it to her, I was smirking a bit much for her liking and had to write a second apology letter for smacking. <laughs> no, oh no. Yes. no, an apology on the apology. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a slippery slope, yes. thing, and, it's a, and then it's a really Stern serious face, handover <laughs> yeah, exactly. when you do the second apology Or wear a mask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put a facial prosthetic on. Thanks, Megan. Fraser, wrap this Ahoy. up for us. And welcome to the People's Cruise. Ahoy to you. Were you forced to write an apology letter? Uh, yes, I was. I was in uh, grade six, and we were on year six camp, and we were walking across a bridge with a bit of water underneath it, and I was dared to push one of my teachers off it, and I did. And he uh, he, he, he went tumbling down into the water and came up and was uh, had a pretty angry look on his face, but he took it like a champ, and I had to write a, a full apology letter to him in the school for doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it took a 
fucking champ. I hope you included in your apology later. Now, I mean, obviously I did the wrong thing, but if I can commend Mr. Simmons on the way he took being thrown in the river, I'd like to recommend him for a promotion. Fraser, I know we've got a huge delay here, but I need to ask a couple more questions. Were you more nervous about writing the apology letter or telling your parents that you've pushed a teacher off a bridge into water? Well, I, it was a bit of both because he, he actually got back at me a couple of weeks later in school. He, like, publicly humiliated me in front of the school, so he got revenge back at me. What did he do? Did you ask him to write an apology letter? <laughs> no, no, he... He um he got two boxes and he he, he filled them with like two like with random stuff and he hid them from me in front of the school and he told me to put my hand in them and then he poured slime all over my head so it was uh, a oh, <laughs> do you go to Nickelodeon's <laughs> College of Pranks and Practical no, no, Jokes no, it was, while I was while I was like while I had my hand in like one of the boxes he just whipped out this bucket and um that was it I was covered in it. Amazing, Fraser, thank you so much And well done It's nice to have you on board The People's Cruise through your radios As we have everybody listening across Australia Stick around There is one lady who was listening yesterday Whose mum is on board And her mum, Ham Yeah, is our has nemesis been, Has been our nemesis Yeah, she's been a real handful for us In fact, she kicked us out of the spa We're going to talk to Lorraine's daughter After this, The People's Cruise <coughs> We're in the middle of the South Pacific And uh, Ham... If people are just joining the show for the first time, ahoy there, ahoy. and welcome to the sailboat that we're on. But we need to give you a bit of a backstory about someone that um, has become a bit of a recurring character. We got a bit of a we got a special, special customer <laughs> on board, Ando, but we can't say we weren't warned. No, in fact, we were warned by Lorraine herself. Yes, last week while we were still on dry land. Before we took off, mm. she called the show and she said, "Look, I like to rip shirts off. I got to move on, on cruises. On cruises, she likes to. She's a party starter on cruises, Ham. I'm a shirt ripper. She, yes, she will. If she identifies someone who's not dancing, yep. we'll go up to them. You'll be punished and rip their shirt off. Have she, a, she will take the shirt off your back. Have a listen. Great. Oh. Well, as soon as you see Hamish rip his shirt off, <laughs> make sure you. Do it. Well, no, it's Lorraine. As soon as you see an opening on the shirt, you're more than welcome to come and rip my shirt off at any time. <laughs> oh, and then I put it between my legs and saw it and run around the dance floor. <laughs> And All right. Right. What happens L- at sea in. will stay at sea. Just try and Lorena in. <laughs> so they're having fun with Lorraine. <laughs> having fun. Wish we could say that the first time we met her face to face, Hando, we had as much fun. We didn't have fun. We were in a spa. We didn't realise there was a 10-minute rule if you're in a spa, just so everyone gets a go. Lorraine did know that rule. Mm. She's also good at policing it. And like the sheriff... Like the jacuzzi sheriff, she came up. She cast ordered, a shadow over the whole jacuzzi. She ordered us out. All right, you guys, get out, everyone out. So we sort of, you know, wrinkled, yeah. hot, steamed, got out. Just like like a chef taking wontons out of a yum cha <laughs> basket. She <laughs> was just very quick. You're out, you're out, you're out. And we just had to sulk off. And that's when she went, and I'm Lorraine. Yes. We went, oh, no, it's Lorraine. And then a gang of ladies just on the banana lounge were just cackling and going, you've done it, Lorraine. I imagine back in the day when Tupac was head of his gang, if yeah. he did something cool, <laughs> yeah. all his mates would be going, yeah, the best, Tupac, get him out of the spa. And then as I, as I turned away, Ham, to try and get the cover of a towel, yep. I got hit in the back with a beer can. Yeah, Lorraine piffed a can at you. A projectile from Lorraine, yeah. and this is what she had to say after it. Lorraine! Yes? How long do you reckon we were in the spa for? I'd say 14 and a half minutes till I got you out. Yeah. I hope you enjoy your spa, Lorraine. We've we had fun in there. Good, good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Sorry we took so long. Sorry. It's okay, just watch it. Just remember for next time. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now. No apology about the beer throw, just back to the rules. And uh, we've heard whispers. Some people, some of the people on the People's Cruise mm. saw Lorraine last night at the Dance and Dance Club. Yeah. And the legends are true. <laughs> they didn't see a shirt rip, but she was talking it up. She was saying to people, watch out, I'll rip your shirt. <laughs> Jane is her daughter. She has contacted the show and joins us now. Jane, is there any chance you can rein in Lorraine? There is no chance whatsoever, guys. I am surprised you're still referring to the cruise as the People's Cruise. I don't know why you're not calling it the Lorraine Cruise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. we are on the HMAS Lorraine <laughs> um, as we just say, as steam towards Vanuatu. Now, Jade, we actually had a bit of an idea because Anna and I haven't seen a shirt rip yet from Lorraine. We thought, I mean, obviously, we hang around Dance and Dance Club long enough, we're going to see one. Mm-hmm. But we wanted it to happen in a bigger, bigger situation. Now, tomorrow... We've had a word to the captain. We're actually going to try and do the radio show from the Grand Theatre here, Fair, yeah, Pharaoh's, the Pharaoh's, Palace. Pharaoh's Palace here on the cruise ship, which is 
She's a big. She's a big theater. Probably holds about three or four hundred people, maybe even five hundred. Jane, if we got your mum, now we haven't asked her about this, but if we got Lorraine up on stage and say just a lineup of guys wearing button-up shirts, how many shirts do you reckon <laughs> she could rip open in one minute? Well, if you set her a challenge, 100% she will achieve it. I think she'd get them all off. <laughs> no worries. So how many? How many? Like 20, 20 20 shirts? Yeah, I reckon 20 for sure. Jane, how, how old are you, Jane? I'm 42. Right. And as, I mean, as, as, with, with your mother, Lorraine, out of control, have you started parenting her or have you just let her go out into the wilderness like a teenager that you can't tame? Well, you might notice that there aren't any family members on the cruise with her. <laughs> Jane, did, did everyone in the family pass the hat around and buy Lorraine another cruise <laughs> to, to, uh, get, to get her off the mainland? And she kept saying to me, oh, you can get a free ticket, you can get a free ticket. And I was saying, oh, mum, I get seasick, I can't go... I can't go on the cruise. And she's like, oh, you just don't want to because it's Lorraine's rules. Well, I don't want to. It's not no. that I get sick. <laughs> That's it. Britain, Britain put their worst citizens on boats and sent them away, and you've put your mum on a boat and sent her to sea to protect your colony. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jane, we have it, though, that uh, you, you reckon your mum will be up for it? Oh, she will. She will be in her element. Like, I'm surprised she's not, like... Um, helping you out with the show. She was preparing. We're trying to hide from her, to be honest. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I just think, keep your voice down, Jane. <laughs> it's a really good idea because these are not false promises that she is giving you. Definitely not. <laughs> no. All right, well, for people, uh, for people that are streaming this show, we know a lot of people are actually streaming a show on board, uh, yeah. listening to the radio. And for those on land, tomorrow on the show, live, we will have Lorraine in a natural habitat doing what she does best, <laughs> tearing the shirts off terrified men and sawing them between her legs. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. We really You're appreciate welcome. your time. People's Cruise, it's Hamish and Andy with you. Um, Look, we were just discussing what we might have for dinner on the cruise. Hey, mate. Hey, there's, I mean, there's, a, there's the buffet is obviously an option. There's Buffet's a big. few there's different restaurants. You and I haven't really tried the Mexican yet. I haven't done Mexican. The dining hall we were at last night, obviously, for formal night. Um, <laughs> and that was great, but it's quite a lot of palau. Like, there's hundreds of people to serve in there. Yes. Did you feel like... Like I was pretty hungry. I mean, the yes. buffet, you, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know when you're going to get it. You know, you're going to hit it hard. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's a buffet night. <laughs> um, hey, something we're going to do when we're back on dry land, which we have to mm. tell everybody about because we need your help. But a friend of ours here mm -hmm. who works with us called Eliza, would it be fair to say she's the least outdoorsy person we know? Yeah, she doesn't doesn't love the concept of living away from. And again, I don't think this is too harsh. Of living away from a hair straightener, a, 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 hair straightener, mm -hmm. a heavily stocked bathroom with yep. sort of makeup and beauty products. Mm -hmm. uh, of being away from a, a lot of, yeah, maybe a mirror, mm -hmm. but a lot of active wear. Yep. Um, Lizzie's off quite often seen in tights, tights, Nikes, mm -hmm. and a, a, a vest to cover the chill zone mm -hmm. area, even if. A gym is not scheduled for that morning or that evening. Yep. She reminds me a bit of uh, your cat. Just loves being indoors. Sure. Not uh, like, yeah. and, and maybe is a, is a, like, if a cockroach attacks her, yeah. it's like an even fight. Like, yeah. I saw a meow, but one time lost a fight to a dead cockroach. And, but your, you know, your, your cat's very manicured. Uh, looks great. Great coat. Similar and to a Eliza. Great coat on Eliza, too. Very, very shiny, luscious hair. <laughs> a wonderful coat of hair. <laughs> so, we've got something brewing. Yeah. And we need your help. Everyone out there, the people of the People Show, do you know someone? Please nominate them if you think they are the least outdoorsy person you know. If We've got a specific a, form at hamishnetty.com right now. Total opposite of a Bear Grylls. Yes. All right? That's the kind of person we're looking for because we want them and Eliza to, I guess, be involved in a little experiment that we're thinking of. Yes. Um, it, it's not going to happen until we get back, but we wanted to we wanted to put it up today on the website at hamishandy.com. It's up there now. If you know someone that is a house cat, like yes. a total house cat, terrible, <laughs> terrible at being outside, or a human meow, but yes. it's a very good way of putting it. And then we will we'll take that form and we'll do something with it. Uh, we'll do something with it next week. I should just quickly qualify. We don't want a hermit. <laughs> we don't want no. a hermit. Someone can still like going out, but they're just the least outdoorsy. And that's person. why I think nominating someone works yes. too. The idea of someone who getting rained on is very scary for someone. Uh, but, yeah, I reckon we're one hundred percent nailing it. You know, this boat's full of people that are not outdoorsy people. I mean. <laughs> I haven't seen too many people out on the decks at all. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but we're very indoorsy, and you and I, we're always in the, 
Well, to be honest, we're always in the arcade or the casino. Um, but, you know, we, we, we don't mind taking in a spot of mini golf from time to time, but that's as outdoorsy as it got. Hamish and Andy, uh, dot com. if you'd like to nominate someone. It's uh, the People's Cruise. We've got to get moving soon, Ham, because, um, of course, we're going to finish today's episode. Oh, yeah. You, after all this talk show, of not being out, out, outdoorsy. We're going to we, finish it in the spa. We are going to be outdoorsy. We're going to be in the spa. And um, someone could be nude in there. Hey, Shandy, driving you home and on the people's cruise. We're cruising you home and we're doing it very, very relaxed at the moment. We are at the Serenity Deck in the spa. There's this a clock it. on us. We've learnt yesterday that you can only have 10 minutes of the spa before an old lady comes and kicks you out. Um, but uh, we're in here with uh, Jordo. Welcome. Yeah, Jordan, hello. How you doing? Uh, Nico. Lads. And Haim's got Ollie over hey, there. Everyone. Oh, how are you feeling? Oh, yeah, mate, pretty good. Yeah, you've got a disco ball drink. <laughs> Everyone's going well. We, we're we in a fiercely bubbling spa because we're going to play the first ever live close quarters version of Am I Naked? The way this is going to work is are we going to go... Are we, we're going to have some time in a moment, Ham, to all decide whether to de-pant or not. Yep. And then, one by one, we'll question each other as we go around. Like, I wonder if anyone has de-panted already. I, I was told to put them back yeah, yeah, yeah. on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good from you, Nick. All right. Okay, Ham. Yeah. I mean, I suppose let's all have 10 seconds. 10 seconds. You can just do some stuff with your hands if you want. If yeah. You I mean, you can wriggle around. It might just be wriggling. Okay. Am I wriggling? Am I taking my pants off? The time has started. A lot of feet going everywhere. Yeah. I haven't seen any bathers float there on the surface <laughs> yet, so... Our time. I, actually, uh, I just saw a cord. <laughs> okay. Our time. Okay. Our time for depending is finished. <laughs> yeah. And how should we start with Jordan Ham? Yeah, Jordan. How you doing, boys? Yeah, good, man. How are you feeling? Oh, you know, pretty, pretty relaxed. Yeah. You know, and you're having a fun cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Great cruise. Yep. I mean, so so cruisy. It's been it's been the best time. I was sitting next to Jordan. I'm sitting next to him. I didn't feel enough wriggling, enough wriggling for him to be able to take off his shorts. Well, unless he's wearing stripper, stripper shorts. shorts. I was say, let me ask velcro. you: Do you own or have you ever worn stripper board shorts with Velcro? Oh, no, I don't. Then either. I reckon I, you've still got them on, Jordan. I'm naked boys. <laughs> hey, he, showed us, he showed us the shorts. All right, we got a nudie. We got one. We got one nude man. Okay. All right. We move on to Nick now. I think you're nude. nude Nick, I've already, <laughs> I've already seen your bodies, Nick. <laughs> I did let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. Now on to Ollie. Now on to Ollie. The, he's got Ollie, a he's got a hat captain's hat yeah, backwards. If we had to quickly meet at yep. the muster point, if there was a state of emergency right now... No, there'd be no hesitation. We'd get there. Haim, <laughs> I feel like... I'm, I'm ready to escape this, this ship if it's going down. Yeah, they do say, though, one of the best ways to uh, abandon ship is to be nude. Yep. Uh, so you don't get weighed down your, by your clothes. Yep. I'm backing that up, but it's tough to swim in jeans. I reckon Ollie's nude as I well. I think you're nude, Ollie. I mean, I hate to make it three from three, but... <laughs> he's nude, he's nude, he's nude. He's nude. Okay, he's okay. okay. All right, let's All right, go. Let's go towards nude. home. Okay, home. you go first. You go first, Dando. <laughs> okay. I, I feel like I saw some wiggling mm-hmm. by you. Um, I feel like you're not going to be too scared. Nah. Uh, I mean, you, well, you know, of the two of us, I'm probably the more nude of the two. You, you don't, uh, you don't have an issue too often with being nude. No, I think you're nude. Your thoughts, Jordan? I think you're nude, Andy. Yeah, I'd love to say it. Certainly, I think you're nude. Guys, here are my yes! pants. <laughs> but guess what? Ah, it's a speedo. I he's, put he's speedos foxed us. on. He's boxed us. <laughs> he has drawn a blank. <laughs> Okay, well played. By the way, when I just lunged out of the pool there, did you guys all think you are going to knife I was. I'm so glad I'm kind of like behind you. No, no. I was <laughs> really well out, played. Just a little bit. Really well played. Okay. I guess there's only one fish uh, left in the tank who yes. hasn't been identified. Is yes. he a nude fish or is he a clothed fish? Is he a big fish or is he a small fish? <laughs> we do not know. We know just feed it once a day. <laughs> That's the rule with fish. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Jordan, any questions for Hamish? How are you feeling, Haim? How yeah, relaxed? Great, man. I mean, I've been relaxed all week. You know, I'm a dad. I'm, I'm away. I'm just sleeping in, unwinding, playing a lot of uh, the cash-based skill tester game, cash crane. I, I certainly think uh, since Hamish has become a dad, he's less worried about nudity. It seems like he's gone that way. You let go. Yeah, you, you do, do let, let go. go. You do let go. go. Okay, okay. If you've just tuned in, you're listening to a live in-spa game in the middle of the South Pacific on board the Carnival Spirit of Am I Naked? And we're only to determine, as we sit in a very bubbly spa, whether Hamish has taken off his shorts or that he hasn't. Ollie, a final word from you. 
what temperature would you say this spa would be? I reckon it's probably 34 and a half. Yeah, I think... I don't know, I would say... You think I've got a, a thermometer out where I, that I didn't have out before? <laughs> yes, I do. Exactly. Okay. And I think Aim. that's about the temperature. I also think you're nude. I know that it would be a lot of fun if we were all nude mm. in the spa, but I do have to say, guys, as a married man, I'm away for the week from my wife. I just... I didn't think it would be a great look if I was getting naked in spas. All right, okay. so... I'm sorry. Amish standing up. Oh, he's nude! He's, he's nude! nude. <laughs> he's out of nude! All right! All right! I did think it would be a legal issue if I didn't cup as I stood up. <laughs> because I want your memories. I want your memories of the carnival spirit to be of the buffet, not necessarily the broiled smorgasbord in here. We're going to still use our allotted three more minutes in the spa, guys. Uh, be tuning in tomorrow, of course, our final show from the Carnival Spirit as we reach the Vanuatus. It's Hamish Daddy Cruz in your home. All right, guys, pack them up, put them away. <laughs> it's time to direct the satellite dish towards the high seas and try and tune in to Hamish and Andy and the People's Cruise. <laughs> Mama cruise, cruise it. Some of them want to cruise you. Sekarang kita masuk ke sini. You better cruise yourself in the music the moment you want it. You better never let it go. I only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to cruise. The buffet is all included. Live from the Pharaoh's Palace Theatre, this is Pants Off Friday on the People's Cruise with Hamish and Andy. Hamish and Andy to cruise you home for the last time. Yes, we are aboard the carnival spirit. We saw land today. It is Pants Off Friday. There's some bemused old people <laughs> looking at Hamish and I on a stage. Uh, at the Pharaoh's Palace Theatre, Ham. Welcome. 1,200 people at seats. Welcome. Huge. Welcome to our cruise mates and everybody that's come past to mm. see the radio show today. You look terrific. Welcome to the Pharaoh's Theatre, a beautiful historic theatre that really captures the way that in ancient Egypt on their cruises they used to in- <laughs> enjoy entertainment. A wonderful venue to have Pants Off Friday in. You'll have to forgive us if the show drops out from time to time across Australia because we're getting further away from Australia. We're having troubles with the satellite links. But, hey, we hope that you hear the majority of this show wherever you are in your car, at home. It is Pants Off Friday, Hey, You're officially... Out of undies. My last day of undies. Yes. So tomorrow I, I mean, will be... And, and that is your problem. I mean, you packed nothing. You came on this Fast whole and loose, trip. guys. Who else came fast and loose? Yeah. A lot of fast and loose in the crowd. So, a lot of people... Um, <laughs> yes. Fast and loose. Yes. And there's a lot of... A lot of people know, I, I would say perhaps some of our older crowd travellers would prefer more scheduled and tight. Well, it's not the way we roll. I saw a lot of people got off today to have a day excursion uh, to Mystery Island, took their luggage with them, didn't bring it back because it it weighs you down, guys. You don't need it, especially when there's so many good T-shirts on board. Am I right? (laughs) Two scandals, Ham, or two two bits of gossip I want to start the show with. Pants off Friday. Hamish and Andy, we're cruising home. Got a lot of people at the front of the ship here on the Carnival Spirit. Uh, we are broadcasting to you live here from the gorgeous Pharaoh's Palace, the main main theatre here on the well, Carnival uh, Spirit. At least we hope we're broadcasting. I mean, we don't know whether any of these shows have got back to the main country. No, uh, we could just be broadcasting to local islands and they might be having a ball on ham radios. <laughs> um, yeah, so bear with us if there's any satellite dropouts across Australia, but... Hey, what a cruise has been for us. Incredible. Day five of the People's Cruise and um, our last show on board this beautiful beast. Oh, I know She's a harsh mistress at times. This is the sea, this is sea life, guys. You <laughs> don't get too attached. You never know when someone's going to leave. And but Andy, um, for Actually, I, you know how I said there was two little bits of gossip? Well, I'd like to bring one thing up just yeah. very quickly. You got your friendship bracelet on again? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, Andy took it off the other day. I bought him a friendship bracelet from the store, um, but he's wearing it again, so we're back. Oh, good. Back. That's nice, bud. We're back. He actually he, took it off again at dinner last night, yeah. which is annoying, but now he's got it back on. So he does. We keep, did have a break. He's playing with my heart a lot, but he's got it back on. Hey, here's the two things I heard, and I'm not sure if people in the crowd can verify this. We're doing the, uh, this show in front of, you know, 
Roughly a thousand people. Apparently, someone got caught in the water slide yesterday. Yeah, that's the goss. Someone, um, that's the goss. Apparently, someone that, got stuck in the water slide and got, they had to remove a section. Someone got it's, caught in the green tube, in the green thunder. Did that happen? It's a, tube, it's a tubular water slide. Someone got caught. Now, no one's owning up. No one's owning up. Because I saw them dragging about 14 kilos of Drano up to the top of the water slide. <laughs> and then I saw the captain go, no, no, there's a better way. There has to be a better way. Yes, I thought we'd just send out kid after kid after kid. You can't, no. Okay, no. If the Simpsons taught us anything, you can't do that. So there was a little bit of goss that someone was caught in the water slide, but mm. definitely the resulting, the end of that story is everyone's fine. Yes. Uh, I've just done a quick head count. There's still 2,618 people on board, so <laughs> that's fine. So um, no one's owning up. That's okay. That's okay. Second thing we want to discuss, and I need some honesty from everybody, but yesterday yeah. Hamish and I on the show were talking about a ritual we didn't know that each other were doing. Yeah, yeah. But boy, have we been enjoying it of a morning, now, we're sometimes gonna... an evening. We're, we're gonna and we're gonna name we're gonna name what this ritual is. We're gonna, Annie and I are gonna tell you now the name of what we've been doing, mm. and using a show of hands and even a cheer, if you figure out what it is, mm. we want to hear or and see if you've been doing it. Does it mean anything to you? And this probably only works for those people that have a balcony that faces the ocean. Mm-hmm. Does it mean anything if we were to say the phrase "nude decking"? Let's see your hands. Arms have got, hands who's have gone gonna, up. Who's okay. been waking up in the morning and standing on their deck naked? Lorraine has. I can see you, Lorraine. Yes, I, I feel yes. like you were first hand up. We've got about 40 people, Ham, that are nude decking. I think there's going to be more out there. Can I... A, a tip for people that are nude decking. First thing in the morning, you're safe. Yeah. If you go to breakfast and you come back and you decide that you're going to have a shower after breakfast and then enjoy your nude decking, yep. make sure... That someone's not outside cleaning your balustrade balcony. <laughs> yeah. Because I wandered out today and the lovely chap in Quito is his name. Yeah. <laughs> Got far more than he's bargained sure. for. <laughs> sure. But I can I just say your body looks beautifully varnished. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good he's a good workman. <laughs> uh, we've had it such a good time and Haim, there's one person that's risen above look, all. Yeah. And he called it before he left. One of our winners, his name is Best Fun Steve. <laughs> And we need to just, we need to address this. He's he's a 55 year old fellow. There he is standing up. He is maximum fun, and we need to address something after this with regards to best fun, Steve. It's Hamish Nandy, Pants Off Friday, live from somewhere in the South Pacific. Pants Off Friday, cruising your home. We're actually. At Mystery Island at the moment. Steaming away from Vanuatu. Vanuatu. Yes. Uh, we're back out to sea. We had a stop off at Mystery Island today, Ando. But there's one thing that uh, has not been a mystery on board. No. And that's the status of a very special guest that we brought on with our 120 or so uh, cruise mates yes. on board. And really, I mean, his name is Steve. Yep. And the story of Steve... Um, well, it began a few weeks ago. It certainly it? did. Let's take everyone back on a journey. For those who might be new listeners or certainly new to these idiots on stage in the Pharaoh's Palace with their pants off on like Friday. Some of the few of the people up in the stalls of uh, Pharaoh's Palace are yep. wondering what's going on on stage. <laughs> of the thousand people in front of us, Ham, 120 of them were our winners. Yep. They won their way onto the cruise. Stunning. And, and they did that by registering. It turned out 27,000 people registered to come. 120 people won, and we had to call these people back, and if they answered the phone call as if they were sleepy, as if that, that phone call had woken them up, they snoozed, they cruised, they won. We called a guy called Steve. Now, I would say of the hundred and, uh, you, know, you know, the other hundred mm. listeners, everyone woke up with a big yawn or answered the phone with a big yawn. I mean, overacted, if yeah. I may say, but um, smart choice, because this. you don't want any... Don't want any question of the fact that you were snoozing and therefore cruising. So you played it safe. This is what happened when we called Steve, everyone. Hello? <gasps> Steve? Yeah? No, no, oh, Stephen. no, Steve. Our first line ball. Our first person. <laughs> I'm afraid under the rules, the strict rules and terms and conditions of you snooze, you cruise, unfortunately. It felt like a pretty chipper <laughs> hello. <laughs> yes. My heart's racing. Steve, guess what? What? You're not coming. <laughs> but, but what we'll do... Oh, you pair of a tease. <laughs> We're a tease? No, we gave you the opportunity. Hey, and we can't. We come to so many people, you know the rules. Okay, Andy, <laughs> if this is like the voice, do I get one vote to save? 
Hey, but you're going to use your vote I'm to voting save. to save. You only allowed one I'm for the vote, week. I know, I'm voting to save. I'm going to vote to save. I think he wakes up happy. <laughs> I, I, I need it. I need it. Yes. <laughs> Steve, from one dad to another. I just could hear I it in his voice. He needs a cruise. <laughs> I mean, I've put my neck on the line here. Um, <laughs> would you? I hope you can really represent on the boat and have the best cruise of your life. Man, I'm the best fun person I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> So best fun, Steve's on board, everybody. Well, I mean, after that moment, we pledged we got to we got to make a we got to make a best fun Steve hat. We made a best fun Steve hat for him. He's worn it non-stop, Ando, and Can he you? has lived up to it. He has on the first night. He was incredible. He was big. He, he was, was big. owning the dancing dance club, and people were looking and going, "An Olympic athlete can't keep this level of energy up, let alone best fun Steve, who we know legally from his registration form is over fifty. He can't do it. He can't last." <laughs> Andy was just hoping that he would flame out. Yes. That Best Fun Steve would be a nuisance by the end of the week. Then mm. Andy did, in fact, make the right call by trying to ban him, but it hasn't turned out that way. Best Fun Steve, Best Fun Steve has not only maintained, but he's exceeded those first night expectations. And we've got here a little, um, a little sample mm. of just what everyone on board's thought of Best Fun Steve. Best fun Steve makes me hope that that's what I'm like when I'm his age. He's good fun. He's getting me in the mood. He's just amazing. I mean, everything he's involved in, trivia, shuffleboard, he's, he's everywhere. He's dancing with a big grin. He's just a great lot of fun. Every time we've gone for a fishbowl tour, Steve's been there. Steve's been cheering the loudest. He is a fishbowl master. Getting up, having a dance, getting everyone hype, he's great. The best fun. He's just go, go, go. A ball of fun, that bloke. Best fun Steve has definitely been a weapon on dance floor. Shaking it off on the, the dance floor. Dance club dance floor. Signature dance move, just the bottom shake and the head wiggle. It's, it's a good time. It just makes the trip so much more enjoyable and exciting. Thanks for bringing him along. Best one, Steve! Best one, Steve! Best one, Steve, everybody! Here he is! Here he is! As Best Fun Steve makes his way up onto stage. Hi, Steve. Thoroughly enjoying the attention as usual. Steve, have a seat. Have a seat. Oh, there you go, Steve. Because I've got something to do. Yeah. Oh, and I need the help of Acoustic Robert. Yeah. Acoustic Robert, if you're around, can you come out? Guys, if you haven't caught Acoustic Robert, he plays in the atrium between 8.30 and 10.15 a lot of nights. He's Acoustic Acou and he's Robert. Acoustic Robert, thank you so much for helping us out, man. Um, Acoustic Robert and I have thought the best way for me to apologise to you is through song, Steve. Mm. And so... Well, hang on. I mean, I'm involved in the song too. I'm doing, the, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the singing bits. You don't have to do the apology, though. Yeah, true, but I mean, neither does Robert. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, Robert and I are helping you here, and you, this, this you is, do the apology. This is true. This is true. Um, so, Steve, if you let me, I've prepared, oh. I've prepared this for you, okay? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> really nice, Rob. Really nice. It's acoustic. And it's Robert. <laughs> you didn't answer my phone call that sleepy now, did you, Steve? And I was just doing my job at the time as the referee. You said you'd be fun and I had my doubts quite honestly. So will you give me a shot at forgiveness? Do it, Steve. From the very first party, you had the crowd firmly in your hands. Countless people keep telling me that you're the man Calling me a jerk for trying to leave you on land And you were Who would have thought this old man was such a good dancer <laughs> We believe, Steve Is it too late now to say sorry? Do -do 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 -do. It's clear you're now more popular than me Do -do 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 -do. Is it too late now to say sorry? Do -do 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 -do. I know, I know that I let you down Is it too late to say sorry now? Oh, 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 sorry oh, 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 Sorry oh, 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 Sorry I bought you a cocktail for us to down Is it too late to say sorry now? That's for you, Steve, cocktail of the day! best friends. I'm so sorry, Steve. Thank, thank you. Thanks so, for bringing me on board. I'm so <laughs> sorry, man. Didn't let you down? Did I, didn't let me down. And you I, had fun? Do Steve. I have, do I have right. your forgiveness, Steve? 
On one, one, one knee. On one knee. Oh, jeez, he's making you beg for it. <laughs> I'm begging for it, Steve. Thank you, Andy. Yeah! He's done it! And he's forgiven! Best fun, Steve! Big best fun, Steve! Best fun, Steve! Best fun, Steve! Steve. Steve. We're cruising you home! It's Hamish and Andy. Thanks, Acoustic Robin. <laughs> We have reached Vanuatu on the People's Cruise. Bear with us if the satellite drops out, but uh, across Australia, welcome to Vanuatu through your radios. And we're going to give you an insight of something that's definitely taken up the majority of our thinking time, yep. whether we're asleep or awake. And well, I'm... I'll let me put it this way. When you, know, you think of another famous voyager, uh, Jack on the Titanic, yes. now he spent most of his time trying to tune um, Kate Winslet. Yes. Um, Rose. And it, Rose, sorry, yeah. it escaped me for a moment. Mm. And he was pretty successful, you know, yeah, sneaking around, got it done. jumping in cars got with her, drawing done. pictures of her. Got the job done, had a great time. Our Rose mm. on this ship has been something called Cash Crane. Mm. Um, it's a skill tester. It's an everyday skill tester. But instead but of soft toys, it has bundles of $5 notes up to the value of 500 bucks. Yep. It's been our nemesis. We haven't caught one. We haven't got a note. We've, we've, we haven't got a brick full of $5 notes. We've got it in the claws a few times, but it's obviously slipped out. That's the life of a skill tester mm. um, addict. Um, we, you, um, you, you, know, you, you chase the claw, you chase the grip, and you just never seem to be able to hold it correctly. We put a request into the Cash Cranes manager whether he'd be able to join us or she'd be able to join us on the show today. Ladies and gentlemen, and so, you might have been wondering... Us- what this covered box is. Would you please welcome to the stage everyone's nemesis, Cash Crane! There she is. Now come on, I'm hearing a lot of boos. I'm hearing, now I know, Cash Crane. Hamish has drawn has a, a, a large sheet off the cash crane and everyone sees what it's seen what it is now cash crane has hurt us just as much as it's hurt you guys mm. quick show of hands or even uh, even with another boo if it's taken money off you <laughs> okay yes okay yeah she is addictive so uh, she is addictive chasing the chasing those bricks so what we're going to do now is on 13 10 60 wherever you are in australia call up you'll have your chance over the radio to drive the cash crane. Because what Andy and I have been doing is we've been trying to use skill to pick up those bricks of cash. No. Now, what we realise is maybe we just need blind, crazy luck yes. from someone over the phone who cannot see the machine just saying forward, right, drop. <laughs> and hopefully, maybe that is the secret to this whole crazy affair. We can get our brick and the trip will be complete. And 30. if we get it... I cannot wait to throw it over the crowd <laughs> and see pandemonium ensue in here. 131060 is the number out there. Are you a good skill tester? It doesn't matter. You only need to be able to say is the words forward, stop, then right and stop and, and have my, a crack at the crash cane. I'll just use my ship card now to load it up with yeah. credit. We've just left Mystery Island and at the moment, Ham, we're, um, well, yeah, the cash cranes fight up. You might hear it just slowly beating away at the moment playing, the, um, playing music but we just, are just an unlicensed techno track blaring <laughs> from its uh, speakers god you'd think for a machine that had so much money it could have afforded a uh, a copyrighted song but no it just blares the people on this boat will know that music yeah. and because it means you filled it up with credits mm. and you're ready to start dropping the skill tester claw on those shrink wrap bundles of five dollar notes a hundred hundred notes in a stack five hundred dollars if you can grab one and you and i have spent five days playing this machine at sea we cannot seem to grab a brick it's killing us but we feel like shane might be able to do it shane joins us now shane welcome to the people's cruise ahoy there over uh, ahoy boys uh, shane oh, now this is going to be slightly surreal for you you're um, making a phone call from the mainland of australia it's being beamed to a cruise ship in the middle of the south pacific to a theater full of a thousand people who are looking at a stage with a skill tester on it and you're about to play it virtually but Shane we believe in you we know just by using a combination of vibing it out and telling me where to drive the claw and then saying drop I think you're going to get one of the $500 bricks I'm feeling quite seasick boys <laughs> <laughs> nothing a cocktail won't fix my friend okay Shane drive Hamish okay. take it away okay forward Hamish and stop forward. stopped and, well, I mean, can I just suggest you also say right because you're nowhere near the pile. Right. Right yeah. and stop. Uh-oh. Shane. 
The crowd likes it, Shane. The crowd, the crowd likes, likes it. it, as you can so hear. So the claw has gone forward to right where the bundle of cash is. It's stacked around about Jeez. five or six bricks high. Shane, I'm going to say, I mean, you, you just tell us what to do, but I like where it is. I like no, where it is, too. We're almost out of time. Drop it's it. It's got to drop. Go it. It's dropping. It's, it's going. It's dropping. He's picked it. Oh! oh! The claw went down, Shane. Oh, it grabbed had the it. top cash bundle off the, off, off the very top. And then it flicked it off to the side, but not in the bin. Unfortunately, Jeez, you so don't close. win, and this is a familiar feeling for Hamish and I and everyone on board. <laughs> is there right, a cupboard behind you just... with a crowbar? <laughs> <laughs> nice suggestion, Shane. Uh, the but, machines uh, are well and truly alarmed. We've already tried. Uh, Kerry joins us now from Shane to Kerry. Okay. Kerry, ahoy. Ahoy, boys. Kerry, welcome to Vanuatu, and uh, welcome to your chance to win $500 virtually through your radio as Hamish will drive a very, very weak claw in your attempt to take home $500, you tell him to go forward and then tell him when to stop. Here we go, Kerry, oh. go for it. Okay, forward, right, right, drop. Yep, oh, drop there, you want it there? Okay, sh we're dropping. Okay, we're it's dropping. right on the edge of the pile. Do you like it, Ham? I don't the know. The going down. Oh. Kerry, nowhere near it, you goose. <laughs> Kerry. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where did you, learn to, where did you learn to play virtual skill tester? <laughs> Everyone knows the correct answer is forward, stop, <laughs> right, stop. Thank with you. that tempo. Thank you, Kerry. Brad, your attempt. Whereabouts are you, Brad? Oh, I am in Newcastle. Newcastle. Okay, from Nui ahoy, to Brad. Vanuatu. Ahoy. Ahoy, Drive boys. Hamish Over. and drive the skill tester. You're, you're in charge of the cash crane right now. Over. All right. Forward. Stop. Yeah. Right. Stopped. Over. Stop. Over. Mm. Uh, Brad, can I just suggest a slight left? You drove. You drove it. <laughs> you drove it quite far over the stack. Over. Oh, must be that. Must be the delay. Over. Go left. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> You've got it. She's in a good position. Brad, good call, man. All right, drop Ham, it. drop it for Brad. Here it comes. It's dropping. It's picked one up. Oh! Oh! I nearly swore. Brad, Brad, I nearly so swore close. on live radio. Oh, God, Brad. The claw picked yours up. It got back to its pinnacle. And then on its way... You had a stack. You had a brick. The equivalent of carrying the shopping and the bottom of the shopping bag broke. Right at the no. doorstep and, and you just lost your pasta sauce, Brad. <laughs> Oh, We've got geez. time for one more, yes, I think, of course Brad. We do. Let's do this all day. No, we can't, Harry. We've got time for one I've more got seven only. Credits left. Ange. Ange ahoy, joins Dan. us. How are we? Oh, ahoy, yeah. ahoy. We're Ange, ready to go. Tough We're about to, to you, follow Ange. with Brad. Tough act to follow. Yeah. Mm. Where about to you, pal? Right, let's, let's take it away. Okay. Yeah, good. Too go. focused. Don't worry about my questions. Too focused. Here we go. I'm ready to drive. Forward. Going forward. Yep. All right. More. Less. Hard right. Gee, how big do you think the crash crane? Hard right, yeah. Okay. It, it is Hard only right. 90 degrees. <laughs> it's, yep. it's a good bit of feedback, though. Okay, and... Yeah, stop. Okay. Uh, drop. How do you feel about it? Okay, hey, just, yeah, talk I'm to just me, lads. What do you think? Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Dropping, 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 dropping. 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 Oh! I mean, you nibbled it too, you nibbled it too, but none really stayed on the hook there, Ange. Um, hey, guess what? I'm going one more. Let's because do one we're more. addicted to this thing. Why do, I mean, if it's all right with we're you guys, so we're going to do the show till midnight. <laughs> this is exactly what Hamish and I feel every day. We're like, yeah, should we just play one more time? Yeah, of course. We're yeah. Time. Now, 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 and Jordan, I, I don't want to sound crazy, but they're in a really good position to be picked up now. Yes. We, we had to do that work to soften up the pile. Jordan, in you oh, we trust. Ahoy. And ahoy to you. <laughs> ahoy, ahoy, Jordan. I'm ready. I'm ready to drive. All you've got to do is tell me where to drive this skill tester claw above the piles of $5 notes, uh, shrink-wrapped into $500 note bricks. <laughs> and, and, clearly, it yours. and clearly doused in oil or another slippery su substance, yeah. but it's very <laughs> difficult to get them up. <laughs> right. There's okay. a lot of fishing wire tying them down, but here we go. Let's do it. All right, Jordan. forward. Stop. Forward. Okay, yep. Right. And now, yeah. Okay. Stop. Oh, how do you feel about it, Ham? Do you want to direct Jordan anyway? I mean, Jordan, if you felt like saying right a little bit more... Oh, yeah, we'll go a little bit. <laughs> just a sniff. Just a tickle, Ham. Just a tickle. OK, that's up here. Jordan, we're going down. We're dropping, right. Jordan. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. oh, my God. 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 <laughs> Jordan, are you there? I can't even hear anything. 
Sebastian. Oh. Turn, turn that off. Oh. Turn, turn that off. Stupid Be- music off. Yes. Oh my God. Jordan, Jordan. I, I can't believe it. I'm Jordan. holding it in my hand. Jordan, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Jordan, Hamish and I literally have spent thousands of dollars trying to get this $500 oh bound my allowed. God. You did, I mean, this, Jordan, this, you pays, did this pays for almost 10% of the money we put into the machine. Jordan, Jordan, it's yours. You did it. Oh, this is the best thing ever. PGIF. Hey, Jordan, yeah. Jordan, I'm getting the sense that it's more exciting here than it is where you are. Oh, um, no. This is so exciting. I'm just by myself. Uh, like, I'm yeah, like, are, you, are, you in, are, you, are you in your car? Are you, at, are you driving? Are you uh, at home? Where are you? I'm literally pulled over on the side of the road in peak hour. Uh, <laughs> go to like, are, other, are, other cars, uh, are other cars driving off the road? Like, is, <laughs> has the Prime Minister called a day off yet? Like, what's happening in Australia? The uh, on-the-roadwork guys are looking at me really strangely because I'm just going insane. Oh. I mean, Ando, all right, here's the thing, Jordan. We, we will give we you owe Jordan, We owe Jordan at least half that ham. I well, mean, I mean, we did driving. say we'd make it rain in here. He's going to throw it over <laughs> well, Jordan. We'll, we'll give her $500. Yeah. Here's what we're gonna do, Jordan. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep the wrapping for you. God, how do rappers do this? Are you ready? Here, you take yeah. half, Ando. All right, ready to make it rain. God, what a, what a highlight. Three, three, two, two one. Make it rain, make it rain. <laughs> Pants off, Friday. Have a shady cruise in your home. <laughs> Hands up front, everybody. We're cruising you home. We're on board the beautiful carnival spirit ham. Okay. 45 activities daily, and they rotate, but you and I have just been doing one. Activity number 46, a.k.a. (laughs) Cash Crane, which Mm. is a skill tester here on board that has a pile of shrink-wrapped $5 notes in it, like bricks made out of $105 notes. Mm. And... Everyone's seen it, everyone would seen it, everyone's walked past it and gone, surely you can pick up one of those bricks of five dollar notes. Well, if I hadn't just seen it with my own eyes, I'd say to you, no, it's a scam. Yep. It's a scam. We've, we've been trying for five days. God knows how many times I've crouched down, mm. got my ship swipe card, lanyard round my neck, and just like a desperate kind of bird just swiped through the, swiped through the machine to give mm-hmm. me credits, Hando. And today we saw something quite incredible. We saw Kaiser Soze. We did. Um, we didn't see Kaiser Soze. We saw Kaiser he's Soze. A myth, we saw him riding the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> it was just, we saw two amazing and, things happen. And, and high-fiving so, a Yeti. <laughs> Hamish and I have been trying on this skill tester to get these cash bundles every single day since being on this boat. Yeah. We thought, let's put a skill aside. Let's put it out to the listeners yeah. of the Great People Show. And Jordan called up and she directed Hamish over the phone back from Australia to where we are here in Vanuatu. And if you missed it, this is how it went down. Jordan, we're going down. We're dropping, Hi. Jordan. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 my God. So they're excited again. I'd like to take this moment to officially retire from radio. Me too, Ando. That's it. That's it, guys. I mean, you don't get better than that. You reach I mean, the pinnacle what, when, when, you know... What do you, you do? T- what do you do when you get to Everest? Build another, put a ladder up there and climb a bit higher? No. no. Don't no, do that's it. it. And so, um, thanks for your good times. Thanks for the memories. It's incredible. Sorry, no, I'm just hearing in my ear. We have to continue here. Well, we'll at least get to the end of the show, but we'll never have another moment like that. That's... Um, Choose your pipe. Uh, go to our socials. Choose your pipe, whether it be Instagram, uh, Snapchat, uh, remember, uh, Twitter, yeah. Facebook, whatever pipe you choose to use remember, as a social remember, pipe. Do you remember a few, few years ago how I, as a laugh, you registered me in Wimbledon as a wild card and mm. I won? Mm. That, today had nothing on that. Yeah. I mean, that, that was great fun winning yeah. and I got the plate fine. and everything and I yeah. got to meet the Queen, but today... This is better. This is better. What we yep. just saw here. You've got to go and see the footage. Check it out at our socials oh, on hamishane.com. We've got, I mean, you can check out anything we've been doing at hamishane.com. Let's take a little break to regroup. Regroup. Free group. We're going to bring out the best piano man on the cruise, everybody. Yeah. See. And He's got a lot of fans. He's got a lot of fans. Again, we're going to hand the power back to everybody in Australia. Well, we saw what happened last time. With live requests from Australia. It's Hamish and Andy cruising your home. 
Hey, Mr. and Andy. It's Pants Off Friday. Delighted to be cruising you home. Lovely day to have your pants off, Ham, because we've hit warm weather. Last two days, it's gorgeous outside. As we're in Varanawatu now after four days at sea. Steaming towards port uh, tomorrow morning, and yeah. uh, we'll drop anchor again. But we've had so many, um, so much fun, so many things to do and see on the ship here. Um, we've already had Acoustic Robert on the show earlier. If you're just tuning in and you're a fan of Acoustic Robert, you did miss him. But uh, podcast if... always available. And he'll be up on the Deja Vu Hour. But, um... And he'll be in the atrium later tonight, uh, <laughs> 8.30 to 10.15, playing a set. A real cra- crowd favourite, a man in the piano room the whole time, is Tom, everybody. Yeah. Now, Tom, a lot of love for Tom. Tom, you have you have your fans out here, and thank you for joining us. Here. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Do you often, do you ever play in the theatre? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thought uh, you would. Usually, uh, we uh, we have a show called Eighty Eight Keys that we do here every cruise. Wow, well, right. Uh-huh. How, yeah. how long have you been a cruise performer for? Oh. Wow. My first cruise ship was in 96. Right. Jeez. Yeah. Back when they were wooden. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two decades exactly. of cruise experience from Tom. Now, you're the piano man, Tom. You're piano Tom to us and everyone out here but, because people can go and they request songs of you and I've seen them request it verbally and I've also seen people throw pieces of paper at you which you sometimes evade and then pick up and go, oh, yeah, Very I know professional. This one. You're always a professional. And we wanted to put a challenge out you today, to, to you today. 131060 is the number you can call a show. Do you have any request for Piano Tom? Yeah. Oh, 131060, <laughs> ring up. Tom, what, what, what's you your think, specialy? What era do you think? Like, just, like, is there, do you, do you prefer like 80s, 90s, 60s, 70s? Like, just to give everyone a. Noughties, or, can, or can you go everywhere? 2009, oh, like, I'm, if you're I'm, very specific. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I, I'm more comfortable with the older material, and I like it better than the newer stuff. Okay, certainly. that's good. That's yeah. good direction for we'll, our listeners. We'll, we'll allow the listeners 60, to take... 70 stuff. Yeah. Okay, we'll allow listeners to take that on board, but they might throw a curvy at you. Who knows? Well, Tom, well, you, so um, you're happy to be our human jukebox for today. We can uh, just... Well, have... we'll, we'll, we'll uh, reserve judgment on that right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, can, I, can I start by throwing a song at you? I, well, I, I sure. Okay. Let's All right, Piano okay. Tom. Okay. I haven't told you which one I'm going for yet. But, um, uh, we, can Hame we have the guitar solo from <laughs> Stairway to Heaven, please? <laughs> no, Ham. I thought a song that's very close to your and my hearts and Cackling Jack. Never Tear Us Apart by Unix Jeez. Do you is know that? that? Is that? Is, if I, if I was electronic drums on stage, please? <laughs> just in if, case I'm feeling it. If I was to ring up and say, Tom, Never Tear Us Apart, how'd you go? Well, oh, let's see. Let's see, think, everyone. Okay, let's see. I, I was standing. Oh, that's good. That's good. You were there. Two hearts collided. And we could never tell us apart. God, he's good. Oh, it's like oh, Billy, oh, Billy Joel singing Never Tear Us Apart. I just love the way he collected himself. He found yeah. it in the piano and then we, he went. 131060 is the number, everybody. Call up now. We'll go to a song. On the other side of this, you get to control Piano Tom. It's the People's Cruise. We're in Vanuatu. <laughs> Hands off Friday. Hamish and Andy cruising your home. We are on the last day of the People's Cruise. Four days at sea. We've hit the Vanuatu Palace Theatre. But on only a 1,000 people or so, Ham, from the cruise. But everyone, welcome to it through your radios. Piano Tom is on the stage. PT. <laughs> Tom, Quite a pro. Tom, are you playing tonight? Yeah. Give yourself, start at nine. Give yourself a plug. Give yourself a plug. Whereabouts? Uh, we're, sorry, that might have been a bit of a glitch in we the old satellite. Have, like, but uh, we're about. Give yourself a plug. Where are you playing tonight? I'm playing in the Shanghai Piano Bar, right. Deck Three Forward. Right. Okay, Deck Three really Forward. Nice. Yeah. At nine o'clock. Good. Nine o'clock playing. Tonight? Nine o'clock. Right, yeah, and is right. it a good venue? Do you like playing Shanghai Piano Club? Absolutely, it's yeah. a blast. All right. Oh right. yeah, they've got you there. We yeah. might have a bit of a delay, so we're going to throw it to Luke, who called in on thirteen ten sixty. Luke, you're going to surprise Tom here with a people's request back from Australia for piano. Tom, Luke, take it away. See if you can get it. Good Over. luck, Luke. Over. G'day, fellas. Piano Tom, could you please play Praise You from uh, Fat Boy Slim? And I think all of us will be praising you if you can. Thank you. Oh, Tom, praise, praise you, you, praise by, you fat by Fat Boy Slim? Fat Boy Slim? Praise you by Fat Boy Slim, huh? I don't know if you're foxing. He's foxing. I reckon he's foxing. I can't say I follow uh, 
what's his name? Fat, Fat boys. boys. Yeah, I, you know, I can't say that. I'm up on that. Um, okay. Let's see here. Um, what? what um, let's see. Fat boy Slim. We believe in what you. Are, what are the first couple words of it? I think it's like dun 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 dun. You know, that's that oh, one. Okay. I okay, mean, if see. people want me to just sing it. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I walked yeah. straight into that trap. <laughs> Let's see if I remember the words. Let's see. Uh, we've got a long, long together. Close enough. Close yeah. enough. Hard <laughs> times and the good. Yeah. I have to celebrate you, baby. I have to praise you like I should. <laughs> I have to praise you. It's coming back to That's me. That's right, Tommy. It's He's coming back. It. He's done it. Okay. Luke, how did that feel? That was awesome. Thank you, Piano Tom. Thank you, boys. Have a good one. <laughs> Cheers, we will, Luke. <laughs> Kelly joins us now from the mainland on a little bit of a delay. But, Kelly, welcome aboard the People's <laughs> Cruise. You've got a request for Piano. Hello. Aloha. Yes, I'd like to see if he can play Robbie Williams' Angel. See if you're such angel. Okay. Yep. Angels. Robbie Williams' Angels. Oh, Tommy. Oh, he's straight into it. Let's see. And through it all, she offers me protection, a lot of love and affection. Oh, yes. Whether I'm right or wrong, Speed down the waterfall. Break me, I know that life will break me. When it comes to call, she won't forsake me. I'm loving angels instead. Oh, <laughs> Marry me, Tom. Oh, gosh, he's good. That was easy. For people, for people at home. That was easier. There yeah. was a moment where Tom just collects himself, kind of like Hussein Bolt just before he yeah. takes off on his mark, and you go, ah. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Because you know how before he's, a race, Hussein's always like, oh, no, I forget how to run. And he's like, oh, <laughs> now actually, I remember. I remember what to do. 33 Tom, steps. whereabouts in uh, uh, America are you from? Uh, I have a home uh, up in Colorado, way Colorado. up high in the mountains. Okay. Georgia. It's great well, altitude to play the piano. We're going to go oh, to yeah. we're going to go to Lucy Bear. now, and I'm told I know this song, but Lucy, you've got an Aussie song favorite that you want to throw at Piano Tom, which might be difficult for him, but unleash. Ah uh, yes, ahoy hoy, Tom and the boys. Can we please hear K Sun by Cold Chisel? Yes. I mean, Tom, if you can't get this right, you <laughs> might be sacked and never allowed to have Australians on the boat again. So, Kaysan, it's a very, very K important... K oh, Kaysan. Yes. Oh, okay. by Cold Chisel. Um, I'm like, let's see. Um, I did this a couple of times, maybe. You think you might have. I left my heart to the south of Stantesan. And I sold my soul and my cigarettes to the black market man. Had to be a damn cold turkey from the ocean to the silver city. It's only girl the vets could understand. Yeah. 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 Tom. Piano Tom. Tom. And in that moment, we became a floating municipality in Australia <laughs> with full voting rights. Thank you so much. Put your much. hands together oh, yeah. for Piano Tom, everybody. Yeah. Well, Tom. Catch him in the Shanghai Piano Room tonight if you're on board. Take us Catch him friend. in the podcast. You just missed it. Plenty more of the people's cruise to come. Stick around. Pants off Friday. Hey, Mr. Andy, cruising your home. <laughs> it's Pants off Friday. Hey, Mr. Andy, delighted to be cruising your home. You can go check out hamishandy.com for any of our adventures this week. Um, look, uh, obviously there was a miraculous thing that happened earlier in the show. Yeah. That footage won't be uploaded probably for another four or five days considering the Wi-Fi out here is very difficult. We're in the middle of the South Pacific, everybody, but bear what, with us. Whatever's under dial-up, yeah. like literally a, a, <laughs> we're waiting for a bird to land on the deck and take a thumb drive to the nearest island. However, we will upload the footage uh, as soon as we can on Instagram and uh, whatnot, bits and pieces as, uh, as the night wears on. But Ando, today mm. and now... In the show, this is day five of the People's Cruise, and what an incredible week at sea mm. it's been. With our cruise mates, of course, the people we've brought on board, but I like to think we've built a lot of friendship bridges too yes. to the other 2,500 people on the cruise. Yeah. One, of those, one of those people, though, Ando, we've had a rocky relationship with. Yes, we've had ups and downs. Her name is Lorraine. She's 
if you listen, she has she has eight of her best friends. She's got a posse. She's and got a they, posse, uh, and no, they roll hard. You do not mess with these women. Um, and we learned that the hard way. She kicked us out of the spa mm. a couple of days ago for people listening to the show. But we, we had her daughter on the show yesterday. I, I believe she's a grandma. Yeah, uh, but she is boss. Lorraine's and the boss. she called our show last week before we even took off on the People's Cruise. And she was talking about how she can get any party started. Have a listen to what she said. Look, we were karaoke I had to help a young guy out. He couldn't do the dance with somebody. And I ripped his shirt off and took it around the dance floor. And, <laughs> All right. And then I put it between my legs and saw it and run around the dance floor. And All right. All right. What that. happens L- at Lorena sea in. will stay at sea. Just try and Lorena in. <laughs> Ah, so that, I mean, that was Lorraine giving us the warning that she has a move. Uh, yeah. She can rip off shirts. So, for your viewing pleasure here in the middle of the ocean, we've in got Pharaoh's Palace. We've got ten volunteers, ten everybody. Ten of our guys, and just... They've all embraced Pants Off Friday. To paint the picture, we're on a stage, a deep stage, got five metres back. They're, back. they're at the back of the stage. An auditorium at sea, which is about uh, 1,200 people. 1,200 people. And now, they sit there in their undies, I, all with button-up shirts. I don't think you guys knew what was happening, did you, Cam? No idea. <laughs> okay, but you do now. Mm. You do now. Uh, you guys are going to be thrown to the wolf uh, yes. after this song. We've got to go to another song here, but on the other side of this, we will see a live performance of Lorraine doing what she does best, which is working her way down the line and seeing how many shirts she can rip off in <laughs> one minute. <laughs> Same as Andy, we're cruising you home from Vanuatu. Hey, Mr. Andy, it's Pants Off Friday, and we're cruising you home close to the end of the People's Cruise. Thank you for travelling to Vanuatu with us through your radios, wherever you may be in Australia. But, hey, Let's paint the picture, Ando. We're on board the Carnival Spirit. She's mm. a mighty cruise liner. We've got 100 of our cruise mates on board. There's 2,500 other guests. We're steaming through the ocean at the moment. Mm. The sun's set outside, but we're in the Pharaoh's Palace Theatre. She holds 1,200 people yep. and usually is the scene for things like bingo or the other night we all saw... Miss Houdini's illusion show, Mm. stunning show, um, here on this very stage. But tonight and this afternoon, something even more spectacular, Ando. I agree. We um, heard from a lovely lady. Um, You know, people... I wouldn't say she's past her prime, Ham. I reckon she's just ripening. Because uh, even though she's a grandma, she rang the show and said that she can get any party started on a cruise. She's cruised regularly. Yeah. And the move is, if someone's not dancing enough, she'll go up to a fellow, rip their shirt off, yep. and then grab their shirt and ride, between it, her legs. and ride it round like a horse. Now, here's, here's a woman that understands parties, because the yep. number one reason parties don't start is people are restricted by their shirts. Yep. And Lorraine knows in her heart how to get a party started. So today, this afternoon, for everyone on the cruise ship's viewing pleasure, we have organised an extravagant demonstration of Lorraine's powers. We have ten men, ten strapping young men on stage yep. from our cruise mates, all in button-up shirts, and they are ready and waiting at the back of the stage for Lorraine to come out. But, Ando, we thought we'd spice it up a bit too, mm. and we had a word with Miss Houdini, who, you know, she really is probably the biggest celebrity on the boat. She runs Absolutely. an incredible magic show. and she has I've never a... seen her in the wild. I saw uh, her once for a second. I shook my head, looked yeah. back, and all of us a puff of smoke. <laughs> okay, okay, right. She I've is only incredible. seen her on stage. You haven't seen her milling about. But her, she has some dancers in her show, and yes. um, we asked her if we could borrow four of them um, to help us really build up the excitement here. So without any further ado, would you please welcome to stage uh, formerly Miss Houdini's, but now Lorraine's Dancers! She came, she saw, she party. Now everybody knows the name. Right. Now this might hurt if she gets her hands on your shirt, your life never gonna be the same. Right. She's got hands for the gripping, strong arms for the ripping, I can tell you this ain't no game. Lorraine. She's no floozy, she's the boss of the jacuzzi. Brace yourself, cause she's Lorraine. Lorraine. Our dancers are out here now. God, look at him go. Scantily clad. She's amazing. Would you please welcome the lady herself, Lorraine! Here comes Lorraine, everybody. Here she comes. She's in a tutu. She's in her bathers and a tutu, everybody. As the dancers still continue to dance and (laughs) ride on stage. Two gentlemen, two ladies. Lorraine's got the crowd moving. I do know for a fact she's a water aerobics instructor. That's how she's able to move so well. Jeez. Well done. Lorraine, impressive moves out there. Thanks, dancers. I didn't hear 
You did, you, impressive moves. Well done. Thanks. Thanks. Now, That's all about me. It is all about you right now. That is actually true. Um, at other times on the boat, uh, you've made it all about you, and we've been surprised with that. I mean, kicking us out of the spa earlier on any, this week. Any regrets? Any regrets from that? Well, get out. It's time for other people to get in. Yeah, no, we, we were Are told. Are you special or something? No, no, no this is it. Oh, no, we, just, we, we uh, didn't realise it was a 10-minute rule, and uh, we went over it by at least 90 seconds. So you're just uh, joining us. we absolutely deserve to get out of there. You are witnessing um, and a fresh... You get all wrinkly. <laughs> fresh round of bullying uh, for Hanny and I versus from Lorraine. Now, Lorraine, you are the party starter on the boat. I mean, we bought our party starter, Brad, but you are really the queen party starter. Of course. You've got ten guys lined up behind us here yeah. with button-up shirts on. <laughs> She's just Lorraine. inspecting the merchandise now. She likes what yeah, she feels. Yeah, baby. Okay. Now, Lorraine, starting from one end, do you think... Okay. She's, no she's, need for the hands to go below the waist, Lorraine. All the shirts has, are up top. As noticed, Chris, who's yes, he's an excellent choice. He's certainly a, a strong specimen, isn't he, Lorraine? Yeah, I like him a li- little bit younger. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Chris is Chris is nudging twenty five, so I understand that's a bit old. But I'll, I'll cope. Okay. I'll you're cope. A, well, you're a trooper, Lorraine. Yeah. I'll now cope. you've got one minute, Lorraine. Do you oh. reckon you can rip off? All ten shirts. I'm going to try. All right. Here we go. Let's do a count, um, then, everybody. Before you start, Lorraine. Here we go. Ten. ten. Nine, eight, seven, She's six, up. five, God, four, amazing. three, two, one. Go, Lorraine! Oh, look at her go! She's there doing she goes. first class. Oh, she's, she's showing no mercy. She's really working hard on Chris. Buttons are flying everywhere. No worries at all on Tom. He's provided zero resistance. She's hurt Cap. She's through half of them. She's going to make it easily. She's through seven, Ham. I think she's, she's going to make it easily. Right. She rips open number three. Oh, he's got a draw on six pack. Mate, Ben's sure shop's been now ripped open. There we go. There goes Lorraine down Last to number shirt. one. Well done, Lorraine. Lorraine. She's going to take it off. She's taking off the she's shirt. She's taking it off. And she's, she's swinging it around her head. This is classic Lorraine. Classic Lorraine. She's through her legs now. Oh, boy. We have yes. Lorraine. Riding it like a horse, as <laughs> promised. Oh, what an education for some of the younger crowd members today. <laughs> we are going to upload that to Grens Gone Wild immediately. Because Hamish and Andy oh, cruising your home. God, I need a cold shower. How did that feel, right? Oh, I'm just going. <laughs> yeah, just another day at the office, Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad stuff, right, Lorraine. everybody. Lorraine, everyone. Pants off Friday. Hamish and Andy cruising your home live on a boat that's travelling around the South Pacific. Thank you for coming on this beautiful tropical uh, vacation through your radios and also putting up with any time the satellite may have dropped out, Ham. It's been, uh, look, it's been a technically interesting broadcast for five <laughs> days from sea, but it's been an emotional Constant high, mm. really, and yep. I mean, it's just been a high after high after high. I see mm. a lot of people in the crowd wearing the same T-shirt, which is so weird. Like, do you guys all go to the same shop? That's so crazy. <laughs> no, I really appreciate you guys buying the Black Market T-shirts yes, on board. It was a um, hell of an operation. Obviously, we'll still be at Muster Point D tonight uh, at 8.30 eight for eight a 15-minute window. That, that, could, that could mean anything. Mm. Um, so, but, uh, yeah, bring, bring your 50s. Um, <laughs> but, look, as wearing selling T-shirts, as well as selling T-shirts, Ando, we, I mean, we might have sold T-shirts, but we've gained so many memories. And we're yes. aware that... Obviously, people are busy. They might not have been able to be with us for the full five days here aboard and broadcasting the people's cruise um, from this big old boat. So just to finish things off for today, we've, we've cut together a few of our personal favourite moments mm. from our time at sea. Ship log day one, and we arrived at Sydney Harbour to see our ship. Some of us with less luggage than others. We made it. We're here. We're um, ready to board. I'm seeing some wine shirts. I'm <laughs> sensing quite a lot of fast and loose. I'm Does sensing... anyone not bring luggage? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> fast and yes. loose. Fast yeah. and loose. My wife maybe wear two jackets. Look at... <laughs> Next, we met our fellow cruise mates, including a very special one. Best there friend Steve! <laughs> He's already living up to his head. He's already got a shark tooth necklace on and we haven't even left Australia. <laughs> we jumped aboard and it didn't take long to settle in. Daddy's already gone wild, everybody. I don't think buying a souvenir pufferfish giant cocktail, P.S. we get to keep the cups, yeah. constitutes as going wild, mate. It's sorry yeah. I got on the boat and I'm next to the pool on a lounge and I'm having fun and I'm enjoying myself on my cruise, Andy. I... <laughs> I tell, you, I tell you what, though, everyone's walking everyone's around with a dog. basketball full 
of alcohol. <laughs> dive straight into the pit. If my wife asks, yeah. we're working hard. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Fishy, we're here. <laughs> Shiplog Day 2. By far one of the most popular activities on board was the illegal black market t-shirt selling on Deck 3. Back, back, back! Money first, money first! No money, no t-shirt! Let's go, let's go, let's go! What are you chasing? We're gonna meet him. Small as large. We're gonna meet him, we're gonna meet him. Get a medium! <laughs> Stop folding them, just sell them! However, Ando was soon nervous that they would be caught. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. High stakes, high rewards, high risk! Man, I don't want to be a part of this. No, 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 this is fun. <laughs> Stand there, keep your nerves. Count those shirts out and see if we've got at least ten. Okay. I hate my boss. <laughs> Shiplog day three. Time to win some cash in the bingo hall. You know I want to call bingo even if I don't have it. <laughs> Are you going to do it? They'll kill me. Oh, it's going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Safe. Are you ready, old mate? Number 19. Bingo! Yeah! This is the nerve-wracking time. We are at the front of the auditorium. We've got 200 people looking at us right now. She's typing in the digits. Oh, no! <laughs> run! 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 Don't boo us out of here! They're booing us and booing us and booing us. Some people are chasing us. <laughs> it was Cruise Elegant Night, and having not bought a suit on board, Hamish got changed into one that cruise mate Chris had provided. Okay. You just scored yourself the hottest date to the prom tonight okay. as we dazzle the dining room. Girls in ball gowns. Hamish, the door's opening now. Boys in dresses. Oh, wow! <laughs> it's the dumb and dumber orange suit. <laughs> and Chris has got the blue one. I've got the blue one to go oh, with you, no. ladder boys. <laughs> you look fantastic. I know, I've never felt so good. We'll see what the captain thinks of this hand because, look, it's not elegant. I'll be driving think. the boat by midnight, Ando. <laughs> but that's a promise. Ship plug, day four. Having failed a bingo, the quest the for cash continued with a skill tester full of money called the cash crane. I would say that Andy and I have invested hours, 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 hours. out the side cash crane and a big crowd builds up mm. because everyone looks at cash crane and goes, yep. it's got to be done, it's got to be so easy. Andy, 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 Andy. Andy. Drop that claw. Get a grip claw. Oh. Everyone needs some time to relax aboard, but there's a 10 minute maximum in the spa, which the boys would find out. Can you just describe what just happened in the spa? <laughs> you got shamed by a nana. <laughs> <laughs> and thrown a beer can at. <laughs> well, we've all just met Lorraine, and um, are you enjoying it, Lorraine? <laughs> I've got a clock on you. <laughs> What a week it's been for two best mates cruising the high seas together. I'm a little bit flipped off with you, mate. Where's your friendship bracelet? <laughs> oh, no, I took it off. I bought a you a friendship bracelet yesterday <laughs> and you swore to keep it on. You betrayed a man in the greatest way a man can betray another man. We're on a break. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, when I said it was high after high after high, yeah. I suppose the friendship bracelet incident was the only low of the trip. Yeah, that was a low for you. I didn't really care too much. How dare you? <laughs> don't knew, you pretend you don't love your purple <laughs> mini dream catcher friendship bracelet. <laughs> How dare you disrespect Fashion Boulevard and all the gift shops upon her? Uh, I bought Hamish, that using our joint account. <laughs> HamishDanny.com. Uh, you can catch up with the whole trip, pictures and videos there. Um, a big thanks to the Carnival Spirit. Yeah. Jen, for having us on. Uh, we have had such a wonderful time for Eli for letting us actually use his stage. We know you're the main man with the mic. Thank um, you, Eli. And also uh, to our technical crew on board too. Yes. Um, satellite, satellite technology. Cam, Cal, can be a, Gino. Can be a harsh mistress and to all our uh, producing board too. And a, a huge thank you to all our cruise mates on board that have come and made the trip. So much and fun. Our winners. Our winners, our winners, our cruise mates, and then the wider cruise population. <laughs> Thanks for letting us annoy you and ruin your cruise. <laughs> it's us signing off. Thanks, guys. For the carnival spirit. Make sure you the people's cruise. Acoustic Robert tonight in the atrium and piano Tom. Mexican fiesta night. What's Mexican night? Yes. Thanks, Mexican night, Andy. See you, everybody. <laughs>